Let's do it. I say go. T-shirt. Comedy Bang Bang, we are back here. Of course, we have Jason Manzoukas. Uh, Intern Gino is here. Sounds My nephew speech. Todd. Oh, what up, what up, what up? Spring the Whisperer. I got some I'm sports. rolling balls, baby. <laughs> And Greg was offering everybody MDMA during the break. <laughs> That's yeah. part of my thing, too. I love Dead Mouse and I roll balls. <laughs> yeah, we're all rolling right now. Uh, we have to get to our next guest. Um, let's uh, first welcome, uh, he is the owner of the Bobblehead Museum. Uh, I, I can't re- recall in what National state. National Bobblehead Museum. Uh, Museum and Hall of Fame in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, welcome back, Darren Maticek. Thanks. It's good to be back. Hi. It's so good to see you. It's great to see you. It's good to be back. Okay. It's good to be back. <laughs> yeah. It's great to see you. It's great to see you. Darren, it's great to see you. I was good. on an episode with you uh, last year. Likewise. In this last year. It was great to see you. Yeah. Good I, to be back. Yeah. Darren, Usually when someone's nice. on an episode yeah, with each nice other. To nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. It's nice yeah. to meet you, sir. Good to be here. Good to be back. I'll hey. bow at your knees. <laughs> it's good to be back. I don't know. We were all saying it. <laughs> What's going on with the, the Bobblehead Museum? Well, we just got a large batch of donations. Whoa. Uh, so we opened a brand new wing. Incredible. Is that because you were on an episode of this show? Is I think so. Is it the so. CBB bump? I got the CBB bump. Wow. I got 100 new followers on Twitter. Wow. Times, Whoa. times are rough. Used to be a lot bigger bump. Uh, <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Um, can I ask, how, how much of a threat to the Bobbleheads are these Funko Pops? Uh, they're a pretty big thread uh, because bobbleheads have a slightly bigger head than scale, but Funko Pops are mostly just a head. Yeah. Now, do the do the heads bubble? <laughs> do the heads move at all? On Funko Pops? Yes. No, unless you move them yourself. Oh, well, what about what's on your, bobbleheads? What's your favorite Funko Pop? <laughs> Funko Pop? <laughs> do you think any of those, there should be any kind of Funko Pop Hall of Fame? Where could we buy some Funko Pops? <laughs> if you get, I fucking are, love Funko are there Pops. Surpri- yeah. It's fun. Does Funko Pops have surprise boxes? Good to be here. Good to be back. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, you have a new wing of the museum. Yeah, based on a bunch of large donations that we received. And uh, what what's being covered in this? Is, is it specific to any type of bobblehead? Oh, it's great. Uh, next to each other, we have Mariano Rivera bobblehead. We have a Gordon Sondland bobblehead. Oh, no. We have a Roy Holiday bobblehead. We have a Marie Yovanovitch bobblehead. <laughs> Who's, so this who's is a, everyone? This Former is a, ambassador to the EU, yeah. Gordon Sondland? <laughs> this is a, a political wing based on the current impeachment? By Mariano Rivera's Yankees yeah, number exactly. one relief pitcher. <laughs> so it's a real hodgepodge of people. Is yeah. the Sondland, is it sitting at a table looking up incredulously like you, motherfuckers? <laughs> it's surrounded by a bunch of photographer bobbleheads. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Were, these, were these specified by the donators? Yeah, the donators write on the package, this is the bobblehead that you are receiving. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm liable to open it up and be like, what is this, a Dick Clark bobblehead? <laughs> so these so, don't and know a lot it. of them to you look like Dick Clark. Absolutely. But uh, but then there's a little note attached that says, this is a Fiona Hill bobblehead. Oh. Or this is an Edgar Martinez bobblehead. See, now I thought people were donating money and you bought the bobbleheads, but people are donating or the bobbleheads. Or even bobble had heads. the bobbleheads made <laughs> in an effort to like complete um, you know, like what you're putting together, a team or something like that. But you're saying you are sent bobbleheads. Yes. Sometimes I'm venmo money, and there's a note on the Venmo that says, please use this money to buy bobbleheads. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sometimes do you not. Wanna, do you want to give out that address? <laughs> no, it's that Venmo. What's that Venmo address? At? <laughs> Just at? No. No. That's how it's, oh, okay. It's good. That's how it starts. It's a mouthful, so I was taking a pause. Oh, yeah. okay. At? I'm the bobblehead guy. You know it. <laughs> you know it. You had to add you know it in order to... No, nah, is the bobblehead guy was already taken, so you had to add... Instead of the real bobblehead guy, you added you know it. You know it. Add the bobblehead guy, you know it. <laughs> is this That's underscore? it? That's it? Or is there any numbers or... Is- at Two. I'm the bobblehead guy. Oh, at, you know. Sorry. At I'm the bobblehead guy. Got you know it. Thanks, you know Todd. It. Nice dick. I'm already. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm already venmoing you right now with my allowance. At I'm the bobblehead guy. Dash. You know it. Two. Three. Dash. You know. Oh, that's very. Important. Oh no! I just sent my money to somebody else. <laughs> oh. God damn it! <laughs> damn. Dash two three four. You shouldn't be taking so many pauses. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on now. We thought you were finished a couple of times. Now, yeah. are you are you taking pauses? Or are we talking in the middle of you talking? <laughs> You tell us. <laughs> a little Just bit. not yet. 
six of one, half dozen of the other. What do you think he's going to say when Wait, he responds six of one, half question. dozen of the other. Is that part of the address of the Venmo? <laughs> yes. I'm so it's, I'm it. the bobblehead guy, Dash. You know it. Two, three, four. Low. Six of one, <laughs> half, half dozen, dozen of the other. other. Oh. He did say it was a mouthful. You got to simplify that. Are we done? Or are you just taking one of your trademark pauses? Wow, you guessed the next part. Are we done? <laughs> are we done? <laughs> And well, you guess the next part as well? Yes. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> or you can scan the code on my phone. Oh, oh okay. Oh, that's, that's easier. Easy. Definitely. Yeah. That's just a dick pic. Dan. A lot of dedication. Yeah. <laughs> Please that put that away. That is just a dick pic. A, it's a, wanna, a pic of Todd's dick. Are you just scanning it with your eyes? It's my dick? <laughs> when did you take that? No, I mean, I think that might be one of those gray dick fishes. You know, they say if you saw yourself walking in public, you wouldn't even recognize yourself. But so much we don't know what we look like. So I didn't even realize that was my dick. Wait, who says that, Todd? <laughs> my I psychologist. Think I think that's Scott getting in your head trying to convince my, you you're my not a person. My psychologist. Yeah, it's me trying to convince him that uh, he hasn't seen me out there in public oh God. doing the things I've yeah, been doing. He, whenever I think I've seen you, you always ignore me and say, what? Who are you? Go away! <laughs> so I've been having dreams... You. That I'm a bobblehead. You've been having dreams. You're a bobblehead. And I mean, you have a very large head, you know, disproportionate to your body. And it hasn't it hasn't stopped shaking since you said yeah, that. Yeah, you just. <laughs> yeah. And well, if this is one of those things where this life is the dream of a bobbleheaded Darren, and that that is reality. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> what? That would shake me to my core. <laughs> I mean, your head's already shaking. I'll so. stop paying my bills if I believe that. Because why bother? I'm actually a bobblehead. <laughs> right. Did well, anyone ever dream. tell you that your neck is a coil? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> so what happened in the dream? <laughs> in the dream, well, in the dream, I'm a bobblehead, and I'm on one of the shelves. And I'm surrounded by the cast of My Boys, the TBS show. The TBS sure. show, My Boys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Bobbleheads of them, or the actors f like fully realized. Uh, Bobbleheads, but okay. it's actually the actors in there. Jim Gaffigan. Gaffigan's in there. Yeah. Oh, nice. Because uh, that's and I know all the other actors. In <laughs> exactly. Yeah, no sure. use. So you no need Sam. to continue. <laughs> and they're like, great news! You've been added as the main guest star in the season two story arc. Oh, oh okay. So you are in this scenario, in this dream, you're an actor who's a bobblehead. Yes. Got it. Okay. But everyone's a bobblehead and they're tuning into TBS and the B stands for bobblehead. Oh, oh, bobblehead. oh so Turner, Turner, Turner bobblehead. Total, total bobblehead syndication. Total. <laughs> or yeah. the bobblehead CV. And that's what, the, that's what they call TV because they wanted it to go with the S. Okay. So... <laughs> No, no, no. Todd's right. Let's dig in on this. <laughs> there is no bad idea. <laughs> that should be the subcolon of this podcast. <laughs> well, that, that's Speaking a one. Speaking of subcolon, I'm going <laughs> to shift the way I'm sitting in this chair. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, dear. So, well, Has that's... it moved to your subcolon? <laughs> I believe so. I've been settling. Darren, it's, it's wonderful to see you. Any other things happening in the Bobblehead Museum before we get to our next guest? Nope. Great to be here. All right. Great. <laughs> Where's my guy five? Your cat Fievel? Oh. Where is my... <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be ironic to name a cat Fievel? <laughs> After all, Fievel, the character that Mouse had gone through? <laughs> uh. <laughs> what did you ask me? Hardis? Uh, he wanted to know if Mackay Fiver's here, like, from 8 Mile. <laughs> Are you interpreting for yes. him now? Yeah. This ain't, this ain't eight miles, no Mackay Pfeiffer. There you go. Ba -ba -doo, bo -bo -bo. Oh, but you better there. lose yourself. There it is. Exactly. <laughs> That's a song. And Bob, uh, it's been a while since we've seen you. Thank you so much for coming by. Oh, uh, thank you for letting me. Well, I'm glad to be here. I mean, I did not ask you to come, nor right. did you I was going to say thank you Duka, for asking. Why, yeah, why did you rephrase what you were about to say? Huh? Why did you rephrase of what you because were... Because it, it was going to sound like I was invited at first, but I wanted to be honest. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, uh, thank you, guys. Uh, do, you, do you have any plans for the holidays, either of you? Anyone want to jump in? Scott, do you mind if I change these bread bags on my feet? <laughs> A lot of holes in my shoes. I, I do not mind. Okay. <laughs> Chupacabra, what do you do during the holidays? It, uh, I go, uh, I do a lot of charity work. Oh. Yes. yes. See? Uh, mm -hmm. Claro que sí. Claro que sí. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to do a, a couple of weeks of soup kitchen um, here in Los Angeles. That's... I will see you there, sir. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be on the other side of the table, though. I volunteer to eat at a soup kitchen around the holiday times. <laughs> Um, you know, not that many funny things to say right now. <laughs> That's all right. We can edit this out. 
<laughs> it's okay. Why, why do you think you have to be funny? I mean, <laughs> yeah. Didn't you just hear that just rap talk. battle? <laughs> we could just talk. We're fine. Uh, all right. We need to take a break. We'll be right back. Ready, break, go break. We. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we are back here. Of course, we have Max Keeper. <laughs> TikTok. TikTok, of course, your uh, catchphrase. And, if uh, I say so. Uh, John Lennon, do you want to say your catchphrase? The drums, and I did want to say, but yeah. I forgot to mention it when I came in. Happy holidays. Okay, I meant you. to burst through the door early and say that, but I never got around to it. Okay, well, you know, you, you yeah, all right. Thank you so much. You're I welcome. appreciate it. Yeah. You're welcome. Uh, Gino, the intern, of course. I'm not talking from here on out. Oh, good. This is the, the demarcation point of yes, where you're from not here talking. On out, I'm quiet oh, the I'm show started. <laughs> you no, know, yeah. No, this is not the preamble for oh, an hour thought, and 45 minutes. I thought we were just, you know, getting to know each other a little bit, so this would <laughs> Before go smoothly. We start, how do you think it would start? Have you, do, have you ever listened to one of your previous appearances? No, my headphones are broken. <laughs> You need those. You can buy so many new ones. And like, do dead people yeah. not? Are they not able to use money or credit cards? No, I can use all the money I want. Oh. But I like to be frugal. He- headphones <laughs> like have have quite literally become impossible to avoid. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how. When I went to London and we were on one of those bus I'm tour things, now. they were like, "Please take your headphones with you." <laughs> they didn't want you to leave them there. <laughs> Please, there's signs up everywhere. Uh, we also have Ho Ho the Naughty oh, Elf. Oh. Excuse me. Ooh, are you all right? Ho ho. Ho ho. Are you okay? I'm. Ho ho. Dying. <laughs> do people do people not believe in you any longer? No. no. You gotta clap your ass to make me come back. To <laughs> clap our ass. You're just make trying that, to get us to, make that, to make lean over. Clap? And, if you believe, clap your uh, ass. All right, we're making our booties clap. Oh, Here we go. I'm getting stronger. <clears throat> I'm getting stronger. Who's farting? That is uh, that is me again. About I'm, that. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm back. Ooh, close call. Oh. Holy shit. Sometimes oh my, my throat God. hurts I... from my own voice. Wait, why is your boner, your candy cane boner sticking up? That's how you know I'm alive. <laughs> I need right. a new mic. Mine stinks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we also, on it? we also have Baron. A little, uh, little spray. Baron uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber is here, oh. <laughs> and his spirits have been lifted. Well, it's, it's Christmas time. Yes, I can't be In cross for too long. Ah, uh, that's true. Is it your favorite time of year? Second favorite. Mm. What's your first? I like January. <laughs> yeah, because of your favorite movie, The January Man. <laughs> that's right. Sorry, <laughs> Kevin Kline and Susan Sarandon. Ah, <laughs> yes. Um, I like November Man with Pierce Brosnan. Oh man, I I think they should eventually get every month. <laughs> <laughs> the Blank Man, the October Man. I also man. like the movie Blank Man. It's <laughs> one of my favorites. <laughs> the Blank Man, of course. <laughs> Meet your man. And <laughs> Um, uh, and, uh, have I, d- I've covered everybody, yes, well, we have to get to our covered next guest. Covered us in blankets, thanks for tucking us in. Oh, no problem, you know, quite host. Yeah, well, I've quite turned, cozy. I've turned up the heat as well, so you guys it's should be nice. asleep any minute now. Very drowsy. <laughs> All right, we... You gonna watch us? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We need to get to our next guest. Uh, he's never been on the show before. I think, you know, uh, the holidays are a time that we have our close friends around us, but we also have strangers. <laughs> and they're forced to, we're forced to interact with them of like, oh, hey, where are you from? Where do you live? You're literally the only, besides Andrew Lloyd Webber, who I recently worked with, you're the only other person in this room I know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I never met anyone here except maybe Timekeeper. I can't remember. You can't remember? Nor I. I feel as if we have met before her, but I can't uh, be hello, certain either. maybe. Yeah, I don't know that you would ever have met Ho-Ho because you're not a magical Ho-ho. person, you're just a guy. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> so it's said. I think we did so meet last true. Christmas. Perhaps we did. All right, well, we'll Someone clear this tell up. Me. Someone uh, already. Someone in call us. in and figure this out. <laughs> I know you met Lynn Wiseman last Christmas. Okay. Some call in, figure this out. Why do you know that? <laughs> Colin Hanks. Jost and Hanks. <laughs> Colin Jost, Colin Hanks, Colin Farrell. Colin Fur Quinn uh, Col- who's, that the, who's the guy from uh, <laughs> Oh your voice <laughs> Whose line Sounds so different I'm Mockery. dying Colin Mockery. Mockery. Mockery I can't take it <laughs> What a wonderfully evocative name For a comedy person Oh Mockery. I know That's like Mockery you, That's like Making a Joe mockery of joke improv myself. He definitely did a one man show Called Making a mockery of myself oh, He definitely shit. did 
yeah. would have directed it for him now that I have my equity card. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we do have to get to our next guest. He is a small business owner. Uh, please welcome David Bunting. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Yeah. <laughs> Thank, thanks so much for letting me in. I didn't know it was a friends and family Oh, gathering. yeah. No, we all know each other, and it's no, our no, favorite yeah. people of the year. No, I get that vibe. We're on a family plan. No, I picked up on it with the glances askance as I entered. Yeah. I am a small business owner. <laughs> I uh, am a wholesale distributor with Scotch Tape, and this is my most profitable time of year. Oh, I would imagine. Need scotch tape for the gift wrapping, and I distribute it in wholesale quantities only to retail customers. Okay, wholesale only. That's yeah. right. okay. Huge quantities but only. to retail customers, so to not re- to stores. No, I will not sell to stores. Eliminate I go the door to door with a crate of scotch <laughs> tape, and I will sell only in units of crates. Now, do you do you sell them in giant rolls of scotch tape, like you, a giant? Yes, a huge dispenser that I've <laughs> stolen from various parades. Uh, tape dispensers are only made large for parade floats. So really? the crate and has often. one roll of tape in it. Correct. You open the crate, and there is one enormous <laughs> dispenser. Spencer, which is whimsical, <laughs> and if you are an especially generous person, not enough tape. So, <laughs> I'll get rid- uh, does, uh, may I ask Mr. Patrick? Does, of course. Does it, Huge does fan, it, FYI. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. No, it's ALW. Not I ALW. love only, I love Evita, is my favorite. Yes. Is that you? Um, That's Madonna. <laughs> oh, it's Madonna. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had you I confused with Madonna. I don't believe Madonna is the composer. <laughs> no, no, I love her. Vita. I don't know. I presume the singer is improvising lyrics and music. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's old. She as did great. Uh, may I ask, uh, Mr. Bunting? Sure. The the oversized taping dispenser. Mm. Does it have the the row of jagged teeth? Yes. At one end. Yes. Which so is may very dangerous. Tear the tape off. Yes. I mean, correct. it's dangerous enough uh, in normal size. Well, you could cut a finger. Sure. Yeah, and the the, te- the 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 they're extra large in the dispenser, and so I bring a warning. Uh, that children should not be in the house when you were using the tape. You must <laughs> put, push the, the children out in the lawn. And, and do you also put a warning that they need to be unattended? Yes, leave the children unattended at the <laughs> edge of your property. With a bunch of plastic bags. Yeah, and then, um, you know, proceed to use the dispenser. Because the, the uh, metal teeth, and, and in my dispensers, they are shark teeth. Two rows. Mm. Actual shark teeth? <laughs> Correct. Two From rows? sharks! Two rows of shark teeth. You must be some fisherman. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so is the yeah. is the tape really it seems inconvenient to use like a foot wide piece of scotch tape <laughs> oh, I was wondering about that myself is you do thin no, no once you do this you'll never go back because <laughs> Because usually, I don't know if you, you know, if you're not a great rapper, you the the, the I, I, I found out that you're terrible. I've, I've proven that. <laughs> um, you know the the paper flips up and flaps over. You can't get it, but with flip and flap situation. Yeah, there's a flip and flop. Uh, like John Kerry, that flip flapper. Oh, yeah. my God. That John guy. Kerry's one of my Don't get me started on most him. huge customers. Uh, I sell right to John Kerry's house. <laughs> really? Do you? Teresa Hines Kerry is one of, you know, she's the woman of the house and handles the tape buying. When, when he answers the door, <laughs> does he open the door and say, John Kerry opening the door? <laughs> I wish. Oh, I wish. Do, no. Does anyone get that reference? <laughs> I do not. Would you explain it, please? <laughs> when he was nominated for the presidency of your United States, oh, yeah. he showed up at the Democratic National Convention <laughs> and his opening line was, John <laughs> Kerry reporting for duty. And he uh, gave a little salute and it was mortifying. <laughs> <laughs> Cowardly salute that Fucking swift yes. boat captain. <laughs> <It's>, it's <laughs> <laughs> not as cowardly as that McCain fellow, though. No. Getting captured. Yeah, I yeah. like my soldiers not to get captured. Uh, I, I almost feel as if we've sidetracked Mr. Bunting. <laughs> not at all, no. <laughs> I came in here hoping to talk about John Kerry's Democratic <laughs> <laughs> nomination. That was actually just a huge sideline that I could get to This that. was the best way for you to I get have to a that. Query. You, you tricked oh. me. You let yes, me right you, you fell right into my trap. Most of my discussion is going to be about John Kerry's <laughs> Democratic nomination speech, the most riveting candidate and the most riveting part of that candidacy. Ooh, a day doesn't go by that I don't think about John Kerry and his demo not any of the important parts later, just the Democratic nomination speech. Reporting for duty. Maxwell has a question here for you. Which just... side of the tape do you prefer, smooth or sticky? <laughs> <laughs> that I have been waiting my whole life for that question. Oh, well. Contrary. No one has ever asked you that? No, and, wow. I, and I try to force it, and I lead it, and I bait people to ask me, and they don't take the bait. I like smooth. Really? Is that, yes. you, wow. is that like your peanut butter? 
Yeah, I like creamy peanut butter, smooth side of the scotch tape, sanded marble. I like everything. Smooth jazz. Smooth jazz. I don't like rough jazz. <laughs> I prefer smooth. smooth. Oh, rough on jazz. A lady. Uh, yeah, smooth like a lady. Smooth yeah. peanut butter is actually technically both smooth and sticky, which is interesting. Inter- like scotch tape. Yes. yes. Wow. Right. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Lays instead of ruffles. Yeah, I like just I like potato chips with no surprises. Do you, you like know? the movie The Jagged Edge? Not at all. Oh, it's my gosh. worst. What about the, the- Rob Thomas <laughs> Carlos Santana song, Smooth? How do you feel about that? I love that one. I love Sade's breakout single, Smooth Operator, and not her follow-up, Rough Operator. What about the hair of comedian Cat Williams? <laughs> I'm not sure how to answer without possibly getting myself into a think piece. Uh, may, may I just I'm going to say, say I love it. it gave, what it, about the fur of a cat then? Oh, interesting. One way I love it, and the other way I hate it. <laughs> I like uh, entries of the space shuttle, smooth. Okay. I yeah. like uh, gum, post-chew. What about a hockey game before the skaters have showed up? And, yes, it's not a game at that point. This That's my favorite. Way, yes. <laughs> what about the ice this no. before they show up? <laughs> well, no, 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 no I like the We're game. We're ready for the hockey game. No, Send I like the skaters. The competition before the players have begun when <laughs> yes. it is its most pure <laughs> yeah. and undisturbed. <laughs> the hop- hockey game has begun. As soon as the players oh. start, I'm like, well, this game's ruined. <laughs> <laughs> I get up and leave. <laughs> Don't even get me started on the ice. <laughs> oh. I like Zambonis. Mm. Um, I can tell why. Yeah. Well, because I like machines. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, separate, separate from separate. this. What smoothness. other machines do you like? Well, oh, God, don't even get me started. Uh, turbines, oh. um, inclined planes. Uh, <laughs> simple. What's yeah. your favorite Keep simple, it simple. machine? <laughs> um, besides the inclined plane, yeah. I like uh, the axle. Mm-hmm. What mm-hmm. about machine guns? <laughs> what was oh. the last word you said? Guns. 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 Yeah, how do you feel about that? Machine guns. Oh. As a machine, I love them. Bang, bang. And yeah. the uh, it, the smoothness of the inside of the uh, magazine, I appreciate. Uh-huh. But the application of the guns is, I'm going to say, a real bummer. <laughs> <laughs> and, Topical. And when, <laughs> and when John Kerry answers the door, if I may get back to what I wanted to talk about, he's brandishing all kinds of weapons. He wears his purple hearts everywhere he goes. <laughs> he wears his purple heart on his sleeve? Yes. What about the Tommy gun that Ho Ho is holding? Ho Ho! Oh, ho, ho. Watch this! No. Bing Bing! Oh, you're Mother. putting holes in my glasses with that thing. <laughs> Thank God uh, your wolf has high. mandatory active shooter training. <laughs> I knew exactly what to do. Duck yeah. and cover. You, no, you dive right for it. Yeah, the, according to Fox News. <laughs> this no one even else. tried to right. shoot you back. <laughs> So Second day. No one tried to sweep you back. So it's not your fault. It's, oh, yeah. So, David. <laughs> oh, yes? Yeah, it's the holidays. I thought that was it for sure. I no. felt the wave of conversation What's drift away favorite? from me. <laughs> We're just easily settling back in a conversation after full, unloading a full clip of a machine gun. <laughs> it's hello. Hello. I can do whatever I want this Christmas time. Uh, yeah, oh, you were shooting gumdrops at us. Oh, la, la, la. Doesn't they Santa heard get it mad? come at you fast. <laughs> Mr. Santa? Bunting, what's your favorite thing for a baseball player to do? Um, let me think. Um, I either resin the bat or slide into second. <laughs> what about bunting the ball? <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> I gotta go. What's, what's your What's your favorite uh, political <laughs> c- campaign decoration? <laughs> <laughs> um, banners <laughs> of a really, whistle stop. He's really red, white, and smooth blue. Still. What's your favorite thing for a baby to be wrapped in? Swaddled. Um, <laughs> ah, man's uh, a lost cause. Unlike yeah. most people, his favorite things aren't his last name. <laughs> <laughs> if you were making a cake with a hole in the middle, would you yeah. say we be? <laughs> What would you say? We be I'd say what? we're caking it up. I would thought you would have said we be bun. I don't know what you're hinting at. Tell me more about this tape. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thank you for getting us back on track. Well, what is on track? Do you want to talk about John Kerry or do you want to talk yeah, about I can't John? tell what you want to talk do, about. It's your, it's your choice. Yeah. The, 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 <laughs> you're the total stranger here. <laughs> you're you're all, a small business owner. You're all good friends and you're letting... What a, what a Christmas gift to di- let the conversation be dictated by me. <laughs> I like unsticky tape that does nothing. <laughs> that is my favorite kind of tape. Wait, Functionless it's smooth tape. Smooth on both show, sides. Show tape. 
<laughs> Wait, tape so that when you're giving like a, a present ribbon. away, someone says, oh, that was taped, and then they look at it, and it's not sticky, not holding anything together? Yeah, it's, it's not so irritating. There's no gummy th- residue in your fingers. It's mm. just a nice sheen of plastic. The worst part about opening a present. Yep, the gummy residue. Mm-hmm. Is this the type of tape that you sell, these oversized dispensers? Huge dispensers with two rows of shark teeth and no adhesive involved. Yep, mm. by the crate only. Yeah. Do, do and people- John Kerry is a, your biggest customer? <laughs> yeah, he loves it. <laughs> Sometimes uh, he'll know I'm coming and he'll wrap himself up in it and he'll show up just like a lollipop. He's like Santa baby. Sometimes the tops of ketchup bottles have clear plastic that's smooth on both sides. That's very true. So perhaps that's what Miss Hines is doing with it. Yes. Have him deliver to the house, please. Certainly we'll bring it down to the factory. Certainly Mr. Hines who makes the ketchup. Yes. But we're talking to Mr. Bunting. Yo. No, but John Kerry's uh, wife is wife. Uh, Teresa Hines. Yes. You've cracked it. Yes. yes. We've come full circle. Yes. And the you, factory, is, it's well known that the factory is in their house. They live right. on the premises. Oh, they, no, they, it's they covered live, in ketchup. Uh, yeah. They live at the the ketchup manufacturing plant in Pittsburgh. That's where I go. You two, David and Max, you two really get along. I think that you guys could be really good friends. I have sensed a lot of chemistry here. Yeah. Are either of you looking for a roommate? (laughs) I would be honored to live with John Lennon. (laughs) No, no, no. no, no. You're misunderstanding me. (laughs) Either of you could live with each other. I live. I don't want either of you in my home. It's official. We're moving to the Dakota. Yes. Oh, oh Central no. Park West. I've what always wanted to live there. Mr. Patrick, no, you- what is your current living situation? <laughs> I'm currently living in a mailbox, a blue mailbox on the corner of the Danbury Fair Mall in Danbury, Connecticut. Doesn't really? seem very roomy. No, it's depressing and uh, confining. Yeah. What is your? How do you? Uh, how how are you situated inside this mailing box? Well, several years of yogi training allows me to compress my form into a near rectangle, and I just insert myself like a filling into the mailbox. Does yeah, do enough yogi training, like you won't ho-ho. get a boo boo. <laughs> hello. Like that ho ho filling. <laughs> Now, does it drive you crazy when people drop mail on your head if they're mailing something? And then more specifically, does it bother you even more when they open it again to look to see if the letter went down? No, I understand when they look. To, I, I just shout out, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> that would blow my fucking Wait a minute. mind. Where, where is your home again? Danbury, Connecticut, the oh, corner of the I'm, Danbury Fair Mall parking lot. I'm sorry. I, I, I have to apologize. <laughs> I remember last year I... I was mailing a typewriter and I threw it in there. <laughs> that was you. That was me. I'm so sorry. I was sorry. so amazed you got it through the slot. <laughs> I was mailing it to myself across country because I, you for know, copyright type- reasons. <laughs> you didn't want to carry it in the RV. At yeah, it'll slow me down. Miles. I had to make it a day. <laughs> How many stamps did that take? Uh, one big one. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yep. well, that that's the that. It's, it's just one big stamp. forty-one <laughs> cents. <laughs> now you're getting it. <laughs> I saw it. I was if like, I did nothing here today, <laughs> I want everyone to know. That I, agree, I agree with that. Almost. <laughs> I appreciate the apology. I remember seeing that stamp and thinking, well, I got the size tape for this stamp, but it but wouldn't it'll stick. never hold. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. The stamp is actually sticky, though. Yeah, which I loathed. How did you? How did you get started in this business? It seems very curious. Okay. Well, I was. Um, I was. Uh, playing French horn in a parade, and I saw a float with is a huge... Is that where you were stealing the parade things from? Yes, that's oh. right. And I saw a huge uh, scotch tape dispenser on a parade float with a gift theme, which was I this stole. Th- was this the Puerto Rican Day Parade? <laughs> this is the Puerto Rican Day Parade with a huge <laughs> scotch tape dispenser. Uh, the, the <laughs> Puerto Rico, because of all the gifts that people give, it, all, Puerto Rico Day. Yeah, Puerto Rico Day is famous for uh, adhesives. Let's and, see um, where this leads. Yes. <laughs> And so I was in the Puerto Rican Day Parade, um, uh, ethnically inappropriate, and running <laughs> after the float, and I stole a, um, a play scotch tape dispenser. In front of everyone at the parade! No one was paying attention to me. <laughs> People that always was, ignore the French horn plays. Yeah. I was playing a solo French horn piece in the middle. <laughs> like, make it- I still no one, no one was paying attention to you. I was play- well, I was trying to play merengue on the French horn, uh, and it's not an optimal instrument for that sort so of. So you're doing uh, it poorly, and no one was paying attention to you. No, there was such there was such celebration and joy that. Oh uh, uh, yeah, was, well, there are celebratory people. I was invisible. <laughs> Effectively, so I uh, ran off with a huge scotch tape dispenser. <laughs> the end. Yep, that's your origin. <laughs> it's the easiest. It's the simplest and most logical part of my life. But well, now somehow you've come up with 
<laughs> many of these oversized <laughs> Scotch chips. I'll be yeah. honest, I've not sold any of the dispensers. I open the crate and people just wheel off a bunch of the non-sticky tape. Oh, and yet John Kerry is your biggest customer. <laughs> when I say biggest, <laughs> I mean he's the tallest person. Of course, he is the only sole yeah, customer. That alerts yeah. looking motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, he ooh, loves the roast. Wow, I like your mean side. <laughs> oh, you've lurched. <laughs> <laughs> you've been lurched. Yeah. I go around telling people if they look like lurch or not. And I say you've it's been the, lurched. It's the one time you mean. People love when a six foot five comes out to, a six foot five tall guy comes over and says, You look like lurch. <laughs> you should tell them this. You should tell them I look like Thing. Everyone looks like Thing. I started by doing it in the mirror. <laughs> So I knew it was funny. <laughs> You're like at the end of Boogie Nights. You're lurch. You're lurch. <laughs> oh. are, are you prosthetic? You're one reference for someone having looked in a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> the Snow, snowy time. Snow White. <laughs> the evil queen. She looked in a mirror once. I never saw it. All right. We have, uh, we're just about, uh, unless you had more to talk taxi about. Driver. Taxi driver. I had less. Taxi driver, he looks in a mirror. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I had less to talk about than this, so this was way, <laughs> way over. Okay, I had far less. Okay, good. He good. looks in a mirror well, and well, home alone. I have, I have one more question. One more question. Great. Astounding. Yeah. We have time for one more. Where do you stand I'm... on, where do you stand, <laughs> where do you stand on <laughs> invisible tape? <gasps> I, it's a, I think it's a, um, it's an affront, an affront to the industry. Tape should be uh, transparent but not unseeable. You would say translucent. Oh, yeah. I learned that word today. Why yeah. did you point at somebody when you said that? <laughs> I said it earlier. Mr. No. Mr. Keeper, That's a hell of a memory word. on you, Gino. Complicated layers of callbacks when new people arrive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very complicated. Every callback someone makes goes, what do you mean? <laughs> at least 50% of the things said, I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> that, now, Mr. Bunting, that happened to me with something about New York Yankees coasters. <laughs> I oh, wandered in it. here. Well, that makes sense to me. That's you did waltz in here, by it, the way. You guys are acting I like a real ostrich yeah. pile. <laughs> What? <laughs> say it again, say it again. I oh, that was something I said earlier before we started recording. Oh, I was seeing how far back oh. our references could go. How you're like you're a what are you doing? You're picking game. your nose. Why are you oh, picking I'm your nose? I'm looking for something fun in there. <laughs> I hit something up there. Is uh. it like a cracker jack? Uh, yeah, it's just like that. Why don't you dig up there and see? Ew. Okay, let me see. Oh. Oh, it's just boogers. Eh. That's not the fun thing. Oh, look, That's Scott. your prize. Oh, but don't you see, Scott? Boogers are fun to her. <laughs> oh, I get it now. I understand. I understand. I finally get Ho Ho's whole thing. Uh -oh. That's all you need. You, you, you finally didn't get, get it. Get it? No. It's you pretty simple. You pick the nose of your guest to understand them. <laughs> I thought you sang your you, fingers. All you needed was something all. else. <laughs> all right, we need to take a break. When we come back, we'll have more comedy bang bang after this. <laughs> comedy bang bang. We are back here. Jason Manzukas is here. Hey we also have intern Gino, Mr. and Mrs. Claus, <laughs> uh, Mrs. Claus, aka Big Sue. Uh, I'm eating a little chocolate Santa. <laughs> okay. Wait, was there a comma after chocolate or? No. And as everyone else so lucky as to get to eat their boyfriend in chocolate. And by boyfriend, I mean husband. But I call my boyfriend because he's fresh. Can I tell you something? <laughs> I don't often see this. It's weird. Mm -hmm. It's weird to see someone eat a little chocolate statue of you. Yeah. You're so much cuter than this. Oh, thank you. All right, stop. So now you. you guys are like making out. We Please fuck stop daily. <laughs> okay. well, while we were at, while we were on break, yeah, yeah, rehydrate Santa. Please. I got, yeah, I got going going smelling a it. lot of energy. Jesus. They were going at yeah. it. Yeah. You weren't supposed to watch. We're in love. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> yeah, you weren't supposed to watch, you creeps. I'm completely tucked into my waistband at this moment. <laughs> okay. Well, we just got that to, novelty pencil. Did you hear, did you hear pencil? my orgasm? <laughs> Yeah. We need to get to our next game. Here, but did you <laughs> oh, Jesus. Just to. You kept screaming, you shake up my snow globes. <laughs> we need to get to our next they're guest. Fake. He they're is fake. a... Uh, they are yeah, very fake. fake. He is they, a, have, they are trans <laughs> transparent with yeah. visible snow right. inside. Look, I'm in there. All right. Go Here ahead, we go. Scott. What do you want to do? He is a uh, self-described fan favorite. He has been on the show <laughs> many times. Please welcome back to the show my best friend, Rudy North. All right, oh, Scott. Oh, oh. Okay, first of all, Scott, I'm coming in extremely hot. I noticed. I need to let you know that from Look the very jump, Oh, Scott. my God. But before we get started, I got to get this out of the way. Okay. Previously on Comedy Bank. <laughs> Uh, so I'm a dirtbag, and um, I'm from Florida, and I go quantum leaf style from job to job, 
taking people's identities, throat punching them, and taking their identities. If there's ever a guess. job that you like, you I, I throat punch, punch someone the and then I take their job. I've gone from a leaf blower to security guard at Target. And I, the recently, in the most previous canon episode, I now own a donut shop. <laughs> Are there, do you have any adventures non canonical? Uh, yeah, there's some non canonical stuff we can get into. <laughs> sure, but, like uh, fanfic? Or? Yeah, there's some fanfic, uh, but also <laughs> stuff we don't talk about. I am a mortal and I do have the powers of the Flash. Oh, so. Um, um, didn't come yeah. with Santa over wow. there. Oh, yeah. Wait, you have the powers it's of the not, Flash? He's immortal. Well, I mean, how, well, I mean, you get around on Christmas. Yeah, yeah. lots of I'm not immortal beings. All over the place. But are you going into the Speed Force like like Rudy? No, I definitely go into the Speed Force. Oh, yeah, you we've know. all yeah. been to Speed Force. Is that you Hi, Rudy. Santa? Hi, Santa. What's going on? Is this how, is that how you get around to all the houses on Christmas? Uh, uh, no, that's just a coincidence. <laughs> oh. What the fuck? Of yeah, course, of course it, is. it is, you oh. fucking idiot. Oh, oh sorry. He is a fucking idiot. Wow. Santa, you're aggressive. Really rubbed off on me. I'm trying not to be a dirtbag, but it is hard to not be one. Are you a, a dirt teenage dirtbag, baby? Yeah, oh. I listen to Iron Maiden, baby. Oh. Are, you, are you a member of the dirtbag left? Uh, well, no, 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 not at all. The dirtbag <laughs> left. I'm not even sure what the hell that is. I don't know, no. but hey, the, I think the I DBE, the Rudy, DBL, DBL. Rudy, go on Chapo. <laughs> well, here's the thing. <laughs> I am here because Scott. <laughs> Scott, of course, I got a new job. You did. You were working at the donut I shop got when a I new met you. Job. <laughs> did you did you throw throat punch somebody for yeah. it? Well, Jason, well, tell us what happened. Uh, well, I was walking down the street, of course, just the other day. Just the other day, right? <laughs> were you was, going to your lab? No, I was I walking was <laughs> in my lab. I was Wait, not what? working in my lab, but <laughs> I, you know, I was walking down the street just the other day. And um, you know it's the holidays, Scott. I do is know it? that it is the holidays. I have we just saw you, a woman with snow globes for tits. It's Santa <laughs> Claus is right here. Yeah, Santa Claus. All right, right. Yeah. anti-feminist, <laughs> misogynistic. <laughs> yeah, you, I, am a, so, I am. I am pro-feminism, but I am a misogynist. Yes. Yeah, Look, you, once I was done talking, you said I think women can you, do whatever they want, but I hate them. Do you know? Do you know? Turn his back to me as if I was gone. <laughs> wow, Scott, this must be a hard show to host. I don't it's know. a hard show to be a guest on. <laughs> now, now, let me just say, I was walking down the street just the other day. It is the holidays, and they were selling Christmas trees on the side of the road, Scott. Goddamn right. They were they they goddamn right. In Florida. You love that, right? They were, no, no, now I live in California. 10% of every tree. <laughs> My favorite type of tree. They were selling trees on the side of the road. And I said, this looks like a great job. So I said, went up to the guy. I was like, who's the tree guy? And this guy raised his hand. He said, I'm the tree guy. I walked over, throat punched him. And then, no warning even. No warning. I said, who's the tree guy? I said, throat punch. He raised his hand. You, you said throat punch. You say the words throat, throat punch. punch. It's like, kind of like. Like type, type, type? Yeah, yeah. It's like type, type, type. <laughs> I say throat punch. Then I throat punch. And then I took this guy's clothes and his identity. His, his clothes wallet. too? I didn't know that was part of oh, it. Oh, yeah. You got to take everything. You need the very specific uniform of a yeah. plaid shirt and jeans. Exactly. Do you, do you okay. give him your old clothes? Oh, yeah. He has to take my old. So now he owns a donut shop. Are you the same oh. size? He's the owner of a oh, donut shop. So he owns a donut shop? Yeah. <laughs> he owns a year-round business, and you have seasonal. You're a seasonal tree yeah, seller. Yeah, because you know, look, I just really appreciated the the merriment and the joy he gives sure, people this month. Yeah, well, this what are you going to do in January? Yeah, yeah, that becomes an empty lot on like December 26th. Yeah, this is. Like, oh, should, really? You should throw punch baby New Year Father Time. <laughs> well, that's not a bad idea. Oh, you got to start throw punching the him? other immortal. I, I wouldn't know. do Father Time. It's, I mean, listen, it, put it, a leash on your wife. I, was, oh, yeah, I put beg your pardon. <laughs> Look, look I, was gonna, I was gonna. I was I love it. Hold up. He likes you, to watch. I love it. Have your cook. wife put a leash on me. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think the real question and the real concern is: Does Rudy North want to live at the North Pole? Does he want here's Santa's the thing, job? Jason, here's the thing. I, I've. I didn't want to bring this up because this is not something I did want to talk about. Hmm. But I have been having these sort of Jason Bourne style dreams where I've lived at the North Pole and maybe was <laughs> big, big root out the rest big of the uh, What piece. are you doing God, crouched over that coffee can? Just, Just refilling for later. <laughs> big Sue's pissing in the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> the bathroom's locked. Give her a break. Wow. Yeah, what? Well, I gotta piss this coffee cup and then I gotta drink it later. <laughs> That's pretty the interesting. The bathroom's locked. <laughs> so I, wait a minute. You've been having Jason Bourne style dreams where you think yeah. you're, you've been Rudolph? I might be well, Rudolph. Is that what Rudy is short for? I don't oh, know. It's rudimentary, Scott. Oh, but, yeah. Well, oh, your name is Rudimentary North. North. It's rudimentary as in North, North Pole? Yeah. It's as rudimentary, in, my dear. As in North Pole. North? <laughs> Rudolph North, North Pole. Rudolph, North Pole. Santa, I wanted to ask you, I mean... Are you my daddy? 
Uh, oh, oh, hold on a second. Fucking what is this, God. an episode of Maury? Well, I mean, we both have the powers of the Flash, and we're both immortal. Well, now, hold on a second. We both travel in the Speed Force. That's, That's true, true. For sure. I, if you look, take a look at me, I'm not running anywhere. Wait, anytime. start over. I'm writing this all down. Okay. <laughs> right, right, right. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. right, right, right. <laughs> See, a cheese scratchy show. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. So. Right, 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 right. Yes, I do use the speed force to deliver presents. Okay. Right. So you both have that. So we do have that in common. Uh-huh. That right, we, we right, right. To access sure. the speed force. Okay, okay. I do have... I've been alive for a long time, so I have a lot of kids. That's and true. you you're immortal. I've and been, you've been alive for a long time. I've been time. alive. Wait, for you're immortal, Rudy? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. I told you I said you don't listen, baby. <laughs> it was all on the recap. Recap. Santa Honey, baby. Baby, it's my busy time. Oh, it's my Santa busy Santa time. Baby. Santa baby. You say baby too? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Just quoting the song, of course. Okay, okay. please. Well, let's continue. continue. By the way, <laughs> that song needs to go. But, but baby, you love when I do it. I love when you do it. But no one else is it. Oh boy, here we Split go. Split my legs in two for <laughs> okay. yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's a dirtbag remix, man. I love that. It's a DVR. <laughs> it's a DVR. So you're both immortal. You both have it's just, access to the speed force. I've been having these memories of, you know, dragging a sleigh around the world mm-hmm. as fast as I can. Right. And uh, what about your nose? Any dreams about that? Well, I did do a lot of cocaine in the 80s. <laughs> did, you, did you, like, hey, did you host? Club. Did you no, ever host? we love this stuff. Jo- yeah, join the club and show me to the bathroom. Thank you. Know you. <laughs> hell yeah. yeah I I Santa's tight as hell, man. Now I, I think I know cool. what Speed Force is. Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't want a fucking white Christmas, motherfucker. <laughs> all, right, <laughs> all right, all right, Rudy. Sorry, sorry. Jason, were you going to ask me? No, 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 that's fine. <laughs> you were going to maybe ask me if I threw parties. Jason. Do you have parties? I have parties. I do. I do have parties. I do, I do. I used to have parties all the time. Huh. Okay. Did you, did you meet at one of my parties? Wait a second. Wait a second right now. Are you trying to tell me you are literally the person slash deer who introduced us years ago? That, I mean, you haven't seen Rudolph since. Well, no, I haven't seen him since I since he fell on my roof. Really, I, mean, I was Santa. You have magical party, powers. I didn't really see yeah. him. Did you, in a fit of peak, somehow transform Rudolph into? A human being? I mean, you know, I get mad sometimes, and I, that's a thing that I have done in the past. Or what I, if Rudy just throat punched somebody and got a different job? <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh, yeah. <laughs> did you did you throat punch a reindeer? Yes. Oh, that, that was coming back to me. <laughs> oh, okay. I did. I was searching for the meaning of my name, wow. so I traveled to Rudimentary Door. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up at this crazy-ass castle-type place. There were some elves there. This dude, Ho-Ho, we had Sounds some fucking familiar. parties. Wow. We had some fucking parties. I'll Ho-Ho. bet you did. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I She's laughing. just thinking about it. Yeah, he says it much faster. Now, now I did go. I, yeah, you're right. I did throw a bunch of reindeer and then take his job for a little bit. Okay. Oh, that's so that's what you're saying. That okay. makes sense. Okay. And then right. my mind is wiped because I drank all that. I was drinking to do a couple Oh, okay. So you are not Rudolph. You just. No, I thought maybe I was for a little bit, but okay. uh, no, I'm not. All right. Well, that's that really, explains honestly, a lot. I don't want to be your stepmommy, baby. Uh, I don't want okay, to. Okay, good. I will good, say good. that the two of you, uh, as is customary when doing comedy Bang Bang, you uh, took a DNA test. As you, you walked in here, we yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you do you have the results right there? Scott? I, that's why I, I asked you I to spit in these cups. You, you, oh, you swabbed my inside of my cheek with your finger. <laughs> that's right. Was that really was not amazing. part of the DNA test. Oh, okay. Sorry. That was just his own. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm saying, put a leash on your wife, Santa. <laughs> wow. He put his God. finger in my mouth. For I'm getting out of pocket, man. <laughs> but um, I have the results no, right here. If not. you'd like to. Uh, it's so so wait, didn't we say this isn't Maury earlier? Why did you crumple up the results? <laughs> Why are you crumpling them? Hold on, no, you, you did crumple them. them. You're Bef- uncrumpling before them. Before you read the results. Now, Scott, before you read the results, Santa. Yeah. What was all the rustling? Why don't you get He's opening an <laughs> envelope. picking it up. And you, oh, Santa, Why do you make so much noise picking up an envelope? Here, I'll pick up an envelope right now. Did it? <laughs> Santa, I want to see some oh, I turned you. on the fire. Thank you for this roaring fire. <laughs> Santa, before Dude, you read the, the results. It was like ASMR. Before you read the results, I want to say. No matter what that paper says, I'm going to be your son forever. <laughs> okay. That's, and I might as well, just in case. Haunting. Jason, I'm your son. Oh. I'd be very happy. Oh, wow. I have both of your results as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Just so you know, you can't call being my son like it's fucking shotgun or something. Okay. Okay. I want to be your son. <laughs> okay. I want to be Santa's son, no bitch. <laughs> all right. First of all, the results for uh, Jason Menzukas and intern Gino over here. Our wow. combined results. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Menzukas, you are... Not the father. Oh, Someone you know 
but just I like would, the little dinosaur. I would says. adopt you if you yeah. want. Your father, like your fun. father is someone named Jason Character Wheaties. I don't know. No, no, no that's that's not Jeffrey Character Wheaties. <laughs> that's right, Jeff. He can't read. There's, he crumbled the paper so much. <laughs> Fuck you. That's how we learned, though. That's how we learned how you couldn't read. There was a crumble there. <laughs> and uh, the results: uh, Rudimentary North and Old Saint Nick. Oh, here, oh, that jolly old please. fat man. That's Leave the religious name? shit out of it. <laughs> oh shit. Do you like Santa Claus, Chris Kringle, or Saint Nick? I like Santa Claus. Oh yeah, Santa I would Claus. get because that's yeah. that's the most. Santa Claus. Sinterklausen. It's too creepy. That's a different guy, German Santa Claus. Oh, yeah, he's not as funny oh, as he really? is. Oh. Is Black Santa a different guy, too? Black Peter, you mean, from uh, from Amsterdam? <laughs> yeah, I Yo, know. He's a totally different he's a guy. Different no, he's guy. talking yeah. about Black Santa from Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, Black Santa from Atlanta. You know about him. <laughs> All right, I met him. I met him, too. This is a different the, envelope. The Rudy Ray Moore go. movie? <laughs> Here we go. Wow. Oh, God. I would hate to be around when you open your bills. <laughs> <laughs> Santa Claus. Wow. You are the father of Whoa. Rudy North. Wow. wow. And that's canon now. It oh, is. my gosh. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about it. Oh, that. my I God. I feel sick. Why? Well, honey, why? I just couldn't imagine you having another child. I thought we had already counted for all of Do you remember Rudy's mother two. over here? Who's my mother? It's oh. my biggest mystery. <laughs> Wait, we've never do talked we about that. Well, I know, know she, that I know she biggest... was a wizard and was born. Yeah, it's a lot, but I do. I just don't know who she is. I mean, if you're back during the dawn of time. Yeah, wizard. if you're a mortal, it was probably the third Mrs. Claus. That was a long time she ago. She was a wizard. Oh my god, I have such a, a big shoes to fill. She, <laughs> she was a wizard. A With powerful huge feet? wizard. Santa. She had gigantic feet, Santa. which I was into at the time. <laughs> was she a dirtbag? You dirt swear you're too, not? Santa? I'm not anymore. Okay, I'm not anymore. My feet are as tiny as no, you know, elves. You know who ruined it for me? It was Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> he said, uh, yeah, his feet thing made it weird like, for everybody. Yeah, yeah I stopped I saw saying the N-word because of him. He ruined it's that true. for me. He likes big feet. I loved saying the N-word back in the day. He likes big feet. I want to know more. Rudy, 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 you're a, you know, yes. you're, yeah. a, you're a grown ass man now. I mean, you're thousands of years old That's at this true. point. Do you really? I mean, this is your father right here. I just want to know about my mother. Was she a dirtbag too, Santa Claus? She kind of was. I mean, her was, name is Noel. Her name you Noel. had a dream about her. She rings my bell. She got gym, gym class in half an hour. I don't know the How rest of this. In kids and tube socks. socks. Okay, we're singing she now. She doesn't know who her son is. is. Wait. And she Do you want to be my mother, Big Sue? Damn you have a new family now. Big Sue, you're a dirtbag too. Let her finish this. I can't. I'm just a teenage dirtbag. Okay, we're singing. Baby. We all say baby. You all say baby. Your mother's name was Noel. Her she name was, was Noel. Second yeah. Mrs. Claus. Wait, I'm, I just. She had gigantic feet and she was a wizard and a real dirtbag. <laughs> nice. And well, Noel is perfect actually for the the season. I never made that connection before. <laughs> Wow, she got her own song. Two of them. <laughs> well, Rudy, I mean, if you want wow. these people to be your parents, we'll pay for it. Please, hey, so pay what? for it. <laughs> I mean, if the you want to go on test? a second date. Yes, oh. pay for our second date. Can let I me, go? Let me talk this over with my wife. Okay. Uh, yes, we'll yes, give you some space. Talk, 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 talk. talk, 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 talk. talk. This is Speed Force talk, talking, Scott. They're in the Speed Force. They're vibrating at such an incredible frequency. They probably had a year in there. Rudy. Rudolph. Santa man. My will daddy. You, will you come live with us at the North Pole? And guide us later night. We're drunk. Two part question. <laughs> we got drunk in the We're shit faced. We got drunk in the speed force. <laughs> okay, so we'll guide you. Okay, okay. this may That's where we have the North Pole Christmas just, parties. If someone to guide our sleigh tonight, we have to Uber and come back and get the sleigh. It's a okay. bitch. I will do that. Oh, oh, oh you well, hold on, Santa. One thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Throat punch. Whoa! Oh, my oh, God! Oh. My husband! He just uh, throat punched Santa! Oh, and he's taking he's all his taking clothes all off. all his clothes! Jesus. Holy shit, Santa's got a hog. <laughs> hey! Gino, get your hands off it. I just want to touch it. Santa's fucking Yule hog. <laughs> Gino, Gino. Look at it. I put it on my shoulder. It's like a big fucking sack. What? Right. A like Yule hog? <laughs> Let go. Now I see where he keeps the toys. Look at the size oh of this fucking God. sack. He's just a tree salesman now? Stop touching my ball. <laughs> wow, by the end of this episode, I will have transformed you. Santa Claus. Who By the end, your hair like, is already very like, 
flight. In five hours? This is like the Tim <laughs> Allen transformation. It's oh, my God. Be- look at Santa. He's turning into yeah. just a, a regular guy with a plaid shirt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and a Carhartt yeah, vest. Now, what, what is sorry, it? now you sell Christmas trees. A regular guy. I've been there, done that. This fucking sucks. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, his voice. Oh. Try to say ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, look, we have to take a break. What happened to me? This fucking sucks. We have to take a break. When we come back, uh, oh, more guests of plenty. We'll be right back with more comedy. Bang, bang. (laughs) I would love to see an acting off. You know, between the two Johns, I would love to see who's the more powerful. Give us, a monologue, actor. give us a monologue right now. Give us a monologue. All right, so we have this monologue up now. Who who goes first? Do we need to flip a coin? Oh, he screen, can go first. Screen went blank. Oh, okay. I'm cool John, with that. Oh, John, is, John Ham goes first. This is a monologue from As You Like It, and let's hear the powerful acting of John Ham, uh, actor extraordinaire from St. Louis, taught acting to uh, young children in St. Louis, and then now, this became, is gonna this is gonna lose a little bit on the radio because became what a star you're not seeing right. is my. Uh, my powerful brooding. Your physicality is important that's, to a character. That's starting right now. However, I've closed my eyes when I watch Mad Men, usually because I'm doing laundry, and I do that with my that's eyes hard closed. To do. <laughs> You're folding this me. What character are you going to be reading for us? This Adam. Is Adam. All right, and he comes riding in on the sleigh. <laughs> Thank you, sleigh master. And begin. What? My young master, oh my gentle master, oh my sweet master, oh you memory of old Sir Roland, why what make you here? Why are you virtuous? Why do people love you? And wherefore are you gentle, strong, and valiant? Why would you be so fond to overcome the bonny prizer of the humorous duke? Your praise has come too swiftly home before you. No, you're not, master. To some kind of men, their graces serve them but as enemies. No more to yours. Your virtues, gentle master, are sanctified and holy traitors to you. Oh, what a world is this, when what is comely envenoms him that bears it. I think we have a winner. I think he won. Yeah, Hold on a second. Yeah. Hold on a second. That was, that was definitely yeah. that was really right. that was shut the best. Up. Everybody shut the fuck up. <laughs> that was the best Don't one. Don't tell Hold me. You shut, shut the fuck John up. John C. Riley, you're not my commanding officer. Listen. John, John. Yeah? The, the stage is yours. Thank you. Go. What, my young master? Start whenever you're ready. Oh, my. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you gotta res- you better respect the cr- the craft, Doug. You gotta respect the craft. This is, not, this is not done. This is not done. What you're doing? Would it help Just if we had Will Ferrell and Adam McKay in here holding your hands? <laughs> oh, 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 snap, man. boy. Oh, maybe uh, if uh, Matthew Weiner. Matthew Wien. What? <laughs> That's the guy that. Just say Weiner. Holds his. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> What, my young master? Oh, my gentle master. Oh, my awesome master. Oh, you memory of old Sir Roland. Why? What make you here? Why are you virtuous? Why do people love you? And wherefore are you gentle, strong, and awesome? Why would you be so fond to overcome the awesome prizer of the awesome duke? Your praise has come to swiftly home before you. No, you're not, master. <laughs> to some kind of men. The graces throw them but as enemies. No more to yours. Your virtues, gentle master. Awesome and holy traitors to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a world is this? When what is awesome and venoms him? The, the bears that... I'm, look, I'm crying real tears. Oh, look at how I'm crying real tears. Oh my gosh, get a close up on this. Yeah, yeah. I don't use a uh, uh, one of those uh, menthol things. And I don't. Yeah, thank get, you. Let's get, a, let's get a microphone right by those tears. Yeah, yeah. Can can you hear them dripping <laughs> into a pan, wow. a basin? <laughs> that was a giant tear. Yeah, I have a tear basin that I carry around. <laughs> <laughs> a tear spittoon? A tear <laughs> ewer? Wait, is there... That was it. That was it. Yeah, yeah. Anytime I cry real tears, that's the end of the <laughs> monologue. <laughs> really? You just stop in the middle of a sentence. All right. So now we'll... <laughs> everyone who voted for John C. Riley, raise your hands. I voted for John C. Riley. No, no, no. Well, thank you, but fun. still. I, I vote for John C. Riley. Wh- what? Who said that? Who's that? Is that a ghost? <laughs> turn the lights on! <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, John turn the lights on. John Hamm, your, your hand so is up. Are you saying you voted for me for the acting contest? I, I did. I voted for you. I thought you brought a lot to that and uh, made it made it your own. But I've treated you so poorly. 
It's okay, man. You know what? You're being the bigger guy here, and I feel like a real jerk. What? Are you crying real tears, John? <laughs> I am. And I, so, is it okay if I use your 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 tear basin? Of course it is. We we're both actors. We gotta stick together. So what if you just work exclusively in television, pretty much, and I'm on the silver screen on the Broadway stage, opposite people like Philip Seymour Hoffman, doing a version of True West where we switch roles every night. <laughs> That's that, a lot that, of track delay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, I wow. voted for one hamon. <laughs> <laughs> so, so do we have a winner? Have you, guys met, you know what? I almost uh, like, you know who the winner I, is. I think the winner. Shut up, Scott. Whoa. Do you know who the you who, know who the winner who's, who's is? The winner. The Friend? audience. Ah, so they got to hear some great action. I do have to introduce our, our uh, I guess, guests of honor, our holiday guests of honor. Ooh, yeah, they, okay. They are returning champions. They have been on the show once. Okay, please don't do that right into the mic. <laughs> I'm getting waters for the... For I the, know the, you're the, doing the, it, but the, you can do it even like one foot prior, the other direction. We're prior to the show starting. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, but I didn't know when the show was starting because I didn't get the heads up from Scott like I usually... <laughs> Plus, I got the computers resetting itself and the luff is off and I need the board to write down the plugs. But you, you know, got, like, you know one technical term You've got so many other people helping you <laughs> in there. So many engineers. And it's yet too we, many cooks, baby. We're standing around the computer. Everyone's jamming. Please, Everyone. stop, please stop plugging Adult Swim <laughs> yeah, specials exactly. for three years I know it's ago. the end of the decade, but uh, we don't have to talk about the uh, best Someone the sounds like their Aqua Teen Hunger Force. <laughs> 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 All right, well, we need to, we need to introduce them. They have been on the show tw uh, once before. This is their second appearance. They are, uh, of course, the musical guest. And uh, they uh, had such a wonderful time last time. They begged and pleaded with me to return, and uh, I finally took pity on them. Uh, please welcome back to the show Asa and Matthew, a.k.a. Cornbread, uh, of Electric Guest. Hi, guys. All right. Hey. So great Sound to see speeds. you. Let's go. Okay, we're finally recording. Yeah, sorry, I got this thing figured out now. <laughs> All right. Just in time for the holiday guests. How are you guys? So so great to see you again. Hell yeah. We Doing just got good. back from uh, London as well. And what do you think of The Mandalorian? <laughs> <laughs> Have you watched every episode of The Mandalorian? <laughs> Mando! Baby Yoda? Where do you guys stand on Baby Yoda? <laughs> He's adorable. Man. Yeah, pretty cute. One of the only characters to have two Ys in his name. Is that safe to say? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what about the Yin Yang this, twins? This is <laughs> all right. That's Thank two you. people with the Y in their name. Uh, at all that right. Point. You're right. <laughs> um, guys, you have a new record out called Kin. Oh, the Yeah, Yeah, Yes. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Uh, you have stuff to plug. New record called Kin, which is your first record since the last time you were on the show. Uh, just came out a couple of months ago. Tell me about the new record in 30 seconds or less. Hopefully Ooh. less. It's kind of a, it took us like a year to make. It's kind of like a throwback. To no, like, okay, let me give you a little advice. No one cares how long <laughs> okay, it took okay. you to do anything. <laughs> talk uh, talk about the, the, the record the, itself, not process. What These is are, more exciting for the listeners, to find out it was a cinch and they did it in like eight minutes, or it, like, <laughs> they've been working on it for a decade? Which would you, as a listener, would you would prefer? I'd like to hear, like, yeah, we barely gave a shit. It's just ready to ride. We printed it We could it do out. another one tomorrow. <laughs> that kind of was. That was kind of our ethos. Just ripping it really was. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, was, it kind of was. It was like a joyful, very concise process. It's kind of like a throwback R&B record. It's like early 2000s. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Early 2000s. What was going on in the early 2000s? It's kind like of 9-11. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's real okay, 9-11 yeah. record. Aside yeah. from that. Uh, it does it, it's an R&B record using 9-11 as the theme? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was kind yeah, of Yeah, and it's care. raising money for yeah. Steve Rennie. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, what, what are we talking? Are we talking like Destiny's Child, Charlie's Angel soundtrack kind of vibe? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're yeah, so yeah. good at R and B. <laughs> Your R and B references are on point. Like Usher, Justin Timberlake. Oh, type very nice. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's baby making music. Uh huh. Yeah. Have you made babies, by the way? Mm -mm. No babies. You, you you've guys, never made it. Do you guys keep track with your fans about how many babies have been made during the the listening of your music? Like how many people are fucking and pre like procreating? Oh, okay. Yeah. That, I, fucking, I feel like that I was would be thinking, two different columns: the fucking column and the making babies. Yes, yeah. I thought it was music to play while a woman's giving birth in the hospital. Oh, oh interesting. You think that's baby, when a baby? Yeah. baby yeah. You think that's when a baby is made? Yes, that's when the that's, when it is birthed. The woman puts all the flesh clay up there and <laughs> squeezes her legs together real tight, and then sure. nine months later, do you just know about? <laughs> birth from the Greek gods flesh play uh, do, you, do you think the movie Ghost is about a woman giving birth which movie is Ghost 
Oh, it's Demi Moore. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Bruce Willis's ex-wife. Yes. Yeah. Bill Murray, Harold Ramis, Dan oh, Aykroyd. Oh, okay. Yeah, the original Ghostbusters. The one <laughs> oh, that- let's not talk about this. <laughs> I don't want to get into your views on <laughs> Ghostbusters. <laughs> That's not the place for Ghostbusters it. is supposed to be old, dumpy white guys. Okay? <laughs> That's my Ghostbusters. <laughs> not some kids crying over a fucking proton pack. Um, so you guys, uh, uh, you put out the record. And Matthew, feel free to jump in at any point. You got it. Cornbread! Matthew, <laughs> shut up! Ugh. We're going to have to take Matthew's hello again. I was, I did not have the mic ready for that. Oh, no, he didn't offer one. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> He's just, just sitting there. Hello. Okay, we got it. Hello. <laughs> Put that uh, in. So you, uh, is there any kind of a unifying theme to the record uh, uh, other than uh, the sound of it? Is there anything, any sort of thing that you're discussing in it? Um, yeah, there's, there's a couple of through line themes. It's kind of, I mean, it's kind of a joyful record and mm-hmm. we debated like, is that the time for this? Right well, now? it's perfect for the holidays. I'll tell you that make a joyful noise unto <laughs> the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Totally. Holiday nine eleven record. Yeah. Uh, no, I think it's kind of a, it's an upbeat record. And I think we came to the conclusion that, like, it actually was a good time for it. Like, People oh. need to feel good. Yes. That's why they have sex. That's why they listen to your music. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's why this is the kind of record you put on when you're ready to, like, come down the chimney. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, coming down the chimney. Um, do you guys believe in Santa Claus? I do, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I believe in Santa Claus, but based on the North Pole, Santa Claus would not be white. Okay, he, he, would be, is, he would be a Lucian. This or, is based uh, on Megan Kelly, I think. <laughs> yes, I'm so pissed at Megan Kelly. <laughs> Still, only because she said Santa is white. Santa just is white, but this person is just arguing that. I did the research. I've been spending time in the North Pole a oh, lot really? of time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Bombshell in theaters now. Bombshell That's in theaters. included in it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the part where she says that. And isn't someone else in Bombshell I know? Yeah, one of my favorite comedians from Long Island has one line. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's Not a- Alec Baldwin, John Gabers. John Gabers, and yeah. he's an astronomy club as well with another, like, one or two liners. Yes, he's got one line. He's got one line in a lot he's, of interesting He's really good at the one line. He's one of those actors who I love when he appears on screen and then implodes after five lines. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately becomes unwatchable after five lines. The true five and well, under comedian. Yeah, luckily, he has not ever done anything <laughs> over five lines, so we don't know. <laughs> Well, it's great to have you here. Thank you so much for being here. Happy holidays to you, of course. So we'll be hearing from you a little bit later. We do need to talk to her. Uh, she's been very patient sitting here. Uh, has never been on the show before. Am I right about that? Yes. Uh, talk right into that microphone, <laughs> dear. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. <Dear. laughs> you should be more condescending later. <laughs> uh, please welcome to the show Tracy M. Hello, Tracy. Hi. Hi. Jingle bells. It's that time of year again when we all ship. Omaha steaks to each other. <laughs> oh, is it? Huh. I, huh. Are I was, you an Omaha steaks rep? Are we sponsored by Omaha Nothing steaks? Nothing says I love you, like shipping a big case of meat to someone in a cardboard box and then opening it up and finding some steak. <laughs> is this a commercial in the middle I don't, of the show? I, I guess so. I All don't of know. these seem like happened. PR press Cute, lines. Uh, uh, roll ads. Sixty-nine ninety-five. You can ship 10 Omaha steaks to someone you love. Jingle bells. <laughs> oh, is that the code? I feel like we're being <laughs> robo dialed in yeah. the studio. <laughs> yeah. It's like, so were... great to be here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, Trace, oh, okay. Okay. Tracy. Tracy, so she is here. <laughs> she's, she's, Tracy, do you, do you work for Omaha Steaks? I do. Thank you so much for asking. Oh, you're welcome for answering, but. Uh... Nothing says I'm sorry like a bunch of meat in a cardboard box. <laughs> Hey, listen to that, Scott. You could send me that. Uh, I think you're good with the porridge. Aww. How does a, a case of meat say I'm sorry? It kind of seems <laughs> yeah. like a threat, to be honest. 96% of people would prefer a gift of food than a gift of product. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. 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 Isn't food a product? <laughs> yeah, it's a complicated question, so I feel like the 95% <laughs> might have just been, been checking been yes confused. or something. <laughs> Even jewelry? Even jewelry. For hmm. example, my boyfriend recently sent me a bunch of steak. And I said, okay, thank oh. you. <laughs> what, what had he done? he did done something bad. Obviously, oh. that was his way of saying, I'm sorry, what had he done? Who's your boyfriend and what did he do? Yeah. Oh. Who is your boyfriend and what does he do? Who is your boyfriend and what does he do? Who is your boyfriend and what does he do? Who is your boyfriend and what does he do? Who is your bo- What's happening? What are you freaking out? I will send you. <laughs> yeah, yeah Spring's rolling. You I'm are only you You're this sweaty. Is I feel the time like, to be doing I feel this. like I only heard that. I, it only happened once. I heard it six times. My boyfriend's name is Mick. Mick. Yeah, and Mick did something bad. What did he do? What did, uh, 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 
Well, he he cheated on me. Oh wow! Oh, with uh, uh, another person. What yeah. are, wait, whoa! What? What? <laughs> what, are, what are the other choices? How, how, how else could that unfold? Do you think? I don't believe me. Because if he fucked like, like an animal, the, she wouldn't say with, he cheated on me. He would yeah, say beast. He did something bad. Like he he fell in love with an AI. If they were playing a board <laughs> game and then he cheated, that would have been he cheated on you, right? Me. Oh, I cheated on my wife with a bobblehead. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> how so? You put a bobblehead in a different woman's pussy. <laughs> Oh dear! I wish I mean, that's on my bucket list, buddy. <laughs> no, I cheated on my wife with a bobblehead of Marissa Tomei from my cousin Vinny. Oh, oh no! Oh. So you had sexual relations with the bobblehead? My yeah. bobblehead is, is she... bouncing like this. Is she holding an Oscar that also has its head bobbling? <laughs> uh, no, but that's on my bucket list now. <laughs> I'm in the bobble. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to buy one or to have sex with one? So Bu- someone buy one, send- get one free. Did someone send you a Marissa Tomei bobblehead that had a functional sexual organ? I guess. Like a fleshlight <laughs> or something? You guess? Yeah, did you, you know that Out most- of anyone, you should know. <laughs> they, well, I haven't checked every underside of a bobblehead, but most underside of a bobblehead have a sexual organ attached. What? Really? They do? Attached? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're put on at the at the factory. I mean, and then do they say when they say this is a bobblehead of so and so on the bottom is the genitals? <laughs> uh huh. Usually have a famous porn star, like a fleshlight. Uh-huh. Most bobbleheads are also a fleshlight. Yeah, I have to. <laughs> I, wait, so bobble- I can back this up. I have to clean my uh, my stepdad's bobbleheads every Friday. Okay. But I thought bobbleheads I have to shake them out small. and leave them hanging. What's in happening the yard? on Thursday? <laughs> well, on Thursday he's just pumping them full of fucking. <laughs> okay. yeah. He's like, all have right, you seen my right, Gilligan's right. Island bobblehead set? So, Professor, <laughs> so Tracy, your boyfriend cheated on you, uh, yeah. Mick. That's Mick, pretty fucked up. With, with Sorry whom? to hear that. With a bunch of meat. <laughs> this is why I asked Jason with a bunch of meat. Oh wow. He he and had then, sex with the meat. And then is that the meat he sent you? Um, no, he sent me new meat. <laughs> Did he arrange the meat? Fresh meat. Into a body shape, or was it just purely just? I think it was just a big pile. Did he apologize to you? Or are you assuming the meat was an apology? Seems like he was just delivering more meat to fuck for later. Well, I think I took it as an apology. And I said, thank you so much. And he said, well, it's Omaha steak. And I said, yes, it is. So <laughs> I have 12 follow-ups. But I'm going <laughs> to start with one. Um, do you know if he warmed the meat to room temperature or if he fucked it cold or did he go full hot? Oh, you want a how to? I think it was scalding hot. Oh, scalding yes, scalding hot. Scalding I, hot meat. I was listening to an old love line once about fucking a microwave tomato and they don't tell microwave you to do tomato. under 10 seconds. I did 40 seconds oh. and I've got fucking severe third degree marinara burns. In my oh, <laughs> that's yes. good gravy. That's good gravy. It's Sunday good. <laughs> It's a really good catchphrase. <laughs> Tracy, was was he in love with was was Mick in love with the meat, or was this purely carnal? He said that carnal the, asada. The meat. <laughs> anyway, oh, no. No. Hey. no, no, I'll just see my I'll see myself out. Please, <laughs> that, no need to that, escort me on that your shoulders. Should be how the podcast ends forever. <laughs> yeah, that's those it. will be the last words I ever say. Carnal asada, carnal asada. and then just a dial tone. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He said that the meat gave him something I could never give him. Oh. And that was um, just An internal silence. temperature of 200 si- <laughs> Silence. Silence. Can I ask you a question, Tracy? Yeah. Was the meat that Mick fooled around with also Omaha steaks? Yes, it was. Oh, that must have been so hard for you because you worked That's for That's where them. you worked, This right? is your pride and joy, these steaks. I thought it was... It was, you know, oddly supportive. That's like workplace supportive. sexual harassment. That was the part that actually made me be like, it's okay, because it was oh. Omaha. Does it's, he work for Omaha as well, can I ask? He does. We oh. all work for Omaha. Oh, what? oh You're an Omaha all, family. We live in an, um, well, Omaha. And you everyone works for Omaha, <laughs> <laughs> Omaha Steaks. Uh-huh. Omaha Steaks, sixty nine ninety five for 10 steaks. Okay, you are, it oh, seems that. as though you're also kind of crying a little bit. <laughs> sixty nine ninety five for 10 steaks. That's it sounds $7. like they're going to be bad. <laughs> That's sixty nine ninety five for 10 steaks. Also, your choice of sides. Mac, cheese, and Wait, those are two options? different things. Are those two things, Mac? <laughs> yeah, if you want mac, mac and cheese, cheese. you got to blow both your side <laughs> options. It's kind of complicated. Scallop potatoes. Salad. Scallop. Salad. Oh, I think okay. scallop. Can oh, I? What right. egg salad. <laughs> oh, that's one thing. Yuck. Egg, egg salad, salad. Oh, in a cardboard box. <laughs> just, you're just shipping egg salad to now, people. I don't want to tell hot Mick what to do, salad. but I bet you fucking a hot pile of egg salad's better than fucking a hot pile of steaks. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's like getting you taking <laughs> a bunch of sauerkraut. 
<laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> come on, indeed. Oh. Ooh. Is that a callback, or are we supposed to jack off to it? <laughs> I don't know. Come on, point. indeed. Uh, well, I, I'm so sorry, Tracy. Coming I mean, down the this chimney. Is... Come on, Eileen, to come on, indeed. <laughs> That's correct. And I was hoping to get out of there without talking about it anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tracy. This is a terrible situation, especially right before the holidays. Don't worry. I'm all right. Jingle bells. <laughs> Happy holidays you from don't Omaha Steaks. Right. Yeah. You seem pretty fucked up. <laughs> the steaks that this guy fucked might have been hot, but what he did was ice cold. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Dial tone. Darren <laughs> Mitzi. <laughs> the fucked up thing is Darren was Darren was reading that off a card. He was reading it off of uh, off of. It was like Sprague, a fax machine. Off of Sprague's notes app. Yeah. Yes. Also, I wanted to say it's beginning to look a lot like backflips. Oh dear! I just throw that out there. Oh. Have you written more during this segment? No, I'm engaged with the interview. Oh god! All right. Well, guys, it's. Uh, I, I, I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, what is your name, Tracy? Tracy M, I was. Cer- I knew it was a T name. Tracy, Tracy M. M. Tracy M. Not Tracy S. What and. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy S. was on a previous show, is that right? Probably, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, I, it's a terrible thing to have happen to uh, you before the Christmas. I'm talking to you, Tracy, not to you, uh, Darren Matisse. I've had some terrible things happen to me, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. What, what's happened to what you? What happened to you this year? Someone broke my favorite bobblehead. Which is your favorite? The Marissa Tomei one, I would imagine. I wish. My wife took that away from me. <laughs> so it's no longer you, your favorite. Can you... You're pretty distracted by the candy. I <laughs> <laughs> You haven't answered the question, Scott. You really have really been looking down. Darren's <laughs> opening like, a big Darren bag of like, candy. Darren is like, I don't care if we're talking about me right now. I'm getting into this candy, bruh. What, which is your favorite bobblehead, Darren? <laughs> well, if this dark chocolate mint Ghirardelli Square didn't give it away, it's the cartoon character Kathy. <laughs> They have oh. a Kathy bobblehead? I have a Kathy Ack. bobblehead. Is she trying on bikinis? <laughs> yes, yeah, she is. Is she saying ack? She is. Wow. She's the only one that, uh, bobblehead I flipped over that didn't have a flashlight bottom. Really? <laughs> why do you suppose that is? I don't she's know. She's kind is, of sexless. Is that why it's your favorite? To you, she's sexless. She is. She's an innocent person. She's a hero for all of us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's always shitting on her. Right? Is that what they do with bobbleheads that don't have genitalia? They just shit on them. Oh, if you want us to stop talking to you so you can eat that chocolate, we, we yeah. can do that. Stop saying the now most. It's, now it's just going to melt in your little paw. Please stop saying the most interesting things if you <laughs> want to eat instead. Why do you have paws? <laughs> yeah, your paws give me paws. Yeah. I had them surgically uh, placed onto my hands so that I'd stop breaking bobbleheads. Oh, okay. I broke some of the most valuable Wait, Were you the one that broke your favorite bobblehead? I, I think did. case closed. I did. I broke that one, and I broke the Nelson Mandela dressed up as uh, Austin Powers. <laughs> That's a rare one. That's also a callback. Dial tone. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's canon, of course. All right. Uh, well, guys, it's great behave. to see you. We we do have to move on to our, our next guest. Greetings. What? Oh. what? Oh. Oh. Who's TikTok. Oh. Oh. TikTok. Who's this, who's this sad Wait a minute. fellow in the midnight blue Starfield cloak? <laughs> If I know that voice anywhere, and obviously I do right here. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, tis I, the very timekeeper. <laughs> Maxwell Keeper? Yes. Why are you crying? Um, because I'm feeling misery. <laughs> okay. More Why misery feeling- than Paul Sheldon. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love you. Why are you feeling such misery? Because everyone has been saying they can't wait for 2016 to be over. Oh. Everyone says this is the worst year. The, everyone's blaming everything on the year. Well, sure. I mean, David Bowie died. David Bowie Prince died. Prince died. Prince died. The guy Castro. who invented General Fidel So's chicken. <laughs> Some would say democracy. Oh, boy. Oh. Yes, I've heard Boo. such a phrase. <laughs> Well, I'm so sorry, but before you continue, can we catch you up on what's uh, going on over here? Everyone, introduce yourselves. (laughs) Should we do it all at once? (laughs) Yeah, let's all just set the team by Gino, you had a good handle on this. Uh, Yeah, uh, faked his own death, real his own death. Host, will be host if host dies. Uh, Brothers that are casually racist. (laughs) Hey, oh, hey. hey, But ignorantly so. Oh, ignorantly so, unlike myself, who is a microaggression machine. (laughs) And your full (laughs) name is... commercials. Your full name is Giovanni. I used to love those. Gino Vanni. Gino Vanni Lombardo. Mm-hmm. His commercials mm-hmm. with John Machado. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. I'll just sit back and listen. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Tell us about. Oh, okay. Wait, one second, one second. Okay. John Machida. 
I think that was his name. Oh, boy. I think it was John Machida. Yeah, probably. The fast talking guy. I know who you mean. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. The guy who did the like sort of auctioneer guy on the commercials. The micro machine. Micro machine. Micro machine. Micro machine. Not the real thing. The microaggressions machine guy. All right, I'll look up that guy's name. I'll be right back with that. Thanks, Gina. Okay, yeah, thanks. Please continue. You're a time guy of some sort. Yes, yes, indeed. I'm a time guy of some sort. And I'm so upset that everyone has blamed this year not on their actions or on anything else, but on the year. Well, I mean, people, I don't know I don't that think people are blaming the year. Literally blaming I the sun cycle. This is year. You, you wouldn't blame the wind if your hat flew off your head. I'm, I'm sure you would. You'd blame yourself for putting a hat on. <laughs> Wait, for uh, the windiest day. The shortest shorts of all. I would maybe blame myself for not affixing it uh, sure. as well as I could have. Right. Like, what, a chin strap or something? <laughs> like, sure. I, it costs a little extra, but it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> How much more does it cost, usually? Well, depending on the hat, but, you know, you could get a baseball cap with a chin strap for just under $7. Do you still have a haberdashery? <laughs> just under $7. I've, cl- I've shut the doors for the, the rest of the year. I'm oh, going to really okay. work on my new strategy. I would like to talk to you two about it off the air. Mm, <laughs> sounds hat great. Store, huh? I'll brainstorm an, uh, a title for your company for a <laughs> Hat store. I'll come up with something good. We'll I work promise. on it together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know that people are blaming the actual literal trip around the sun as much as the events that happened in it and just saying, oh, wow, coincidentally, this year has been terrible for... To be fair to the timekeeper. Mm-hmm. Thank you. People are saying things like, fuck you, 2016. Yes. Oh. They are quite literally blaming the year. Yes, Sounds like are. me on the street at times. So... Me on the street. <laughs> no, but hey, I mentioned if, if anyone said I fake my death, I tell them to fuck off. Go ahead, timekeeper. And what was that word you used at the end of that sentence? Uh, at time. time. Oh, I see. No, <laughs> I loved it so. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you like to break down what parts of sentences yes, you like. Yes, yes, <laughs> smile spread from lobe to lobe. <laughs> that was a terrifying smile, Thank by you. the way. <laughs> Thank you. But yes. Ma- Maxwell, aren't you excited, though, for 2017? I That's say, a brand new no, 365 no, days. No. Okay, you've okay. said it three times already. I get the picture. Nay. Okay, a different Nay. way of it. Five. I say... As punishment for everyone blaming the year, we do 2016 over again. Oh, Next year we call it no. 2016. Well, but uh, we can't bring David Bowie back to life. We can't bring Prince back to life. No, no, no we Fidel can't. Fidel Castro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why are you crying the most about Fidel Castro? <laughs> I miss him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you from Cuba? No, but I'm from Florida. You're from Florida. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Northern Cuba, as they call it. Yes, and we love our little bay of pigs across the lake. <laughs> the <laughs> lake? <laughs> the Atlantic lake. Well, I'm a time guy, not a geography guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, Maxwell, how do you think this is going to work? How, I mean, we just call it 2016 and then yes. the same events happen? And then or? if we go, okay, we show some appreciation for the year, then mm-hmm. at the end we go, we deserve a new year now. We didn't spend all year blaming the year for things that that word the year's fall. Would different things happen, though? This is what I'm confused yes, about. Yes, yes. It would just be 2017. It would just be. So. We just keep doing 2016. We're calling it that Can until I we this? show some proper respect. If there were certain jobs where that had, say, term limits of four years or so, would that then extend to five under this new, because we would be repeating a year? Or would uh, someone get to keep going throughout a year that where someone was supposed to stop next year? These are questions for our president-elect to decide. <laughs> oh, wait, so you think on January... 20th. 20th, 20th yes. That, that that's still going to happen, and he'll decide what happens? Yes, yes. What are the chances that he'll say, you know what, let's go back to the previous guy? <laughs> well, you know what, if, if he could do 2016 over again, mm-hmm. then this time he would win the popular vote. Like he said, he could. Right. If yeah. he wanted to. Right. 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 Yeah. You don't so have, that would happen. Now, my question is: Do we go then from 2016 right to 2018, like the 13th floor on an elevator? <laughs> a wonderful question. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you had the build up to that. <laughs> we should still give every year its proper respect, and you only are allowed to move on to the next year if, if you've shown appreciation for said year. Okay. What if there are people who showed appreciation for 2016? Can they move on? Yeah, do, do, can certain people be moving forward in a year, or no, do, do we need it, consensus? Democracy rules. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, uh, it, how uh, is this a grassroots effort to get this going? Or is yes, this- yes. Mm-hmm. It's very grassroots. Meaning just you? It's just me. <laughs> but I'm using the power of the airwaves okay. to broadcast a podcast my message. Okay, so, and starting here, I guess? Starting here. You're just, this is a fancy way of you saying that you're on the show right now? Yes! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. Well, Maxwell, good luck to you. I, d- I don't know if this is going to gain any Can traction. Can I ask a question of the timekeeper? Sure. Can you um, access the past? Like, uh, can you go back? Are you a time traveler? Yeah, I don't, know. Can I don't you... know that this has been established. Uh, that's what I'm wondering. Do you have any time powers? I feel or... as if this has been established. Yeah. Has it? That you just that you like don't. time a lot. Right. Yeah. I okay. access it through my memories. Okay, got it. <laughs> just making sure. Just that's making time sure. travel of a sort. Of a sort, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Every morning I flip through a photo album sure. recalling past occasions. Every morning you do Every this? Every morn, which is a wonderful time. <laughs> of sure. Are there times you don't like? Yes. What are the times you don't yeah, like? I've never heard you say you yeah. don't like, like a time. What's an, what's an unlikable time for you? 420. Oh, <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Why do you... I'm not? straight edge. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I was going to ask about the X's drawn on your yes, hands yes. there. Well, I got held down and people drew those on me, but... <laughs> Why? Well, then I decided to... Were you in a weird game it. of tic-tac-toe? <laughs> yes, I was in a human game of tic-tac-toe. <laughs> Are you being bullied? <laughs> yes, by some hillbillies. <laughs> They hold me so down and play tic tac toe on my body. I think those would probably be hillbillies. Yes! <laughs> Nailed it. Eggnog. <laughs> Eggnog, man. Hey, Nog, man. Uh, well, Make a shirt out of hillbillies. I know, Scott. I'm on it. <laughs> okay, yep. I just winked at Monetize you. Monetize you know everything. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, Maxwell, good luck to you. I uh, I hope, uh, I don't think this is going to happen. You only have a couple weeks left to get this going, and I doubt it. <laughs> Oh, I am quite used to failure, Scott. I know. Scott sees no uh, future in anyone's future. I'm sorry, but uh, maybe I'm pessim- Maybe I'm just a big old Scrooge this Christmas. What do you think about my business where I get the people, sh- parents to shave their bodies, put in order to become suits, Santa, and then the next day they wear a wig made from their own hair and drawn on eyebrows? I'm sorry, but I just don't see it you happening. Don't see a future. With no, them. I don't. And John, I don't think what you're talking about is going to happen. And- you think this scarf off of my neck? <laughs> I think the only thing we know for sure in the upcoming year is that you are going to die and I will take over the show. <laughs> Probably that'll be an even worse year than 2016 for a lot of people then. Don't you dare blame it upon the year. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look, <laughs> we need to take a break. Maybe I'll get out of my funk uh, with uh, after the break, but I don't know. I'm, you don't know? You, I'm think kind you're of feeling, this, you think you're feeling this funk? It, I might be feeling the funk. Are you feeling this funk? <laughs> I just may be feeling the funk. I'm now, catching up. You have the Christmas blues? <laughs> I do, I do. Well, look. We well, listen, to- we're going to go to a commercial, but when we come back, we're going to recap every single character's backstory from this episode and previous, and then we're going to m- keep rocketing forward. All right, we'll be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang after this. Roll commercial. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we are back here. We have Jason Manzoukas. Hello. We have Ho-Ho. Oh, ho. Intern Gino. Maybe. John Lennon. Trubs. And, of course, Mayor Junius Bobble Doonery. Yeah, I live in your walls. <laughs> is that your catchphrase? <laughs> sure. It's a okay, way to catch great. people up. And uh, the band Mr. Heavenly is, of course, here. Boxing the Moonlight, currently out. Uh... On, uh, on uh, at all uh, major retailers. Almost, uh, yes. almost. I have, almost a, almost I have almost a question. Yes, certainly. Does boxing the moonlight refer to putting moonlight in a box or hmm. to challenging the moonlight to a bare knuckle boxing exhibition? Like a diorama, you mean? Uh, putting it into a box? I don't know. How, how would you put moonlight into a box? What do you mean? Um, that's part of my question. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, who's... Well, you'll find with his other part. Yeah. How would you yeah. box the moon? Uh, Ryan, you want to answer <laughs> yeah, this? Yeah, it, it's a combo. I mean, for me, it was uh, fighting the moon. And then for Nick, it was trying to encapsulate the magic. Well, as the song from Coyote Ugly tells us, you can't fight the moonlight. <laughs> Is that the one she plays up on the roof? Uh, That's right. Okay. <laughs> you a big fan of that film? Love it. Uh, that was are you forced to watch films that people uh, outside of the walls are watching who are normally in their houses, or do you have your own entertainment? We get to watch those films. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you must live near someone who's a big coyote, ugly enthusiast? The only movie this person has ever watched. <laughs> really? <laughs> who is this person? Robert Durst. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Interesting. I love his black eyes. <laughs> They're soulless. His shark on his dick. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That happened. Did you take out Robert Durst's soul? I thought we were going to talk about that. That's interesting. We never agreed to that. 
How long have you known or been living in the walls where Robert Durst has lived? Uh, how old is he now? Uh, 82. Gonna, okay. So 82 years. <laughs> oh, wow. So you've just been taking pieces of his soul his entire life until there's nothing left and he goes and murders those people? Now, hold on a second. You're trying to draw... Uh, uh, a, a correlation between my actions and his, and I don't think that's fair. Well, someone with a soul might not have committed those acts. That's right. You would think, but he did, so <laughs> what are you going to do? But could you be tried, or, or, or could you be tried as an accessory to murder? Well, you got to catch me first. <laughs> okay, and that's been very hard to do. And <laughs> also, we have our own legal justice system. Oh, interesting. Do we yeah. catch you outside? <laughs> how about that? Catch me outside, how about that? Catch you outside? What does that mean? <laughs> catch me in walls, oh, how about that? Yeah. What, what, what does the soul taste like? I'm so curious. <sighs> better than cookies? Does it have a texture? Oh, it's better than cookies. Is it like heroin? It's, I don't know, I haven't eaten heroin. <laughs> Yeah. Cookies isn't cocaine, or it's just cookies. Cookies. Co Wait, what? <laughs> at one point, yeah, cookies at one, was cocaine around here. Yeah, yeah, no, I know it's it. a slang, but but are you asking, is it? Does it taste better than cocaine does? Yeah. Uh, I don't eat cocaine either. Look, does guys, it taste better than cocaine feels? Yes. <laughs> okay. Now wow. We're getting somewhere. So it's the ultimate high. It probably tastes it's, better than that. Fuck. Well, it sounds cocaine. like it's like an ambrosia of sorts. Yes, it's very the fruit of the here's, gods. Here's what it is: when you eat a soul. It's very satisfying. Yeah. Well, right. Why is that uh, disgusting? The way, the way that, you're, uh, the way that you're, yeah. Yeah. your well, mouth... Because I said it's satisfying. Your mouth, you have sharp, the way you eat, your sharp teeth, your teeth are like like very sharp. They yeah. just look They just look that way. No, because they say, are. Like, yeah, when open you up say those it's choppers. very satisfying. Yeah, uh, oh, oh, my God. But, but it's, like soft. Soft. it's like they're a shark's sharp mouth. They're sharp but soft. They're sharp but soft, like a trick knife that you do on Halloween for fun. They're retractable teeth. You're a monster. You're literally a monster. You're a, sh you're a soul-eating monster. Sir, I've been called many things. In, on debate floors, in the houses of justice, in the halls of government. But never, sir, has anyone called me a monster. And perhaps, sir, you should address the mirror and see the true monster within. Oh, my God, he got me. <laughs> Is that how you've been elected so many times? I feel put I, in my place. I'm a gifted orator. Oh. That was, a, that was amazing. That also, was... I've, I've run unopposed. <laughs> really? <laughs> For decades. Oh, my god. Is gosh. it because the seat of the mayor is in Durst's walls? <laughs> Also, what is the life expectancy of your people? Unknown. <laughs> because you've already been alive for 82 yeah, years. I mean, when we when we least. get there, we'll let you know. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, speaking of uh, getting there and letting you know, uh, we need to get to our next guest. And I'm going to let you know about that. Uh, he's been on the show before, and it's wonderful to have him back. Let's first welcome MC Sugarbutt. How are you? A get on up and a get on down. <laughs> Sugarbutt. Is in your Christmas town. Oh, very good, MC right. Sugarbud. It's snowing. Uh, it's snowing. It's snowing, snowing, and snowing. Uh, Scotty Z, how you be? Uh, I'm good. It's actually not snow. It's ho ho come. So. Hey, oh, ho -ho so come. good. Ho ho come ho -ho like coke and rum. Uh, Ooh, that's a good song. I also want to welcome. Uh, I don't believe he's ever been on the show before, but no, he's been there long time, first time. Yeah, he's. Uh, <laughs> He's currently uh, has a currently on MSNBC, uh, he, the host of Hardball. Please welcome Chris Matthews. Chris Matthews, Scott Kerman, it's great to be here. What are your thoughts on politics? Uh, it's, it's very political. What a political okay. year it's been. So you dodged your question there. What do you think? Put it back, Paul, has you have 12 points. You think I said I represent the polls? Put <laughs> I, I don't know what you're have saying. Have you ever suffered a clip yet? Have I ever suffered a Quinnipiac? Yes, that's valid. Answer that one. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I've ever suffered from one. No, but, uh, you'd know it if you had. Yeah. <laughs> Quinnipiac is a certain kind of stroke that broadcasters get at twelve in a day. Oh, is that what they're talking about when they talk about the Quinnipiac poll? Quinnipiac yeah, poll. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's so good to see you. Uh, so it's great to be here. You know, when you come, when you think of podcasting, your legendary Tip O'Neill once said, "We got to take a break." <laughs> great, great, and MC. <laughs> MC Sugarbutt, uh, you are a musician, and John Lennon here is a musician. Yeah. Ooh, John Lennon. Yeah, John did, Lennon. What, what, he was uh, a part of the doors. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Man, just curious. See, that's why I bring it up, because not everyone knows what band I was part of. I was part of a European rock band. The doors were in America. Who? <laughs> you brought him up first. 
Uh, behind you there is uh, another American band, Mr. Heavenly. Mr. Heavenly, not in hell. People in jail go to sleep. <laughs> oh, boy. It, it, his rhymes aren't wrong. <laughs> uh, the best way to pass the time when you're in jail. Just yeah. sleep. MC Sugar Butter, you known for your freestyles? You know, I'm known all across the world to all the pretty girls about all the raps that you ever did see. <laughs> I, I like that line because it didn't rhyme. I know. I love it. You, you have a lot of trouble sticking the landing. <laughs> you know what, though? Keep going. I think you're going to get there. Uh, is that Jason Mann <laughs> over there? Jason Mann shouts out. <laughs> Oh, I'm just saying hello. That just, that just ended. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's a, sh- it's a sugar bun. If you're, done oh, with the, if you're done with the primary, will you run third party? Let's say that again. <laughs> if you're done with the primary, will you run third party? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's real indent. I'm going to run for independent. <laughs> oh, very good. It's real indent? Yeah. You, you got to ride with the bed. I know you're not supposed to ride the same word twice, but apparently you can just take letters out. That's valid. <laughs> no, indent. Space in front of a paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> That's real tall. Is that a giraffe? Do you go, do you go, <laughs> hey, he's getting better. Do you go double space? Do you, got that do you, giraffe do you, in here. Do you double space your documents? <laughs> Always double space. <laughs> Makes the pages longer. <laughs> and he's back. <laughs> <laughs> um, Chris Matthews, a lot going on oh. this year. That's safe to say, right? It's just a fantastic year. It's a wonderful year for politics. You got Vladimir Putin entering the thing? <laughs> I mean, uh, Vladimir Putin polling number number one in New Hampshire primary across five polls. That's true. The outlier I mean, is Zogby. Where do we cut down Zogby? Mayor Julius. That's tr- yeah, I guess <laughs> you, you registered the Zogby poll, point four. Yes, well, that's those polls. Look, it's early days, and I don't think this is the time to be paying attention to polls. Certainly not the Zogby poll. What? Okay, it sounds like a guy who's running for office or trying to dodge some kind of scandal. He, well, he is trying to dodge a scandal. He's he's admitted to eating souls. Of evil people. Uh, well, maybe he could take over for Joe Scarborough when he's done. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's his band doing? <laughs> I think it's funny. You know what? I actually, I, I go sometimes. I get a nice ale. I drink about half it. <laughs> <laughs> You ever see me on MSNBC where it's just me broadcasting in front of like a town hall, people walking around voting and stuff? That's all fake. There's cops all over the place making sure he gets in front of me. <laughs> cool. <laughs> well, good way of reviewing that band. <laughs> I always wonder, John, John Lennon, John Lennon, oh, man, yeah. you, you, shot, you shot me a hat. Did you ever, did you ever, did you ever uh, complain to Mayor John Lindsay of New York City, uh, crime, crime and punishment? Time, uh, I said this type down, of stuff can't happen. It can't happen to a guy like me. If it happens to me, it can happen to anyone. Are you the walrus? Look, I don't need to talk about it. I don't think we need to answer that right here, right now. I'll talk to you about that off the air. Okay, very John Lennon, that, that yeah. dodging your question in there must hurt because shot in the back like that. Would you pretty shot in the front? Would that have been better? I, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, th- I think I would have. I would like to have seen it coming. But there, there would be a danger of you getting shot in the nuts, though. If you, it was from that's the front. true. That is very true. You get shot in the nuts from behind. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I guess if they're swinging, if you got, if you got a nice. Do you wear tiny whiteies? Well, I was at the time when I got shot. Thank God I wasn't shot in the nuts. I was walking around the streets with my pants down. You were right. They don't talk about that. They tell don't me, talk John about Lennon, that. And tell me slow. Do your nuts hang down real low? <laughs> tell them really yeah, slow. Tell them slow. <laughs> I'll tell you slow. <laughs> Let's really take our time with this. Okay. In the winter time, uh-huh. when I'm pantsless in New York City, get on deck. They drag on the cold concrete. Burn up, burn. In the, in the winter, keeping an eye on my nuts, dragging by my window. That was a classic Beatles number right there. Was it B side, C side, or D side? That was a D. Wow, my God! I have to go. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, ho ho. It's always Hello, nice to see bye. you. Bye, Merry Christmas. Fuck you. Whoa! Oh, Strong wow. words from Ho Ho. Head, headphones. <laughs> All right, so uh, you you didn't get a chance to interrogate Ho Ho, but uh, did you ever get a present as a child uh, during the winter times? Well, sure. I got a bunch of um, I got a bunch of buttons to uh, reelect Eisenhower. <laughs> Ike Eisenhower. I say Eisenhower buttons. Uh, buttons uh, supporting him. Sure, or? I used to have. A, I used. To, I was a founding member of the Scoop Jackson fan club when I was in junior high school. <laughs> oh, who else do you want me to reach back to from back then? 
<laughs> I, uh, yeah, yeah. What, what like, you three more names would be great just to place you in time. Well, Teddy Kennedy was fantastic. <laughs> just have Teddy Kennedy crisps. I would eat them for breakfast. <laughs> Ted Kennedy crisps. This is post Chappaquiddick? Well, yeah, you were supposed to just, you were supposed to knock the cereal all over and it would almost drown. Some of them would drown, but then some of them would swim back and testify, and then you could eat your bowl of cereal, Congress. <laughs> My gosh, I understand about every third word you're saying, but I, it's that's, fascinating. You know it's what? Plenty. That's politics. It's just going to go over some people's heads, and about people being involved, and be involved, can be involved. <laughs> MC Sugar, but how do you spend the holidays? I spend the holidays with my fam. He's sitting right there. It's Jason Mann. That's my yeah. cousin. Your your fam your family uh, not related by blood, are you? Not related by blood. Not related by flesh. Hey, you're looking real fresh. <laughs> Is that deodorant under your arms? Yeah, it's a little bit. I put on a little splash this morning. Hell cool yeah. water brand deodorant. We, cool. I mean, Gino, always wearing a tank top. I gotta have a tank top. Sun's out, guns out, <laughs> skies out, thighs out. Ooh. Get them going. You could try to get by, but you gotta get trapped. How many? How many tattoos do you have, Gino? <laughs> I have one tattoo, and it's of the uh, uh, island of which I was born. Yeah. Long oh, okay. Island, I slip. Fantastic airport. <laughs> Love that airport. Really, you right spend next a lot to of time a cemetery there? where my dad's buried. Do you go? To I only fly into and out of I slip. Everywhere else, I go and sell a train, damn track. Wait, are you also being a human table at Palm Springs as well, or are yeah. you going into the Palm Springs airport? <laughs> Oh, yeah, sure. If you give me a Palm Springs airport, but I'm going to take the Acela train there, and it doesn't run there. So I'm able to jump it off the tracks and just run it. It's not like, like, like a freight, freight I've got a jumper. special loud car. I was, look, i got special privileges because I was... have a loud a, car? I was, yes, there's a quiet car in most yep. Amtrak trains. I have the loud car. I just sit in the front, and I go, hey, politics! <laughs> <laughs> All the have windows ever, are down. Have you ever, yeah, the windows are down. Have you ever cleared cattle just from just sheer drool and volume? <laughs> I have special privileges to Amtrak. I was born in the Acela train somewhere with Chesapeake Bay. You were? How many years ago now? How old of a man are I? I look at you sometimes on television, and I can't tell exactly your age. Well, it's, it's, that's intentional. It's intentional. Like, you know, people have this vanity. You want to look a little bit younger, so I froze myself at 60. Ooh. You froze yourself. Yeah, I think that was my peak, so I just always want to look like a six-year-old man, vibrant. Right. Okay. So you're, uh, you're, you're above that, but you... You look so. No, I'm less. I'm youthening like Merlin. Oh, really? <laughs> I just think the gravity test is so he's 60 years old. Really, you lend yourself to, you know, the fourth estate. How do you right. feel about, like, the current environment we're in? A lot of guys in media, a lot of guys in your world. Yeah, being are, taken down. Are you yeah. any fear That's of that? That's great. From More you? room for Chris. More room for Chris. <laughs> Wait, your show is expanding. The halls expanding, are empty. Though. MSNBC. Very, very few people walking around. A lot less contact physically between people. <laughs> That's good. More room for Chris, you know? I didn't, Wait, I never is liked more to... room for Chris the name of a show you're doing? That's my weekend show. More room for Chris. <laughs> what are you talking it's about? It's my though? weekend fill-in show or late-night show. They do if there's like, anybody, bam, off the air, Chris Matthews fills in. More room for Chris! Is, is that about politics or about local no, interests? It's, it's about local interests. It's about, you know, just school issues, education, <laughs> bar reviews, Yelp. Look at any Yelp! <laughs> Really, you just go on Yelp and I read reviews? I go on Yelp, and I don't even necessarily vocalize. It's just me clicking through Yelp. <laughs> when you walked in, I didn't think your face could get any redder, but I was way wrong. Jesus Christ, Chris, you okay, pal? Sure, yeah, I'm living a diet of radishes and strawberry juice. <laughs> it's very Christmassy. <laughs> yeah. It's um, festive. Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> any plans for the holidays? What's the controversy? ACLU said you shouldn't have a Christmas parade. You're going to go ahead with it anyway, eat the flesh? We are going to have a Christmas parade as we are. Always do uh, mimicking human behavior. That's what we do. Where, where does this parade occur? Because you're in gingerbread it's houses. It's inside this the month. goddamn walls. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So even so, when you're in living in gingerbread houses, we you go do the back parade in, and do in the, the parade. Walls. Yeah, wow. yeah. It's 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 a hassle. It's what a happens hassle. If, if a human, uh, a full size human, catches sight of you? Like, because I've never seen, so you're the first person of your kind that I've ever seen. Is that so? Oh, yeah, I, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was quite here? a surprise when we saw you anybody. for the first time. We're out there all the time. We never I've see you. So Never seen you. Why, Ed, like Stevenson, was surprisingly <laughs> diminutive. 
<laughs> well, we're not talking about him. We're talking. He was he was considerably much taller. Than he him. is like the size of a of a, a of dollar a euro, bill of, of but a not euro. a coin. Small, smaller than a dollar. Bill. Smaller than a dollar bill. Foreign policy question. Shoot, <laughs> asbestos. Where do you come down? I think that asbestos <laughs> that foreign policy. Is... <laughs> He's in the walls. Asbestos For him, is a big country. deal. It's in other walls. Okay, all right. <laughs> asbestos is an issue that is considered the third rail. In politics, where I come from. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, They're real. they really full, huge full. This you, you gets me going. Win. You can't win talking about it. You can't Mind win. Mind you, that's Sally Express. Huh? Also, a very good bar. <laughs> it it is, sure. Bar. One of the stations down there, yeah. Union Station or yeah, Freedom how, Station. How many stars on Yelp? Stars on Yelp? Many, yeah, stars on Six Yelp. and a half stars on Yelp. <laughs> wow. Six and a half. What? That's amazing. What? You know what the, you third, the third rail gets an unfair reputation? Go down. Just touch it. Lick it sometime. It's a little shock. It's like a battery. <laughs> MC Sugarbutt, you ever lick anything you shouldn't have? Ooh. I'm glad. That's a great Q-U-E, Scotty D. I'm going to answer it for now for you and D. <laughs> My middle name is David, so and he knows that. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about it before. <laughs> Most of the time when I'm licking things that I shouldn't be licking, <laughs> I'm getting ready to do a sticking. <laughs> Some magicians be doing trickings. <laughs> it's a note to the editor. Just take out the gears grinding a little bit. <laughs> no, eat the gears. I'm all ears. Listening to you and all my fears. I'm scared of snakes. I'm scared of bats. I'm scared of roaches. I'm scared of rats. You live in the walls? Damn, that's tall. But you're not. <laughs> That was the longest. The longest he's ever gone. Tight, tight. That was wow. an epic. Pentameter. That's a song on my new Christmas album. Eat your Christmas vegetables and drink your milk. <laughs> Everybody's gotta be healthy. Eat your Christmas vegetables. No. Is it you say Christmas? Eat your Christmas vegetables. Christmas vegetables. It's doing Christmas. That's the holiday I celebrate. You celebrate Christmas. I celebrate Christmas. Right. That, is that one night or one day? That is seven days. Each day representing a different grits principle. Okay, if you want let's let's run them down. What do we got? What are the grits principles? <laughs> What do we got? What do we got? What's Principle number one. Uh, harmony. Human <laughs> harmony or harmony? Harmony and harmony. Harmony? H-O-M-I-N-Y. Harmony. Don't ask why. Just give it a try. <laughs> Never ask why. If someone, is, if someone serves you hominy grits, just don't Pretty ask why. Pretty good company. Oh. Uh, oh, I like that one. Is that the doors? <laughs> <laughs> it's Elton Doors. Number two. Day number two. <laughs> Corn. Don't think you can't. Think you're going. <laughs> right, right, good. Day number three, butter. Butter. Mm-hmm. Gotta put the butter inside the grits. Making albums and they all hits. Good. Day good. number four, okay. salt. Salt, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys celebrate the tough times too? Yeah, celebrate the tough times. My political standing is salt right. <laughs> Oh, we're happy to give you plenty of access to our television. <sighs> and then three more days. <laughs> <laughs> Just to round out the week. Day number five, sugar. Like me, MC Sugar B. That right. day is my birthday. Oh, really? Oh, wow. You were born happy in December? Birthday. I was born in December and October to remember. <laughs> December certainly is an October to remember. <laughs> <laughs> and then two more days. Date number five, Pepper. Well, we've already done five. Six. Oh, okay. That date was your birthday. Six, you you remember that. Harder yourself. Guess, <laughs> that was the one I forget the most. Uh, date number six. You forget your birthday the most? <laughs> Nobody likes me. Oh, oh sugar butt. Hey. Sugar butt, are you depressed during the holidays? Forget the other two days. Are you depressed during the holidays? Yeah, forget about all the days and the rest. Sugar butt sits at home depressed. <laughs> oh, sugar butt. Uh, it can be tough for people during the holidays. It right? can, because all my family died in a bus crash. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Wh- wow. wh- how long ago? <laughs> it was the year 1983. Oh, about when you started rapping, I yes, would imagine. when yeah. I went into my coma, 
Right, yeah, because yeah, you you can, as previous listeners know, you uh, started rapping, then you came out of a coma, and your rap style has not changed because you've been in a coma for so long. <laughs> Absolutely, Scotty D, give it to me and the listeners three. When you came out of the we coma, have a few more than that. Oh, you got a couple more listeners since last I was here. <laughs> Well, no, he's talking about still listening to this episode. Oh, That's right, yeah, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> when you came out of the coma, were you able to only rap? Uh, no, no, I could talk. Okay. <laughs> oh. Uh, wow. Okay, I would well, recommend trying that, that, that earlier. Is, that is a real breakthrough. <laughs> oh. I remember surviving a fit, a terrible crash, or a cell train crashed into a bus, 1983, Tip O'Neill me. <laughs> wow, cool, Chris. That might be the one, Chris, M-A-T. <laughs> Well, uh, glad we cleared that up. <laughs> so, so you've been alone this entire time, and you came out of the coma, and you've been alone. I, I guess I didn't think about that, but uh, you know, we all have each other, and uh, you know, Mayor Bubble Doonery is creeping around in the walls of everyone. And I'm just, uh, come on, eating everybody's souls. <laughs> hey, not everybody. Come on, guys, don't make this into something it's not. But uh, you know, for those of uh, those of you out there, including you, uh, MC Sugarbud, who were alone during the holidays, uh, reach out to someone. I mean. Uh, is there anything? Do you want to come over to the uh, to the house or anything like that? Ooh, that'll be just fine. Oh, I feel like I've been trapped. <laughs> I'll be right there. What time does it start? Wait, he's leaving now. Wait, no, you <laughs> gotta get a head start to get to Scotty D. Uh, yeah, come by. I mean, on Christmas, not any other day. Come I'm by gonna up. come over today. Uh, What's going on? Do you have a dog? Well, here's the crazy <laughs> thing. Scotty, Scotty, shout out to Acknowledging Christmas. Do you think there's a war at Christmas. Scott DJ. Buckerman is a Muslim. <laughs> I don't know how I'm. I mean, it would be fine if I. Uh, a lot more I, shit makes sense. Scott, now. in order to in order to really kind of uh, make sure that people understand that you are a well-meaning, generous person, sure. don't you feel like you should be celebrating Christmas? Uh, Not Christmas. I'll celebrate Christmas with you. It sounds like a wonderful holiday, a full so, week. Yeah. Uh, Come on I, I, over to my H O M E, Scotty D. Christmas on me. Really? So I'm going over to your place. That's Come right. on over. Perfect. Okay, where do you live? Uh-huh. Where, where do you live? <laughs> I live. Simple question. <laughs> I know, he's just, probably nervous about just, taking out a podcast. Just Everyone the street address. Over there. Just the street address. Street address, 123 Elm Street. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's a fake address. I don't like to put my address out there. I have people trying to kill me. People are trying to Who's kill trying you? To kill yes. You? So is what is 123 Elm Street? Is that just someone you're okay with getting killed? <laughs> <laughs> Whoever lives sure? there, I'm very sorry. Ooh, I just got an Amber Alert from people oh, no. at 123. I always list Rachel Maddow's address for people. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy Bing Bong, uh, we are back here with uh, Meryl Schindler. We've all been taking bites out of him. Just, it's, it's really like, a, you know, in the middle of the show, to have something to snack on is actually quite lovely. Really is, I think this will get me through to the end of the show. Uh, Absolutely. Morally, Delicious. I have a real problem with what we've done. Mm-hmm. Could you, Jason, could you toss me a little bit old buttock? <laughs> How many times have you heard that before, Jason? It was it was oh, savory. Never with, never with such a moist mouth. It was savory and sweet. It, it put me in mind of a child's Canadian Christmas in Wales in America. Fantastic. And so we had a Christmas inside of a whale? That's, that's like Pinocchio. Oh, there's nothing Our better child. than boiled beluga. Are, would you say Pinocchio and Jonah are the two people who have lived inside of a whale? That we know of. Well, I, I once had a little subway for a couple so of weeks. Hey, everybody. What? Merry Easter. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry I'm late, but Merry Easter. Oh, oh my God. Who is this? Make yourself known to us. Who is this? It's me, Frank Stallone. Frank. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my brother. My brother couldn't be here, but he wanted me to send you all the Easter wishes. May the Easter Bunny deliver all the presents and gifts to all of you. Who? Who's Every your day. Who's oh. your brother? My brother. Sly Stallone. The Rock. You know The Rock? The Rock. rock. What do you mean by when you say The Rock? The Rock. The Rocky. The Rock. Oh, oh, oh. oh. What? Not The Rock. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Who's that? (laughs) That can get confusing for you, I imagine. Hey, Frank. How are you guys? I'm so excited for Easter. Frank, a pleasure to meet you, Alan Thicke. Uh, Thank you very much. for. I uh, love it. Thanks for being so so thoughtful and wishing me a happy uh, Canadian Easter, which is today. You're welcome. (laughs) Fra- uh, f- yeah, Frank. <laughs> right. I just, I just want to say, I just you're a watched big fan you. of the movies. I just watched you in Hudson Hawk. Ah, that you, was a good one. You were phenomenal. <laughs> I was like in that movie. I thought about myself. I said, I gotta act. I'm like angry, and I did. <laughs> 
Well, Frank, you're yeah. Sylvester Stallone's brother. That's right. You think it's Easter. I don't think it, it's Easter. <laughs> I know it's Easter. Oh, okay. So Merry Easter. And I'm bringing you a wish all the way from the North Pole. Oh. The Easter Bunny says, gobble, gobble, eat up, turkeys. Okay. <laughs> That's right up Meryl Schindler's alley. Finally, somebody's getting the Christmas holiday season right. Oh, oh my the gosh. Way. Is this sweat coming out like gravy? <laughs> yeah. yeah, sure. Good. So That's good. delicious. It is delicious. By the way, Meryl. Grab when a you... jelly spoon and take a slice. <laughs> Meryl, when you point, it's almost like you're the ghost of Christmas future because we've gnawed you down to the bone. You're just like a skeleton. Well, sure. Well, down. Some of the most delicious ports, but my vital organs are as tasty and simmered as they may be in butter sauce. You, I'm you, not going to let you get full. We can. Have you sweet breads? <laughs> <laughs> Meryl, do you have like a like a like Wolverine? Like, a, will you regenerate? Would you have a healing factor, which will re- or is this now? Are you like a living skeleton? Well, actually, that's a good question. I do regenerate, but it's not just magic or something. It's like an alien power. I have to get a recipe together. I have to go bake myself back together. And then you gotta do you do steroids. Sure, you can do steroids. Yeah. You can do a, a, a cow hormone. You gotta get it back together. But are you are you organic or are you a GMO? Look, I'm mostly organic, but guess what? I don't have to label myself because all the initiatives about labeling called they get genetically modified for to fail. So I guess look, what? Shedler, Shedler. I'm looking at his shoulder. It says Monsanto on his, like, <laughs> on his shoulder. Are you, Just don't you, pay no attention to the embarrassing parts of my body. Uh, have you been approved by Monsanto to make your regenerative powers uh, <laughs> copyrighted so that no one else may uh, <laughs> use them? I, well, I have, a, I have a limit. I don't have a, I don't have a copyright. I have a patent pending. Does that work for you? That's what I meant. Oh, sure, I get a little patent pending. I was thinking in theme song terms. I apologize. <laughs> you know, Alan. You know, Wolverine is Canadian. Oh yeah, no, I know. I remember That's where he's on the toonie. <laughs> Wolverine is. Do you yeah. mean Wolverine. Hugh Jackman as Wolverine yeah. or no? I think my favorite show of all time is when the Wolverine guy did the, the uh, singer show on Broadway. Oh, yeah. That was the, a good one. Where he was uh, Peter Allen. Allen. Peter Allen. Boy, boy like, from Oz. <laughs> what? What? How is your talk show? Or, uh, uh, Thick I don't of the know night. if you've heard. It's no longer on the air, Frank. Did but, you uh, appear on that, Frank? Yeah, I we did. 14 appearances. Yeah. <laughs> well, only one of them made it onto air. Because I didn't know. I didn't know which way the cameras were. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was tricky. It was tricky editing-wise. Yeah, I was looking the wrong way for most of it. A lot of times you were just looking at the backdrop, and all we saw was the back of your head. Yeah, and then sometimes people were like, come out of your room. We want to have you out there by yourself. Comfortable back here. There's all these bags <laughs> of chips and saying waters. One time. Uh, Let's pull the, we, what's held me back we in my career. For him. We found him in the parking lot. He was talking to uh, uh, one of those uh, 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 trash cans. He was a dumpster, and his name was Fred. Yeah, he thought he was on the show. Yeah. It was a very good interview. He got me to say a lot of stuff. He really <laughs> opened up to the <laughs> He really dumpster. did. I'm the first time I've ever cried on TV, but I guess it wasn't on TV, so it wasn't the it, first time. It wasn't. It was in a parking lot. <laughs> but the dumpster really got in there. He was oh, really yeah. asking questions. I've, I've, heard, heard, no. I've heard that if the dumpster calls you over it basically makes your career there in the back alley. That's the whole thing. When you park your car, you always hoping the dumpster calls you over. And, you know, and then sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. That was the night that it happened. And I got to say, after that, things definitely changed. Oh, in what way? Um, the mail started coming to my house. Oh, good. Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> and, uh, and then uh, all, the, all the everything, I could buy anything I wanted at the grocery store after that. Ah, uh, with using money. Yeah. Yeah, so they didn't bar you from buying anything. Yeah. Yeah, okay, great. <laughs> How many dumpsters uh, have you spoken with? Uh, Co- career total. Career to- and they have to done like over f- over three. So four? Four-ish. <laughs> four-ish I mean, I ta- dumpsters? Four-ish or I maybe talk- like three dumpsters in a trash can? I talked to three dumpsters and actually an assembly of trash cans. <laughs> Which is as good as a dumpster. Yeah, I mean that's what they, that's what they were telling like, me. Is that the I, trash can like, council? Like a panel well, of trash cans. It was a panel. Of tra- it was <laughs> it was in it was in Europe, and it was a panel of trash cans. But they call them bins there. Rubbish bins. Yeah. Oh yeah. I was confused at first because I thought it was foreign, but then I got it. It was trash cans. Oh, fantastic. That's what, that's the the interesting thing about these English people. I got a word for everything. 
They, they do. Yeah, they call like a they call a car a boat, and you know, and they got they they call <laughs> you know they do all this stuff. It's like I don't know if I'm supposed to get in a go. You know, I don't know. Yeah, it's like when they tell you to do something. How you know? How you do you know. do it? It's like if they say hey, stop, freeze, or I'll shoot. It's like what are they? Trying I don't to know say? what they're trying to do. You know, so I'm it's like, like maybe they say keep running. Yeah. Guys, I do want to just let you know. Yes, the grudge match is coming out, and you guys all got to go see it. Oh. It's Sly Stallone at his best, back in the boxing ring, just taking it down, just setting up shots. It's nothing. Like Rocky, but it's everything like Rocky. Isn't now this is the one with Robert De Niro yeah. where they both play yeah. aging boxers? How is this any different from the last Rocky movie? It seems to have the exact same plot. I plead the fifth. Oh, do you, know, do you know what that means? The plead the fifth? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I definitely know what it means. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, what then answer my come question. On. I don't know what it means. I plead I pledge the fifth to the <laughs> flag, United States of America, and to the Republic of which it stands, one nation under God. I mean, know it. I know you it. Got it. You got it. Sure. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You, yeah. You got to pledge that allegiance. <laughs> I just, you got to pledge your allegiance. I'm just so excited for Grudge Match because I think everyone's really excited to see shirtless Robert De Niro and shirtless uh, Sly Stallone getting together That's and messing why I go up to in the, the like, movies. Just specimens of your masculinity. Do you want to go, that will happen. <laughs> Do you go see the movies, Scott? I've seen every movie up till now, what and I, it's never happened before. I wouldn't mind as long as I can stick my own snacks in. To I was going to say, Meryl, what do you get when you go to the movies? Well, I can always get pickled popcorn. Pickled popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you go just you boil it up in a little cold. Like, You're right, Jason. That's strange so, credulity. <laughs> and then you think I think if I was gonna, I get, would think it would be soft. If I was gonna go to grudge match, I think I'd bring some fudge. Have a little fudge match right there. Uh, Meryl. Fudge match, grudge match. We should do that. We should do that. I, we should I have, make the tickets that fudge. I have a question for Meryl, but also a question for sure. Frank. And, and Frank, we've established I'm allowed to ask you anything I wish. I don't have to preface it by asking if I can ask it. That's okay. I get raisinets from Mexico. <laughs> raisinitos. Mexico, <laughs> raisinitos. Yeah. They got real sugar in them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Have you ever, have you ever uh, embedded popcorn kernels under your skin oh, and then gone into in? a very hot uh, theater and waited for them to pop so that you could uh, eat them off and of like your own natural arm. oils that are just in some cutaneous right there? Schindler oils. Ooh, that was a wonderful idea. <laughs> Let me try it today. Thank you. We're right a little block away from the arc light. Question for Frank. Go ahead. Frank's here. Uh, do you appear in the film uh, Grudge Match? Yes. Where what? are you? I, I haven't seen you in the trailers. Well, if it's in the big fight at the end of the movie, they have this, they pan over the crowd, and in the way in the corner, in the back, I go, go get him, Rocky! <laughs> Even though his character is not named Rocky. That's why they say I can't, they couldn't do a close-up of it. Oh, yeah. Because it was the wrong name. Yeah. But I didn't read that script. I was too busy. <laughs> I was too busy. You know what, Frank? You what? and Alan have something in common. What? Good. You both write theme songs. Oh yeah, because you wrote true. the theme song to "Staying Alive." I wrote. The I write all Saturday his, Night Fever. All the Stallone uh, movies uh, sequels. Soundtrack. Yeah. Uh, which Sylvester, your brother, directed, and yeah. you wrote the theme song. How did that go? Do you remember? Uh, for Saturday Night Live? No. They couldn't sometimes use... Sometimes I remember it, sometimes I yeah. forget. They couldn't use the Bee Gees songs anymore, so I did. I, they got you. They got me, and I, I, did, um, I just did 12 Years a Slave. Oh, really? did you do yeah, the theme um, song? Congratulations! Yeah, how, did, how does that go? It's like this: bam, 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 bam. Twelve years slave. Okay, I'm going to stop you right there, yeah. Frank. That sounds an awful lot like the Magnum PI theme song. <laughs> That's what they said True. to me too, <laughs> but I didn't even get it because. But so then wait, it, you wrote it, but when you say you wrote it, meaning you wrote one and they did not use. Oh, it. I mailed it to everybody. When I oh, saw the movie. Every- I said I needed to say I needed to write a song about it. And I wrote it just like Neil Diamond with ET. Turn on your Hotlight was written just because he was so, so emotionally inspired. touched. Yeah, Frank, Frank I hope you yeah. mailed a copy of that to yourself for copyright purposes. But then I opened it. Oh, oh no! I opened it right when I did. Classic I did. Everyone mistake. always says they mail a copy. I opened You're like, it. You're like mail came. I was so, so, so upset. I talked to that dumpster, and now the mail's here. Well, that's the whole problem with dumpsters. Yeah, <laughs> did you at least true. get the right address. <laughs> Well, that's the thing. It was sent return to sender, so I guess I guess it didn't technically come. You to made me. it out to return to sender. It just came back. I guess you got to use stamps again. <laughs> again? <laughs> yeah, I thought we were all done with stamps with the emails and what? stuff. Oh, have you returned to a time of stamps here in this country? <laughs> we do, you don't have stamps in Canada? Not in Canada, no. Well, the, you know, there's only a hundred people in Canada. Wow. <laughs> and you've met them all. We've talked about. I've this. met just about all. Oh, of them. that's right. You met I'm, about ninety-seven. I'm shy. Of them. Seven Michael Gorbs. Moore. <laughs> it's Michael Yo- Moore Yo- Yoko Ono Yoko Ono <laughs> MC Scat Cat from the Paul Abdul video opposite the track Not real but <laughs> Boris Gelson <laughs> not, not alive Borat 
Yes. Listen, <laughs> interesting question with the Canadians. Do you have to wait until one Canadian has died before they'll let another one into the club? Yes, we've got it just Before they so. allow you to have sex. Yeah. To create a that's new That's one. also true. <laughs> Uh, the way it works is that we have it a perfect balance of people, and by that I mean literally a balance of people because we're afraid of uh, upending the continent if too sure. many people are on one well, side or the other. The entire country of Canada is on a very delicate fulcrum, if I'm yes, not mistaken. Yes, it is. Uh, b- that was an idea of the, the British monarchy to keep us all in line, and it worked like a charm. Wait, so how are you able to be here? Do you have to swap places with Someone else American? has gone up. Yes, Who's William up? Shatner. Well, Shatner? Shatner? Yes. <laughs> well, he's much heavier than you. <laughs> Well, <laughs> he's suspended by some helium balloons. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I just thought he'd have right to stand on one leg. This is why we're running out of helium, and I do apologize. Yeah. I'm sorry on behalf of all of Canada, but uh, f- sometimes when our fatter citizens uh, go back up there, mm-hmm. they're forced to suspend themselves ever so slightly with helium balloons. Wait a second, hey, wait, we're wait. running out of helium. Yes. We're also running out of salmon. <laughs> is there any way that we can save the helium in the salmon by pumping helium in the salmon? How about fish that fly? Having a flying big flying fish, fish feast. Yes. They, I read about these flying fish. Right? <laughs> flying fish? I don't know. I don't know if you have. I don't oh, know. Okay. <laughs> the question, question none of us could answer. I thought I read. By the way, I am a huge fan. Of William Shatner, one of the greatest novelists of all times. Oh, it's Tech, Tech Wars. Wars. Tech Certainly. Wars. One of the best. I don't know. And I hope he keeps just writing them, but they're really fun mystery thrillers, and they're fun in action, and, and he's the star of all of them, which is helpful, because when I read stuff, I like to know the voice of the guy saying it, because I can't picture voices. Do you ever? Have you ever... <clears throat> Excuse me. Have you ever written a book and or narrated an audio book, Frank? Because Great your questions. voice is phenomenal. Thank you. And I would love to hear you like read the classics. I would, I would love, to, hear love you read. to read the classics. Who wrote it? <laughs> <laughs> well, how about the Bible? I would love to hear you. <laughs> I would read the Bible, but it's too long. Yeah. Did what? you do one of those Gettysburg addresses that people were doing a few weeks ago? I did do one of those. Ago? Yeah, I did it, and uh, and then Louis C.K. did it, <laughs> and we went back and forth. They use more of him than me in the final cut. It seemed yeah. to be one hundred percent of him. Yeah. yeah, it was like four score seven years ago. I'm tired. <laughs> that, that was your only well, contribution. Just, well, the, the four score seven years are written really big, right. and then it gets smaller, and smaller, and smaller. See, yeah. like an eye chart. Yeah, that's what it was <laughs> like. I, all those old documents are written like that. They're big, big, and small, small, small. Because, because they run out of room on their yeah, parchment. Yeah, they run out of, they had yeah. a, page, a parchment shortage. Yeah, they didn't realize when they started out, because they, they wrote freehand all the time, and then they realized, ooh, I guess I was more inspired than I thought I was going to be. Yeah, so and, it's just uh, really tiny. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Parchment was the same in of olden times. Oh, yeah. We have a parchment shortage? We'll, we'll, serve, the, we'll serve the flying fish on parchment paper. There's plenty of parchment now. So ooh. Ooh. Oh, mm-hmm. Well, that's thanks to the, the parchment farms. That's right. I love parchment farms. Are they genetically bald, modified? Yep, Monsanto. Monsanto. You know what I Monsanto to, creates? I'm scared I used, and to, I used to go there and just pet the parchment. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever cut yourself a little bit? Yeah. But it smells so good. Did you slice it's yourself like, open and chase the juice? Parchment's like Play-Doh. It's, oh, yes. <laughs> parchment's like Play-Doh. It smells so good, but you can't eat it. Frank, yeah. uh, have you ever had an EKG? <laughs> Uh, that's not um, spelling something, by the way. That's, oh, those are right. initials. Those are initials. Because uh, yeah. Sly's always spelling stuff around me. I'm always trying to figure out what he's saying. Oh, you're like what? What is one He'll of the words He'll be he's like, spelling? hey, um, let's K I L L H I M. Right, yeah. And I'm always like, what are you saying there? Yeah. And he's like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. an amazing it. memory. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to figure it out one day, too. Yeah, yeah. EKG stands for electrocardiogram. Oh, God, no. I'm not Jewish. Okay. So now, uh, Meryl, you said that you had something that you, you uh, wanted to Well, talk sure. About. I thought it would be fun if we were going to go through the you know, 12 days of Christmas everybody. Oh, oh that sounds of course. Oh, yeah. Love it. Love one, it. More, one more time, you thought about it. I thought it would be a wonderful sort of give the world. We could just like, celebrate the joy of Christmas on the 12 what days of Christmas. When he something. talks like that, a marshmallow comes out of his armpit. <laughs> Do it again. I want another marshmallow. Like, we're going to talk about the 12 days of Christmas. Marshmallow's so big. Yeah, did you know Did you know that Christmas could be so crispy? <laughs> Crispmas? It's Christmas. <laughs> snap, snap, crunch, crunch. <laughs> Christmas time is here. Sure, get a little reindeer shake. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, let's go through these 12 days then. Uh, no, well, hold on a second. It could be a, 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 I can take my time, and I can, <laughs> this could take 12 hours Well, let's, because they're savory. Each yeah. one of these is juicy. Some of them are even sinfully cinnamonish. Why don't we do the two-minute version, and then we'll just kind of see where we are. <laughs> okay, well, first like, we'll, <laughs> Well, first off, you said, well, the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge pot pie. <laughs> with, a bit, with a little bit of pear on it. <laughs> <laughs> so was, it, was, it, was, it was delicious. It was yeah. scrumptious. I sat there. I ordered four more of those. Now, is, is the, is the, the post on the, on the gift, is that part of the song? <laughs> oh, sure. Oh, yeah. No, I d- look. I is d- this a song? What for? Ooh, that's a good question. Is this a song? Well, Which think, you're allowed to ask. I think you would have to ask the masters. I think you'd have to you bring a poet. I'm just, I don't need commentary on my questions either. You uh, certainly don't. <laughs> Not everything has to be a song, by the way. That's Alan. absolutely Five folded pigs. <laughs> four <laughs> pounds of pork. Did you say Seinfelded pigs? Or blindfolded what? pigs. Five blindfolded pigs. <laughs> I Being figured it out what the KG stands for. <laughs> oh, what's that? You crack it open, you eat it sunny side up. <laughs> that's an EKG. No, that's just an egg. EKG. Yeah, I got it. Have you ever had an EKG uh, McMuffin? Oh, that's so good. <laughs> oh, yes, I have. Five Doctor, the results golden. are yum. <laughs> All right, let's go through the uh, other 11 days here. What do we have? 12 tuckle ducklings, 11 pies of pies, <laughs> 10 lardy ladies, 9 a diet ham, which... Eight macaroni milk nuts, eight, seven slap salami, six double dumplings, five blindfolded pigs, pigs, four pounds of pork, three barrels of turducken, two turtle lungs. If you ever get a turtle lung, it's still breathing. You just slice into it. And a partridge pear pot pie. Oh, Happy yeah. Christmas, Schindler. Do you do it? Merrill Christmas, I think is what we Merrill Christmas. Merrill Christmas. <laughs> Daryl Christmas. <laughs> All right, let's go to a <laughs> break. Do any of you guys need to go, or can you stick around? We'll I don't care. I've got an original rookie card for Daryl Christmas. Oh, I love him. All right, let's go to a break. When we come back, we'll have more company being bung after this. <laughs> comedy Bang Bang, we are back here. Jason Manzoukas is here. Hey, we also, Intergino is here. We also have Big Sue, Mrs. Claus. <laughs> oh, 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 you guys are hysterical. And Rudimentary North, or, uh, the artist formerly known as Rudimentary guess, North, ho, ho, he's now ho. Santa Claus. Ho, 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 ho. Throw punch. And uh, Santa, what's do you have a regular name now? Just I don't Chris? Fucking though. I mean, it's like uh, call me Chris, I guess. All uh, right, Chris over here. Hey, how, uh, how high are the ceilings in here? Like uh, seven, eight feet? Yeah, they're around. We could probably fit like a six footer in here. Who okay, am you I want, you want it like why do you want to skip? Oh, he's going right into the job. <laughs> <laughs> You only right have in. about a week left on this. You want a fresh cup? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> this guy's good. Uh, we also uh, we have to get to our next guests. Uh, they uh, well, our, uh, of course, uh, we have. Uh, when I say guests, I mean guest, uh, as uh, the other uh, person probably uh, I should not introduce. Uh, he is a dramatic actor. Please welcome to the show, Peter Griffin. Uh, yeah, hi. How are you, Scott? It's me, Peter Griffin, from previously from Family Guy, but now I'm a dramatic oh, actor. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, wait, Peter Griffin. Yo, okay, when I saw the name, I this I is tight. <laughs> the name sounded familiar, and now turning around and seeing the giant seeing animated him. Rhode Island <laughs> really explained. Bona fide cartoon in this motherfucker. <laughs> yes, hi, hello, how how's everybody? I came here from Quahog, Rhode Island. Yeah, ever been there? My wife Lois is there. <laughs> my baby oh, Stewie. My daughter Meg. <laughs> You're going to name your whole family? <laughs> yep, I just forgot Chris. He's a real asshole. Don't forget the dog, too. Oh, and Brian. Brian. Yeah, yeah. Why do we Brian. know your dog? Huh? Why do we know your dog? Oh. You don't know your dog. I, well, well, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm the star of a very popular sitcom. And, and, it's, and it's your real family as well? That's my real family, yeah. It's, 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 it's about my real life. But here's the thing. I don't want to be that goofball anymore. Really? You, all right? Are you trying to look for some sort of Brian Cranston-like hey, segue how, into how dramatic How are you adjusted acting? to this so quickly? <laughs> I look, crazy shit has gone down for the past nine and a half. Half year this since is, I started doing this the show. Freaking me out. <laughs> what, you never seen a cartoon in the wild before? No. Oh, that reminds me of this time I saw President Obama taking a shit. <laughs> Oh, Whoa. What? Wow, weird. It's, a, it's almost like we should be cutting to something. His eyes that. rolled back in his head as if we weren't going to be paying attention to him for the next 15 to 20 seconds. <laughs> and I'm back. Uh, wow. <laughs> Golly, that was a funny memory. I wish you guys could have seen it. Holy I laughed. Shit. Oh, boy. Anyway, so here's the thing, Scott. All right, can I tell you, I saw A Star is Born. Have you seen that movie? I have. Bradley Cooper. Oh, my, uh, I'm on the deep end. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> Anyway, I saw that and I was like, I can do that fucking thing, right? You I don't want to. Yeah. 
I don't want to be just a goofball actor anymore. Well, Bradley Cooper started out in The Hangover, where he was sure. a goofball. And do you remember he was also in Wedding Crashers as a I guy do, named yeah. Sack? He said, "You want a sack lunch?" That's a funny joke. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> I want to be a serious, dramatic actor, okay? Okay. Uh, so well, I'm, how are you going to do this? I well, mean, you it's know, not it's, that easy. It's not that easy, but Making it's Making the starts, transition. Coming on a comedy podcast is probably not the <laughs> best <laughs> segue. <laughs> Listen, you got to get out there however you can, okay? So it starts with a promotional tour, right? I, okay. You know, it's like not only is it holiday season right now, but it's also for your consideration season. That's right. Your award season F-Y-C. starts F-Y-C. officially F-Y-C. on uh, January 6th with the GGs. That's right. The GGs. A lot of snubs and flubs before for the GGs. Sure, that reminds me of the time I saw Geely starring Ben Affleck. Did you? Jennifer Lopez. That should have got some awards. And he's gone I again? Believe and I'm back. <laughs> oh, wow. There he is. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, um, I'm just kind of trying to do it. Uh, Scott, can I ask you for a favor? Yeah, sure, I'll do anything for you. Why don't you My give, new friend. Sure, sure, sure. Give me a dramatic line from a movie and I will deliver it for you. Okay, the, probably the most dramatic line of any movie is uh, we gotta get a, a slightly bigger boat. Ah, we gotta get a slightly bigger boat. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that was that was. I mean, you I mean, said the lie for sure. Here's the yeah. thing: it's not bad until the thing you added at the end. <laughs> okay. I don't even know if you know you're doing it. What? Try huh? taking the line again. Also, okay. not positive how you could end up being in the film Jaws, seeing as that you are animated and it might stand out in a weird way. Well, that dramas. is just Maybe animation racism. All right. Oh, well, yeah. I, I, I didn't even know, this. and now I got a whole Look. new category to dig in on. <laughs> Here's the thing. People don't want to see cartoon characters in normal live action movies. Yeah, you don't see like Garfield fuck cool in other world, movies. Right? Fuck Cool World. Remember Roger Rabbit? His I career do. is over, huh? Yeah. Have you seen that guy on TV recently? Yeah. It's like Scooby Doo. He gets to be in one, two movies That's and right. then he doesn't get to do anything else. Typecast, exactly. Yeah. So I'm here talking about breaking the stereotypes of what it means to be a comedy cartoon character in this industry, okay? Right. The problem, though, as Jason pointed out, um, is your delivery. Huh? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's a lot of your like nonverbal yeah. stuff that you're. It's yeah, just the like, nonverbal ticks, the sounds, and and the fact that I flash back constantly yeah. in the middle. <laughs> okay, I mean that would be fine you, for like you Citizen set up a Kane. lot of cutaways. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of my thing. Which we can't see. I think Lost had a lot of dramatic flashback. I could be lost. That reminds me of the time I was lost in space. Okay, here we go. You want to see this one? <laughs> yeah, I see it. I yeah. Can that. Can sure. Can, can we? Yeah. Do we have that access? Can you like project it outward? <laughs> this is how, does, how does it work? <laughs> this is a great question. Yeah, how your, does it work? Is your mouth like I a would projector? say it doesn't work. I would say it worked it a for a couple of seasons, and now it's not really working anymore. <laughs> oh, I, I, <laughs> You gotta believe, all right? <laughs> okay. Oh, like right, like Santa? Like Santa. What is Peter I guess Griffin? I'm Santa now. Oh, you Santa? Sorry, I keep remembering. This fucking sucks. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> Man, I should just give him out. Whatever. Maybe you throw a punch at me. Whatever we're talking about. What a strong dialect you have, by the Thank way. Thank you. Quahog, Rhode Island. My my daughter, <laughs> Meg, my my wife, Lois, my two you're, sons. It's almost like you're repeating those things to get <laughs> yeah. you back into how you talk. As if they are your accent touchstones. Yeah, it's almost as if you're reading stops from your hometown <laughs> <laughs> Trade station. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, <laughs> oh. Anyway, here's the thing. I think if we all believe hard enough, we can in fact. You're locked in again. Uh, I'm locked <laughs> right in. Some might say this is the best character I've got. <laughs> Wow, his, himself is his best That's character. right. Also, Family Guy character is very cool and current in comedy. <laughs> <laughs> what a fun impression. Anyway. It's true. What, Can you do some sort of Shakespearean monologue? Sure, right? sure, sure, sure. <laughs> to be or not to be, the immortal bard. <clears throat> He's immortal, too. Okay. <laughs> so, Have you ever seen him in the Speed Force? <laughs> no, man. I mean, I'm looking for Shakespeare left and right. All right, sorry. Go ahead, To man. be or not to be. <laughs> That's the question. Whether it was, twas, fall from the lips of babes. <laughs> Or perhaps Sounding just Australian getting a beer now. with Cleveland down at the Rusty Clam. I think it's cool. Nope. Bearded Clam. Oh, that was almost Kiwi Christmas. Man, it was exciting. I love the show. I'm a big fan. You're a big fan? fan? Yeah. Oh, my God. That reminds every me of the single time. season's hysterical. <laughs> It was exciting Thank to hear you. that really famous uh, passage of Shakespeare. <laughs> we we'll re- recited from memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was you know what? Flawlessly. Thank Flawlessly. you. Wait, but seriously, back to what I was saying before. I think if everybody in this room believes hard enough, we can, in fact, all see my Peter Griffin's cutaways. Okay. okay. All right, let's try. Yeah, I'll, I'll try. Try. So somebody say something, and I'll say you a thing that that reminds me of. Okay. 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 Uh, um, say okay. a thing. I'm going to see. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to see. Uh, uh, hey, I want. I, uh, I, I, uh, I, 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 I,
thinking, 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 something. thinking. Thing. Uh, a thing is what you need. Oh, right? okay. I, lo- I love, some- I love pizza. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Uh, that's good. Uh, Thank God. Uh, uh, trains. I love pizza. Wait, and trains? Uh, you don't have don't have to do both. <laughs> oh my God. Take whatever. Right. Take the first thing so, you heard though. I heard trains. No. I- <laughs> You clearly heard pizza. Is my voice too high because I'm a woman and you fuckers can't hear me? Your voice is not high at all. You know, I can't, I can't, look, I, uh, take my suggestion. I like pizza. What does it you think of? All right. Well, train You can reminds- go A to C if you want. <laughs> okay. Train reminds me of the time I ran into Donald Trump in a train bathroom. Uh, yeah, hi, are you using this? I got a huge dump on deck. <laughs> Oh my god, We're I doing saw that. It. We're We're doing doing it. It. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wow. Oh, it's like that scene in Hook. We did it. <laughs> so my now god. you've all seen a Peter Griffin flashback. And, so you and could so do now, that during a drama? Or and now I'm assuming now that we've unlocked that, yes. it's going to happen for the rest of the show. <laughs> no, all, no, all the time. No, right. I think it's up to us if it happens <laughs> or not. Are you sure? I'm positive are it's up sure? to all of because us. Because if I watch that show, it happens to me a lot. <laughs> it seems Will like they all be Donald? Trump related uh, as well? Hopefully not, but you never know. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, I hope so, because so, someone needs to rescue my island from the MS 13. Uh, uh, so imagine that. Imagine being able to watch my. Wait, we have to imagine it now? Well, I mean, hypothetically, when I get my dramatic idea. You're the career, one imagining things. Oh my God, yeah. God. You know what else is imagined? My. Uh, I was going to say some <laughs> stuff about my wife. <laughs> Okay, look, Peter. <laughs> what is Karen uh, Peter? What are you auditioning for stuff? Is there like is there do a you have an you agent that says yeah, 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 yeah. Do you have a stand at home or do you need one? Yeah. <laughs> do I have a stand at do home? Do you need help with self tapes and stuff? Yeah, I would love to do some self tapes for dramatic movies. He's trying to sell you a tree. He's trying, he's trying, trying to sell, to sell you a Christmas, Christmas tree. Oh, oh. Chris, he's fucking good. The big mock-ups on the stands. Everyone knows. That. That, yeah, the trees are pretty good. Man, if I was that good at selling trees, I would have kept the damn job. <laughs> Man, anyway. What's uh, weird is that, like, what's <laughs> weird is that Rudy North, now Santa Claus, is getting, like, is yeah. kind of holding hands with Big Sue. Who, is, who is my husband? <laughs> I don't even know. Who am I married to? What is weird is that I believe that is his son. My dick is yeah. getting bigger right now. Well, I'm not related to Santa Claus. That's that Yule Hog. Chris, is, Yule is, Hog. Chris <laughs> is this old woman your type of. Uh, I mean, Your I, type? I'm You're not interested. Uh, would you swipe left or swipe? I'm not interested. Not interested wow. in Chris. Oh, this, is, this is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is horrible news. You don't even remember me, do you? You got to sign up oh, for uh, White Widow. I do. Uh, I'll never forget <laughs> you. I met my wife should Lois I, on White Widow. Should I get on White Widow? <laughs> oh, wait. We're seeing it. Oh, my wait. God. Oh, no. I, that was just a statement. That was not a <laughs> oh, oh, okay. That wasn't a flashback? No, I'm no, no. no. Sure? You'll I'm know it's a flashback when I say, that reminds me of the time that I Okay, okay, cool. That was almost I'm signing up for White Widow because I don't know if I can be with you. You just Oh. Well, it's like an arranged marriage. What just happened? That's true. My husband yeah. morphed into somebody else and suddenly have to be with him. What yeah. is this? Well, I don't get a you're not attracted to Rudy over here? Well, I'm attracted to him. I, I mean, he is Santa's son. I don't want to jump to the conclusion. Yeah, I mean, we don't he, have to get married. I mean, we could just fuck. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> not now, though. Okay. Wait, right. so we'll yeah. listen to the commercial break. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, let me ask you. You're attracted to this guy? No, I guess I Is like it his uh, long, luxurious beard? That, uh, I like you the look beard. So that hey, can, I, can I, like, uh, just see you? Uh, yeah, you I can like, show you underneath, underneath the, the beard. Throat punch! Ah! Oh, my God, a reverse throat punch! <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's never happened to you. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking back, baby. They swapped clothes. That's you more fuck, like You it. never should have told me. This is the get back. Oh, well, that, that worked out. I mean, wow. I can't believe I'm Rudy North again, but it's good to be back. You well, can't. get used to it. Peter, we look forward to many flashbacks to come, Thank and so good much. luck with your Happy career. To be here, you know. uh, choose oh, them yeah, I hope so. Yeah. For sure, for sure. All right. Uh, it's always Great. good to see you, and uh, it's sad. <laughs> Pow, 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 wheels. Pow, 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 wheels. Pow, 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 wheels. Look out, losers! What pow, the pow, fuck? Pow. Shit, what's out happening? Way. Out of my way. Uh, okay. Beep, 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 Oh, wait a beep, minute. Beep, 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 beep. Ow, she's out of my face. Every, uh, everyone sorry, is adjusting uh, volume. Sorry. <laughs> Beth. I thought these were discontinued. <laughs> Beth. Is that mic God. hotter than all <laughs> the other mics? I thought I was coming in hot. Can I tell you something insane? What is going on? I can't hear myself at all. <laughs> it is. Uh, my ears are bleeding. You sound two, great, Ben. What are oh, those good. two events Should related? Should I pull it back? Pow, pow, power wheels. Pow, 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 power wheels. It's power wheels, Beth. Hello. Oh, hi, Scott. We've moved studios. I didn't know if you would ever find us again. Yeah, I've been looking for 
for you. You didn't leave a note or nothing. Uh, sorry about that. Good for yeah. you. My mom's marketing firm also moved. I still actually can't hear myself. Um, but, all right. Uh, Swap headphones there if you like. You know, that's our off. That's all right. I'm just moseying around be a, this Don't room. be a martyr. No, no. Listen, Scott. Don't you know what time it is? Uh, party time? No, like what time of year? Oh, it's well, yeah, we uh, already it's established. It's the end for your yeah. consideration time. It's the holidays. Yeah, yeah the holidays. And for your consideration, <laughs> it's the sure. biggest time for a kid because the consideration is how many dang presents am I going to get? Well, you know what, Beth? I don't know if you looked to your right, but the guy who's in charge of it is right over here, Santa Claus I, himself. I know. Well, well, well. Why don't you go That's in the you sit on his lap? Well, well I never get out of my power wheels, but maybe we can like hold hands. Yeah, let me drive, Beth, up to his lap. drive up to drive up to <laughs> That's me. That's what I was trying to do. Can I'll you pick up the whole <laughs> rig. You have like a Knight Rider <laughs> style <laughs> ramp going up to your lap? No, I don't have a fucking ramp. Forgive my life. So are you, not, are you ADA compliant? <laughs> what does that mean? Santa Claus Americans with disabilities. Yes, yes, yes. You as a person. I'm fucking Santa Claus. Hell yeah. So, uh, you know, normally. Thanks, Rudy. <laughs> I got your back, Santa. I know what it's like to be Santa, man. Beth, how Happy are you? Crowd, oh, I'm doing great, Santa. Scott. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, Scott. Yes, you know how normally I'm like a real pill, and I call yeah. you like a fucking loser? Yeah, it's a language that a young girl like you should not be using. But I can't because I can't get freaking fucking coal again, Scott, so I gotta be on my best behavior. Okay, yeah, please, be on Even your... though it's so hard for me because I think I might be rotten to the core. I think you are. You're just some children are born bad, and I think you're one of them. No, <sighs> Beth. You've been on, you haven't been on my nice list in quite some time. I know. Ever not... since you got these power wheels. Well, you brought him to me, Santa. I know, but you weren't supposed to become a holy goddamn terror. Well, did you know what kind of power it gives a kid to have their own mobile? <laughs> I mean, I guess I see it now. Automobile? Do you know how envious all the kids on my block are? That's why I haven't been removed from this red Jeep Power Wheels in two years. I know. Well, Your kids feet? kids yeah. aren't meant to have such independence. It's, it's kind of fucked up. It really goes to my head, but I've been trying to be good this year, Santa, so that maybe you could bring me another Power Wheel. Another well. one? Why would you want another one? Just so I could, you know, like have my own Jay Leno's garage. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Is that why you're wearing denim on denim? <laughs> yeah. Are there any like other my hero, Jay garages? Leno. <laughs> Are you spending any of your Tonight Show money? <laughs> okay, my hero, Jay Leno. You guys know me, Beth, an eight year old girl who lives in her power wheels. My hero, Jay Leno. Yeah, of course. Right. Sure, That's, sure. That makes no, sense. you're an eight year old girl, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big chin for an eight year old girl. <laughs> yeah, so do you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ooh, gotcha. I'm a Dang. cartoon character. <laughs> you just got roasted, my man. <laughs> <laughs> Does that remind you of anything, Peter? It doesn't. It <laughs> Shut up, does it. <laughs> Hey, wait, can I tell you guys something? Yeah, I was uh, bringing my Power Wheels around because I've been looking for the new Earwolf Studios ever since they moved. And I was like, nah, maybe they're here. And you guys were all just like staring up at the ceiling with your mouths foaming a little bit. It was sort of terrifying. <laughs> yeah. We were in, yeah, we were in we a, flashback. a flashback. And yeah. then like you sort of glitch back and yeah. then glitch back again. I was yeah. like, maybe I don't want to get in here. Yeah. No. Oh, I thought for a second we'd, they, we'd put one of our rugs in here. Everyone looked <laughs> Everyone's up. Everyone's looking up. Yeah. <laughs> if only. <laughs> You now know, Beth, Beth my let's... son. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you go ahead, Cartoon Man. I was going to say that uh, my son Stewie has a power wheel. <laughs> If you uh, ever like to, you know, ride around. Oh yeah, what does he got? What does he got? Has he got like, uh, what does he have? One of the motorcycles? Does he have a, a Mustang? Does he's he got have a little, a... yeah, he's got a tiny little Power Wheels Mustang. He'll be on the driveway being like, oh my. <laughs> wow. That was wow. Just as incredible. Just as flawless. <laughs> it's good that I let you go. <laughs> Back to bed. Let's talk about, let's talk about how you've been this year. Do you feel that you've been naughty or nice? Oh. Uh, well, here's what I've discovered. I think my line for what naughty and nice is is a little further away than other children, and I think I've been really, really nice for me, but I may still be naughty by other people's standards. Yeah, no shit. Let's let's go through it. Have you okay. been have you been minding your mother? Nah. <laughs> All right, off to okay. a bad start here. Yeah, this is, yeah. Have, have you been doing your homework at school? Nah. I don't know if anything else needs to be said. Have you? Or... Scott, that's my fucking job, right? Okay, sorry, yeah. sorry. Have you been eating your vegetables? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's Which something. Ones? Well, my mom started making cauliflower crust pizza, and I could barely taste the difference. Okay. Barely taste the difference? Cauliflower <laughs> crust pizza counts as eating vegetables. That's a vegetable, I mean, Scott. A vegetable, yeah, but yeah. I mean, the roughage isn't there anymore. Is Scott, it? are you rooting against this girl well, getting Christmas Well, I don't know. We have a bit of a history <laughs> here. Oh, I get it. Are you what? fucking what is good it? body this or something? This is an eight-year-old child. What is your history? <laughs> uh, 
She's yes, got a slim in goodbye. Here. I am slim goodbye. <laughs> wait, yes, wait, you are? I wait, was are you for real? I throat, 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 throat punch slim goodbye. I feel like oh, a fucking asshole. What? All right, wow. We all we all figured this shit out. Now, Beth, why should I give you a new Power Wheels if you've been so naughty? Well, well, what about this, Santa? What about a little bit of progress? Number one, I ate that cauliflower crust. Number two, uh, so far I've only called Scott a fucking loser one time. <laughs> okay, but you just said it again just now. Well, but just as an example of what I could have said. Okay, but it's still not great that you said okay, it. But yeah, honestly, but it's a lot like reading back a court transcript. You're allowed to say it if it's, you know. Thanks. So you want her to get the new power. Well, I mean, well, listen, no, I don't guy. know. Okay, Maybe well, even a fucking fuck loser could know that. <laughs> you just said it. Hey, I'm hey, Santa Claus. Both of you shut the fuck up. Everybody shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh. Beth, you have just a few days to get your shit together before Christmas. But let's talk about how important coal is. It's a great energy source. <laughs> clean it's coal. clean. How about clean coal? It's, it's the clean. clean. They wipe it off. It's the day. future. Yeah. So thank you, Beth. Nah, come on. <laughs> I don't think so, man. Come on. I got so many years to live on this planet. What is that shit? Beth, what do you want? You want a new power wheel. That's right. Anything else? Uh, well, I would like a, a fingerling and a hatchimal and some stick butts. I don't know what the hell that is. Yeah, like a fingerling, fingerling potato? potato? <laughs> oh, you guys kidding me? Fingerlings? Santa, come on, you know this. Say well, it with me. You must be sending it. It's a tiny doll, doll that you put that on your put finger. Your finger and, then and then animals, and you can get a you unicorn. Can get a unicorn. Oh, yeah. And what, you want yes. like a Hatchimal potato? <laughs> no, you guys know Hatchimals. Santa, you know Hatchimal. <laughs> <laughs> guys, none of the gifts I want are it's potatoes. It's a potato that opens up and has a guys, baby inside. Guys, none of the gifts that I want are potatoes. It's a potato egg. You have no potatoes like potato on your eggs list? No, it's a potato. It opens up and it goes, it squawks, it beeps, it does all sorts of things. It's not a potato, squawks it's an egg. Beeps. It's an egg. Come on, you live in the North Pole. Please tell me you know about toys. You tell I me just a- got there. I'm new. She, yeah, she's new. She's, you gotta that's my side me. of things. We The only thing we do together is the carpet business. Yeah, we have multiple true. businesses if you buy <laughs> claws and claws business. That's right, claws and claws business. Commercial? Yeah. I, All right. What is what is the final verdict here, <laughs> Santa? Oh, come on, come on, Santa. Oh, come on, Santa. Come on. This is getting Santa. a lot more like Maury. You keep saying it's not Maury. <laughs> you have to promise me okay, that between now and Christmas. Oh, it's only a couple of days. It's a, yeah, it's you like won't... seven days. Yeah, I know. I know what time. <laughs> yeah, who Christmas am I talking is. to? Yeah. Jesus, Jesus Christ! Open an envelope to find out whether or not she's naughty or not. <laughs> I don't know. It's so loud. <laughs> okay, Santa's given me an envelope. <laughs> Jesus, he's crumbling it. All right, Beth. Yes. You are naughty. Oh, oh shit. Okay, man. yes, oh, but, but Scott. Here's the thing. He was saying something like, "I was." Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the verdict as it stands right as now. As of now, yeah. okay. But and I gotta say, fair. You have, as we've established, a uh-huh. couple seven days. Uh huh. To get your shit together. Okay. You gotta do your homework. Okay. Mm-hmm. You gotta you all of it. Gotta mind your mother. Yeah. Mind your mother, young lady. You can't call Scott a fucking idiot or a loser. Mm-hmm. Most important. And. You got to eat just regular cauliflower, not just cauliflower pizza. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. It's do you want those power wheels or not? Yes, I do. Well, then there, you know those are your uh, terms. All right, fine. Thank you. Can, Beth, you can do it for one week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You f- one fucking week. I'm really, I'm really cutting no, thank some slack you, Santa. Here. Santa, you are so kind and good. That's right. Thank you so much. I'm sorry that you have to hang out with this fucking... <laughs> oh, Beth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have right, to hang out with them. Fuck. Beth, don't oh, you do sorry. it. This capable host. There we go. What if we determine that Scott is an actual fucking loser? Is she allowed to call him that? Because it's not a lie anymore? Well, I if mean, he's a loser that fucks, what, then I guess okay. he's a Scott, fucking Scott loser. Scott said, hey, but then he was really like, what, what, yeah, what, 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 <laughs> I mean, so what are the, what is the verdict over here, Santa? I mean, do we have to do like a weird Devil and Daniel Webster courtroom thing? I don't, yes, think, so. I think, I don't so. think we have time for it. I think let's do an Inherit <laughs> the Wind style courtroom We don't drama. have time for this. Uh, look, All right, we Beth, have, I'm going to put you back down. We have, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> we have to take a break. When <laughs> we come back, <laughs> we'll be right back with our comedy bag bag. Cue break. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here. Oh, so many people here. Jason Manzukis, uh, John Lennon, Hello. Inter 
Gino, uh, Ali Peterson, Ugh. Maxwell Keeper, the timekeeper. Uh, we also have Gary Urbanski, who and your brother left. Yeah, and actually, I got to go to, you know, our, our Chrysler LeBaron's double parked. But uh, Mr. Lennon, I just wanted to wish you luck on your hat business. Thank you so much. But, you know, uh, I am a vegan, so I'm hoping you don't have any fur or any animal products in there. Just have a big old sign up there that says no coons. Okay, bye. Yeah. Happy holidays. Oh, happy holidays. Wait a minute. Wow. I don't know how I feel about wow. Goodbye, being Gary. <laughs> Almost <laughs> positive that's called a walk-off home run. I don't know how I feel about the audio listeners. <laughs> Experience of that joke. Who aren't seeing the full picture. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, you know, it is Christmas. I have the holiday blues, and uh, but I do want to welcome. Oh, did you uh, want to sing the holiday blues song? I do not. Thank you. I do want to. Oh, I do oh, want to sing blue. Santa Won't wow. Be Hairless. Holy shit! It's getting cold in hell. Scott wow. Ackerman doesn't want to sing a I song. Guess if, if, if Ben Schwartz is in here, you don't want to sing a goddamn oh, it's song. Not a polo. Oh, sorry. There's too many people to sing. I refuse to come in unless it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> but let's welcome our next guest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she is, of course, the co-creator and co-star of the wonderful CISO series, Take My Wife. Please of course. W- uh, of course she is. Of and course. a stand-up comedian in her own right. Uh, yeah. Uh, please welcome Rita I, Butcher. In my own left. I prefer to be in my own left. You're in left field. Yes, in left field. Uh, you're out of left field. I'll tell you that <laughs> much. Your comedy certainly is. Trying to catch those out-of-the-park foul balls. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Which, by the way, didn't someone, I believe since you were on, someone actually knocked <laughs> yes. one out-of-the-park <laughs> foul ball. Yes. Yes. Fall bell. Fall bell. Fall bell. <laughs> is that what it? It's a fall bell. Fall this bell. Is, that's what just happened. Sure. Well, I mean, Christmas. fall is it's a, a fall, fall time bell. classic. <laughs> yes. A bell time classic. <laughs> I had one of those this morning. <laughs> Uh, so that's why it. you've got the blues. <laughs> I have that, may, that may be why. I maybe need to take a shit, <laughs> and then I'll be fine. Oh, honey, are you okay? Yeah, do you my need like tummy a, hurts. Do, uh, you, do you got a little Pepto? Uh, do you need me to like stick a little fingy up there to get yeah, it going? Please. Oh, wait, are you pitching that? Oh, why did I? Ah, Jason, is that is that offer up for grabs? No, no, Gino, no, not for you. The male G spot is real. <laughs> Gino, you've got to stop eating all that cheese. I <laughs> know. I'm sorry, but I love Gouda. <laughs> Rhea, welcome to the yes, show. It's always uh, great to see you. Great to be back. How have you been? You just got back from your honeymoon? Is I did true? indeed. Thank yeah. Congratulations. Thank Where'd you. you go? Went to Hawaii. Nice. Hawaii. Which island is mandatory to say? The, uh, little, the little island? <laughs> went to Maui. <laughs> Maui. It was really fun. Maui. Because we were just Maui. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's like a warm uh, sweater. <laughs> Did you enjoy the time zone change? <laughs> Very much. I would say it's my favorite part. Different time zone. Because you That's know, vacation. When every what's interesting about being in Hawaii is like all your friends are asleep and you're just still raring to go. You're just still raring to go. Mm-hmm. It's a new day. Yep. Rhea, it's nice to see you again. Great to see you. You know, one of the great things about going to Hawaii as an mm-hmm. American citizen is that yes. it's still America, so your phone works, it's mm-hmm. the same money. Mm-hmm. You feel like you've gone somewhere, but you don't have to shave your entire body. Don't have to shave. <laughs> That's my did, favorite part. Did you shave your entire body, by the way? I can't. You're you're in the dark. I can't. Yeah, step into the light. I can't oh. tell We you. gotta replace those balls. <laughs> yeah. We got to replace so those balls. So many shadows of the studio. <laughs> Oh no! You're still you no, still have all of it. Very your hair. hairy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've n- I've never heard you described suchly. Yeah, well, suchly. 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 Really, Gino? Well, that's I a am T-shirt. As such. Suchly. Very print hairy. it. Come on. <laughs> Come Put it on it. socks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, did you enjoy yourself? I did. Mm-hmm. I drove the Hana Highway, which was like playing the, the stand-up arcade video game, off-road for two <laughs> hours by myself. <laughs> Terrifying. By yourself. That sounds like a fun honeymoon, two-hour <laughs> drive by yourself. <laughs> yeah. I think I know well, you the answer to this question. <laughs> hey, here's, here's an idea. Maybe Just take your wife <laughs> along to certain <laughs> things you do on your honeymoon. <laughs> What, take my wife? I don't think so. Ah, yes. Come um, on! <laughs> well, it's it's great to have you here. You can stick around for a while. Yes. Is that true? Okay. Uh, I mean, Do that's you need to be caught up on who everyone is? Yeah, yeah. could you explain to me what everyone Gino, break it down. <laughs> okay, we got Time Guy, uh, <laughs> fake his, uh, Faked His Own Death, uh, Had a Real Death host, uh, Will Be Host of Guy, and then also, Giant White Dude in a Scarf and a Top Hat and a <laughs> Carrot Nose? Wait, what is it? What, what do you fuck? mean? Who Whoa, just came in here? Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's just... Uh, 
That's me. I'm Frosty the Snowman. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yep. Sorry. Don't mind me. Sorry. I didn't want to interrupt. We I, do mind you. When you, said no. giant, when you said giant white dude, I thought we were back to the Abranskis <laughs> or something. <laughs> but no, it's you're the snowman. Frosty the Snowman. Yes, I am Frosty. I do identify as a Caucasian. <laughs> <laughs> Coincidentally. Oh, uh, thank God. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, I'm a snowman. Can't stay long. It's a bit warm in here. I'm kind of running from meat locker to meat locker across... <laughs> Los Angeles to keep myself alive. That's a lot of meat lockers. You should just get like a um, a, a frozen delivery food truck. I just prefer meat lockers. Okay. Uh, I like restaurant people. Also, I like here's that here's culture. the problem with those trucks. Yeah. They're not refrigerated when you're driving them. That's right. You know, so you'd have to. Yeah, get but a, he can ride in the back. Yeah, but you'd have to get a friend. Do you have a friend who would drive you? I mean, that's the problem with it. The fun of a refrigerator truck is not the temperature; it's just hanging out with good friends. Yeah. <laughs> Do you still hang out with Parson Brown? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I love Parson Brown. We're good buddies. <laughs> Wait a second. You're the snowman from <laughs> from that from, other song? From In the Meadow, We Can Build yeah, the Snowman? I'm, from, I'm all the Christmas songs are, you are all one snowman? continuity. You I am from Uncredited the cameo in that, that song. <laughs> it's in just in like Jack Nicholson in Broadcast News. <laughs> In uh, yeah, in Let It Snow, it's Frosty the Snowman is an unspoken character. Most yes. of, most Christmas songs have Frosty the Snowman unspoken in mm. it. Let, Little let Drummer him. Boy, there's a Frosty the Snowman. Really? Oh, yeah, he night. does the bomb in the desert. Bomb. In the desert yeah. in Judea. I like to think yeah. he's in the sleigh too in Jingle Bells. <laughs> We three kings is Frosty the Snowman. Were um, you one of the kings? Yep, I'm yeah, the fourth king. It's Nebuchadnezzar. King. <laughs> it's Nebuchadnezzar. Frosty. Yeah, King Frosty. And then the other two. The other two, Pavarotti and uh, I forget the other guys. <laughs> so <laughs> when I was in on the beach in Hawaii and I only saw one set of footprints, were you carrying me, Frosty the Snowman? Yeah, I'm in the footprints poem. The thought. footprints poem. People think okay, it's about Jesus. Second. It's about. So wait, Frosty now I think you might be Jesus. <laughs> Oh, I don't. I don't think I'm Jesus. I don't think. Wait, I'm can Jesus. I ask you some questions? Some personal questions? Sure, Maybe we sure. Can figure yeah, out if you're I Jesus don't think or not. I'm Jesus. I'm just frosty. Yeah, go ahead and ask me. Uh, what was your occupation? No. Carpenter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we have an answer. Tools. Just There's a lot of carpenters who aren't Jesus. There's a lot I mean, of carpenters. This settles a lot of questions. Harrison Ford was a carpenter. Yeah, Harrison Ford was a carpenter. He's not Jesus. I don't think. Karen. Karen, Karen Carpenter, Carpenter was, was a carpenter. carpenter. Yes, that's you're right. right. Yeah, technically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just spreading the Christmas cheer. It's my favorite time of year. I just like to come say hi to all my... Oops, sorry, yes. <laughs> he said time. <laughs> he, he did. You're right, man. You got excited just from somebody... It blew by all of us, but you really picked up time. on time. Well, uh, it is the most wonderful time of the year. Frosty, do you need to be caught up on who everyone is? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Do yeah, you can know? I get a rundown on who else here? Gino! Okay, time guy, uh, Hawaii lesbian. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know that that's... Aloha. Although, Gino. That Gino. could describe so many of us. <laughs> Gino. <laughs> I'm just trying to get it down to two words. Two words or less? <laughs> I'm the microaggression guy. Uh, you could have you just said fall bowel. Oh, right, fall bowel. I can't believe I didn't remember that phrase. <laughs> and then we have uh, hairless faked his own death. Uh, with hair, he did actually die. Yeah. Well, now it's the sixth time I've introduced him, so I gotta, I can add a, a word. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get more. And later. then this Great. is the host slash uh, the guy who makes all the money off this thing. <laughs> and then uh, this is the host, and uh, if upon that host dies, I see. And you are three giant balls of frozen water. That's There's correct. A, just say snowman. <laughs> oh, right, that's easy. Yeah, Do no, I, one My favorite thing for listeners is that Gino is just pointing at, at, at all the characters. Oh, and then there's Brett, the alt-right or white supremacist uh, engineer. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I love it. Um, I, don't care. I don't care. Snowmen refer to each other as three balls of frozen water. Snowmen is a Icona human pop term. By the best. Within the snowmen culture, we say three balls of frozen water. Oh, really? That's what everybody says. Yeah. Uh-huh. Nobody that's why says, I felt comfortable saying it. Yeah. Is there a song a la Great Balls of Fire that's a lot like that? <laughs> yeah, the original words of Frosty the Snowman are Frosty the Three Balls of Frozen Water. <laughs> but- is Snowman on PC? <laughs> Yeah, snowman's a little bit of a pejorative, you know? It's like, look at this snowman. Oh, among, wow. among, among my family, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? If How I, many balls of frozen water is a snow woman? Uh, two. <laughs> Wait, there's fewer. Oh, <laughs> meaning, I, I thought... Meaning no, that she's five. just like totally, no, no. F- totally flat and then Me, two balls just, of... <laughs> in the frozen water species, it's the genders get are opposite. The males are more complicated uh-huh. Is biology. it like an icicle, but just with two boobs? Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Got it. So now we know your name is Frosty, but what are you here to say? I'm here to say... <laughs> it's fun to what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> In well, what kind of way? <laughs> I want to say, say that um, to all a good... 
to all a good out with it. I want to say to all a oh my good god, he's like melting trying to think of this time. time ripping to, right. side there. to all a good time. Do you need help reading that card? Get that Campbell's soup away from him. He's melting. No, I don't want to. No, I love me. soup. Don't take my soup. I love this. But you're gonna turn off. into a little boy. I'm fine. Ugh. What's going on, Frosty? What what is happening with you? You're tr- tell you're- us the truth. <laughs> like, everything's fine. Everything's fine. What's wrong? Don't worry about I me. I feel like something's wrong. I feel like you came here to talk about something and are covering now. All right, I'll say it. Everybody likes Rudolph more than me. Mm. Oh, oh, that's, that's, yes. Yes. That's, that's true. That is true. That is true. true. It's it's true. Very one hundred percent true. Oh, oh, very could you guys love. imagine yeah. if Rudolph was here oh, right now? Oh, it would be, it would be so Who much cares? better. I would so finally impressive. give a shit about this show, <laughs> and we could finally see someone when they're in the shadows. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's not so great. Okay, first of all, he's supposed to blend into the team, but it makes it all about him. Do you know? It's like it's like you, you praise the basketball player who draws all the attention to himself, or the one. He blends into the background and does his job. But every time I look at him, I can't help but <laughs> laugh thinking about all the great jokes I hear on Red Nose Day. <laughs> yes, that's a big advantage that Rudolph got. <laughs> yeah. But if, if Top Hat Day took off, you'd be thinking the same thing about me. But fortunately, Red Nose Day just swept, swept popular we should, culture. We should so start Little Twig Prince. Arms Day. Yeah, oh, I'd love to have little twig little arms. Little twig day. arms day. You do have the tiniest little twig arms. Do you ever wish that your arms were longer? They used to be. I just got them cut in the elevator coming up here. <laughs> yeah. Really? They were twice as long, like ten minutes ago. Can I ask you? Can you? <laughs> is, is there like gone? is there like an arborist in the elevator? Yeah, I had to go down to. I got to jump from meat locker to meat locker to get to West Hollywood. There's a floor shop over there. A guy will retwig me. Can I ask? <laughs> is it even possible for you to reach your? You know. No. What? what are you Wait, trying to say? What? Oh, do you even have genitalia? I don't know this about snowmen. Yeah, what's going on downstairs? You tell you me. Take a look. It? Take a look. What do you see? A carrot with two pieces <laughs> of coal question? underneath it. That's right. <laughs> downstairs carrot. Scott, a is that a question for all it's of us? A, it is a baby <laughs> carrot, though. <laughs> it is a baby carrot. I forgive you, Scott. And two lumps of coal. I forgive you for talking about my genitalia. Okay. Well. You, are, you are forgiven. Swap it with the nose one so it's bigger. <laughs> Let me try. Oh, 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 oh. That hurts. I ripped off part of my body. Ah, why did I do that? Ow, my nose. Put it back. Oh, put it back. Jason so it, Benzucas, put oh, my nose back. Oh, yeah. Put it back. Not there. Oh, yeah. There. Oh, you like that? Oh, no, I have two things. Horrifying. Sick. Holy. I have two things in my area. <laughs> He's in more pain than Paul Sheldon. <laughs> For misery. God, I love you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you were supposed to look that up, Gino. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Uh, Any page. reference, you're supposed to look it I up it. and then hold up a little sign for oh, us right. all. Oh, right. Yeah, here you go. Uh, Black Gino, Beatles. I only read the book. <laughs> Gino, that's an encyclopedia. That's not going to help you. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, I'm on M right now. Marsupials. <laughs> I believe that uh, Al Peterson uh, has a question for Frosty. Yeah, Frosty, uh, Al Peterson, the smooth criminal. <laughs> yes, um, I recognize you, Al Peterson. You do? Listen. That's not No, I mean, I recognize you like a senator. Yes. You oh, have the okay. floor. Because chair if he I literally recognized you, that would be Dan, a problem. Oh, no, we indeed it would. <laughs> Frosty, don't you feel that uh, it's true that uh, Rudolph, uh, you know, oh, started out, he was uh, maligned by the other reindeer. No, that worked is his a, way up no, through the ranks. No, that is false team victimization. Captain. Rudolph was always the most popular reindeer. He just re- he just did his own story that he was the victim. He's always got to be people. Have been sucking that guy's dick since he first are, showed up in the North Pole. People are too politically correct now with their safe spaces and all that That's kind of stuff. That's right. All you know these safe I mean? spaces. Triggers. Yeah. Trigger, warnings. Say, trigger, yeah. trigger warnings. Trigger warnings. Oh, Rudolph rode all that right to the top. Walls yeah. that don't have swastikas on them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People are too PC these days. <laughs> Let's let, let your donuts have some swastikas. You're gonna have don't a be blank so, wall on your home. Oh, well, come on. Yeah. yeah, what do you want? Just Wait, a blank in wall? your home? <laughs> in, <laughs> on, whatever. It's happening in people's homes now, too, if you're, if you're in the NFL. <laughs> yeah, if you're a New York Giants fullback, yes. go big blue. <laughs> Rudolph really rode that glowing nose thing, like as if that's a disability. What, how is a mutant power? Wait, a other people have glowing noses that it was ruined Lots for them? Lots of people have glowing noses. Like who? Steve Bannon. Steve Bannon's got a glowing nose. <laughs> A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> We're really coming out swinging <laughs> this episode. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds had a glowing nose for a long time. He did. If you look yeah. at two guys, a girl in a pizza place, got a glowing nose for that whole show. I guess I didn't see. Yeah, nobody watched he it. He knocked it off for Van Wilder. Yeah, mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. was part of the part of the. Is that like gin blossoms? Wilder. Is is that what is that what that is? is hey, when you say glowing jealousy. nose. <laughs> 
Yeah, that, I, I'm glad that hey, Rhea... Uh, jealousy? Hey, Jealousy has an exclamation <laughs> point in the middle of the title. Jealousy. Only Rhea's pronounced it right. <laughs> hey, Jealousy! Hey, jealousy. Hey. Jealousy. 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 <laughs> jealousy the name of the character in that song. <laughs> the song is about trying to address somebody named Jealousy. Uh, Can I, actually, hey, sit down. Hey, We're going to drive around this fucking town. <laughs> hey, hey, Jealousy, sit down! Who's Dirty Diana about? It's actually a beautiful name, Jealousy. It really is. <laughs> it's, jealousy. it's quite nice. Coming to the stage, Jealousy. jealousy. <laughs> this is my brother. Gluttony. <laughs> oh yeah, most strip clubs I go to are <laughs> most strip clubs I go to are very and the eighth thin dwarf themed. the bitch. <laughs> what? That's a callback. Oh okay. To Two? this episode? <laughs> Not to this. Oh, you don't, have to, you don't have to make callbacks to this episode. You <laughs> Can I call, call back, back be anything? Fun? <laughs> anything that's ever been done. No rules. <laughs> Just I, right. Just I mean new Start rules. Start the clock. All right. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Comedy bag bag. Comedy bag no, bag. No, you don't sing it. <laughs> you don't sing it. <laughs> well, look, we need to take a break. Thank uh, God. Oh, no, no, we don't. You just got here. I did just get here. The Hawaii lesbian has arrived. <laughs> now, see, it's catchy. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I understand myself for the first time. Um, You're kind of like a left fielder. Catchy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm calling it all back. <laughs> <laughs> What do you have planned for the holiday? How does Frosty the, the Snowman spend the holidays? I'm Jewish, so I don't. I celebrate Hanukkah. When I said the holidays, well, yeah, those are you, my holidays. Yeah, so you don't have to correct me. Well, I, I just think <laughs> you were you, 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 you had a Christian thought, intonation when you said holiday. Merry Christmas. I felt that he was just answering your question. Uh, I go home to my family. You said it like this, though. I'm Jewish. That's how they, that's well, how they you don't say have to, that's You don't have to talk. do an oh. anti-Semitic Jewish impression, Scott. <laughs> I'm just saying, the tone of voice is what I don't like. Brett loved it. You Brett might Are you less Jewish really now loved. that you have the baby carrot up top? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've, you've, you've re-circumcised me. <laughs> I was saying your nose is smaller. Um, oh, I see. Okay, I got it. I didn't catch in which way you were hate criming me, but now, now I know. I thought you were hate criming my Jesse oh, machine. The hate crime goes both ways. <laughs> got it. That seemed more macro, Gino. <laughs> that was macro. It was macro, pretty global. A macro aggression. I'm a blanket macro aggressor. <laughs> yeah. I head back to my family of uh, three balls of frozen water uh, in Ontario. <laughs> Uh, beer? You're a Canadian Jew. Yeah. Do you Canadian know? Do you Jew. know Archie the Snowman of Akron, Ohio, of uh, Chapel Hill Mall? Yeah, I know him. Why? You know him? Yeah. Oh, just, yeah. just wondering. Why? Just, what do you know about him? What do you say a, about a him? Terrifyingly what do you think? Every large recap snowman, him for us. Fr frozen ball person. Yeah. Uh, that is the size of a mall. Yep, that's right. And he's then a he big just guy. talks at you when yeah. you walk by. He's not. He's more of a monologuer than a conversationalist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Archie, I'll, I'll Archie hang out with a thousand snowman. Archies before I hang out with one Rudolph. Ooh, wow. Fuck Rudolph is what I really want people Those are to very know. Very strong. Words. Okay, we got it. We got it. All right, that's good. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. And do you think that every snowman knows every other snowman? That's kind of rude to presume. It's rude, yeah. but it's but it's true. It's rude. But is it's it true? true? Yeah, we're go. telepathically linked. <laughs> what? <laughs> how many? Yeah. Are, how many snowmen are there currently? Let or, me check. Or, there's 12. Oh. <laughs> Worldwide. Is only, yeah, they're not as popular as they used to be. There's 12 snowmen It's a in the lot of work, I have yeah. to say, making you, a snowman. It's not worth it either. It's People are not, not impressed. They should make a Westworld for snowmen. Yes. We so oh. we don't have to actually make them, and we can just hang out with them or shoot them. A we West World like Samurai Snowman. Land. Yeah, like Samurai Land. I you know had... people are fucking horses in West World. That's the one thing that they're not That's showing. That's the one thing yeah, they, they don't, don't show. It's the only reason I keep watching. I'm waiting to see it. <laughs> Someone's going there to fuck a horse. Someone's like, yeah, I get it. We can shoot people, but, but where do you fuck a horse? Where's the, the horses? An I don't think any of the animals have functional assholes. <laughs> see, that's the problem. <laughs> That's the problem? That. You gotta have a functional asshole if you wanna get fucked. The only yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's no that's other way to do it as far as I'm concerned. I think that's why they don't have them in Westworld, is so that everybody can't go... But what about girl horses? Do they have horse pussies? <laughs> of course. I find myself asking this question Zeno. all the time. Who Zeno. else would have a horse pussy? <laughs> I mean, a fucking freak in a mason jar? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I hope the next season what? of Westworld has more timelines. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hawaiian stand-up. I got. Well, I thought you meant a Westworld for snowmen, like oh. a, targeting the audience. Oh, of they could go to. both. Meaning, so the, snowmen would go to the Westworld. Would attend Westworld. There'd be meat lockers everywhere. All the reindeers <laughs> yeah. would have. What? Why would you just be snowing? Why wouldn't it just be snowing? Meat lockers are better than snowing. Have it just be a cold environment. <laughs> I'd rather have it be an arid <laughs> desert environment like my childhood, <laughs> and meat lockers everywhere. That would be better. <laughs> 
just meat lockers to run to. It's kind of like a finished sauna. So, so every city is like 99% meat lockers <laughs> is the only business. That'd and, be great. And one whorehouse? Just right down the middle of the street is hot. And a door to every side is a meat locker. One of them is a whorehouse. One of them you could fuck a horse. Mm. And oh, one of them you could just God. punch reindeer in the face. Is and it a real can horse say or anything. a snow-made horse? Snow-made horse. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. Very fuckable. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> and you, and just a Woof. lot of reindeer you could just punch. Oh, that'd be the best. Just reindeer you could punch and nobody can say anything about it. Anyone Little ever read- whining reindeer that are saying they're being overlooked, that nobody's playing any games with them. You can just go, pop. Anyone have a red nose by chance or? I mean, if you want, <laughs> if you want, I'm not saying it has to be that way. I'm, you know, I think it might be more fun if there's red nose. Yeah. Okay. Some magical powers. That's just, that's a wish. If, right. any, if there's any venture capitalists out there and they want to fund a Westworld for snowmen, I'm in for $2. Wait, mm-hmm. Again. Is Chris Sankia listening? You've, He's a venture capitalist. Uh, nice. <laughs> You've told us there are only 12 snowmen. Currently, so yeah. I it would be a terrible business model. <laughs> well, but to build if, an entire world for them. What if they have to pay them. a billion dollars oh, per snow person? How wealthy are snowmen? But me, currently? Yeah. Let me check. I have $2. Okay. <laughs> You're going to give it all up for this vent, this uh, business? I'm going to put 100% of my savings in for this business. That's right. There are right. only 12 you, months. You, you the look calendar like, business is huge. Why am I being accused of being Jesus? You look like Jesus. But, but the months I've, don't have to buy the calendars. <laughs> you I can't stop them. I don't think the snowman world is going to do well. I'm Scott, sorry, which guys. conversation should I be paying attention to? The, <laughs> I don't the one know. to my left or the one to my right? Well, tell, me, tell you what, let's start a new one. Still here. Still here. You're really pulling a marathon yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here with Harris Whittle. Uh, old friend of the Still. show. Do you have more of that feature? I got some foam. All right, let's hear it. Let's hear that theme song. It's Harris's Foam Corner. Harris's Foam Corner. Yeah, come on. Harris's Foam Corner. What? Yo, come on. Harris's Foam on the phone. Get the phone. It's a phone corner. All right, thank you, Reggie Watts, for that theme song for Harris's Foam Corner. And uh, what this feature is, is it started out as something called Phone Corner. <laughs> Because you, Harris Whittles, mm-hmm. owner and purveyor of Harris's Foam Corner, mm-hmm. uh, you would write jokes on your phone, which was, uh, we don't have scratch paper necessarily lying around anymore, mm-hmm. but we have these devices. Uh, What's flash paper? Scr- That's the stuff that goes into flames? Yeah. That's cool. And flash cards are, yeah, <laughs> two of our <laughs> upcoming guests both made the exact same magicianly... <laughs> Mime. Where they threw flash paper into the air and made it vanish. At the exact same time. <laughs> um, so you started something you started something called the phone the corner. Paul. <laughs> you started something called the phone corner, which is you would read uh, terrible jokes that you wrote on your phone that were not good enough to be tweets. Well, not good enough to be stand-up, because it started right. as a stand-up thing. That's true. And now it's kind of more, and then it became, yeah, just a Twitter, Twitter is thing. And now Twitter. it's basically just to come on here. Right. Foam is purely just to come on here and get lambasted. It transmogrified into the foam corner it, at it, a certain what? point. What? <laughs> it changed into okay. a foam corner at a certain point because... Uh, either we misheard you at one point, or I'm not sure exactly what, but people thought it would be fun to have a foam corner. Yes. Uh, I think that, I, I think M and M are really close in the alphabet. Mm-hmm. If you, it sounds like you're saying the same thing when you say M and M. Mm-hmm. Those two letters sound alike. Wait, when you say M and M? M and M. M and M? Yeah. Okay. The, uh, the letters M and M. that follow each other. L, M, M, O, P. Oh, okay. Got you. So I, th- I can see where it's confusing. All right, I got you. So <laughs> now, so now uh, we're gonna hear some foam. Here? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So uh, hear some foam. Do you need any kind of setup? Do you need the theme song again to launch right no, into it? No, we already or? got the theme song. Okay, I'll great. just go into it. All right, here we so, go. So, you know how people sometimes when they over pronounce something, like they'll go wheat thin, <laughs> right? Uh, I guess. Uh, I've... But you know, like so, or they'll be like. I don't know. I don't even have another. I'll just stick with wheat thin. <laughs> wheat thin. <laughs> or, okay, a uh, while. That's another one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. That's a thing that proper folk do. I've heard it. Okay. But it should be wheat thin. Wheat thin. Or a while. Like, why does the H come before the W just because you're pronouncing it like that it doesn't make any sense 
So, what? I'm just saying, if you're gonna say wheat thin, then say what heat thin. So, we, so we. That's it. Okay. Okay. All the right. Next one. <laughs> All right. What's the next one? The next one is about. Um. What you know? Amazon the website. <laughs> sure. What yeah, is that? As opposed to Amazon the uh, uh, jungle. Yeah. Also, what does Amazon the website look like in in person? What is that's got to be one big room, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> like they have, they have everything. <laughs> they sell everything. What okay. is, where is that? Oh, okay. It's insanity. Meaning, where's the brick and mortar? Yeah. Where is Amazon? I'd uh-huh. love to see it. Yeah, it's a all right. You know when people say uh, when people say I've read studies. Or there's there's been studies. Let's be honest. There's probably been one study, right? Or they've read one study. <laughs> like I don't, I don't think a lot of people read multiple studies on things. I don't, I don't know that these are qualifying even as jokes anymore. <laughs> I mean, these are musings at at best. Yeah, at best. All right. Okay. <laughs> let's get. Let's have a strong middle right. or end. All right. You know how if you go into a guy's public, okay, in life, mm-hmm. someone farts. So this is in life. <laughs> in life, out in regular life, if someone farts, it's funny. Like you laugh at it. Okay. And if you go into a guy's bathroom, a public bathroom, everyone is just like farting and, and being very serious. <laughs> Why? Why is it not funny in there? It's everyone's just like oh, business as usual, but it's not. It's hilarious still. Well, outside the confines of the bathroom, it is improper, which is why it's amusing. I it, hate that people think it's okay to go into public bathrooms and be horses. It's fucking disgusting. Okay, finish strong. Finish strong. What do you I got? I can't. I truly can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll finish strong. Hey, Brussels sprouts and broccolini. Enjoy your 15 minutes. Amazon's <laughs> <laughs> oh. phone corner. Yeah, come on. Amazon's phone corner. What? Yo, come on. Amazon's phone on the phone. Get the phone. It's a phone corner. All right, tell you what, Harris, let's take a a tiny little break. When we come back, we'll have more guests, more fun. This is Comedy Bang Bang Holiday Special. We'll be right back after this. (laughs) Comedy Bing Bong, we are back here with, uh, of course, it's our special end-of-the-year holiday episode. We have Jason J-Dog Manzoukas. Well, let's not do that. Okay. Uh, We also have Alan Thicke and (laughs) Meryl Schindler. And, of course, Frank Stallone is here. Where? No, that's you. Oh, uh, welcome, Frank Stallone. Yeah, (laughs) you're very excited about that <laughs> like a vocal banner yeah and it's of course our holiday episode now what better way to spend your holidays than with friends you know none of you really you're all oh. looking at your phones you, did you mean no <laughs> did you, I, is this is this, this the is friends me that you're discussing? spending time with my friends here in, in the holiday season wow I, when you said that i thought that does sound like a good idea maybe <laughs> i should were, do that you had one eye on the door at that point <laughs> I love to spend the holidays with my friends, and then I say, I want that one, and then the cook comes back in 20 minutes, and it's baked, roasted, plunged in boiling water, or otherwise cooked. All uh, right. We're talking about animals, I hope. Well, sure. But can I get another bite of you, by the way? Okay, but well, this time, go for an elbow. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, my. Ready for it? Oh, it's eggy, isn't it? It's almost like an eggy what is sort that? of a runny. Yeah, why, why is well, it I, so I have yolks inside Ooh. of my elbow. Oh, Meryl, I, I, Mara, I should have asked. I have a very severe food allergy to eggs. Oh, so yeah. So you contain eggs? Is that true? I have contained eggs, sure. Oh, boy. Uh-oh, oh, Jason. Boy. That's not are, and yeah. I've also processed the machinery that may have handled nuts. Oh, God. Oh, do you need to get your EpiPen out? That's yeah, one of my, that's one my, my son's songs. <laughs> <laughs> Made on a machine that may have handled nuts. <laughs> <laughs> His songs are getting less girl. and less sexy. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, girl? Uh, comma, Wait. girl. <laughs> G-U-R-L. I- I like it. Yeah, I'm a big fan of your son. He's great. Of Robin. Yeah, I loved it. He got he beat me out on getting that Beetlejuice costume for Who? the MTV VMAs. He had that Beetlejuice that, costume. Yeah, Beetlejuice. He had that that black and white striped suit. Oh, do you know? I never made that connection before. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
Yeah, wait, weren't you wearing that suit in what Toronto? Toronto? I, was wearing a, I was wearing a Beetlejuice costume. <laughs> wait, but you never realized that Robin Thicke was wearing... Well, I hadn't seen it at the time. Oh, okay. Well, I've, I've recently caught up on it, and I thought, that's a wonderful suit. Yeah. <laughs> Do really you was. find, are you envious at all of your son's career? Sometimes. I mean, I he's mean, a singer, which is something you really are passionate about. Indeed. He's, he's married to Paula Poundstone, is that her name? Yep. That's correct. Yeah, Paula Poundstone. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they wear the same clothes sometimes. Yep. <laughs> Fantastic, but hey, you know she what? was amazing in uh, Mission Impossible: Ghost Protocol. Oh, she was. She would play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> well, they shot that whole movie on well, GoPro. Don't Wait, move right. till oh, the oh. beat is just one drum. Oh, what oh, might oh, be right oh, for you yeah. may not be right for some. That's a big shout out to Alan Thicke. I know you wrote that you. song. Thank you, Doctor Bukowski. One of the best. One of the best uh, TV theme songs I think I've ever, I've ever has ever been. Well, what about the Cosby much. Show? It's pretty good. <laughs> but it doesn't describe the whole beep, story. Beep, beep. Were there beep, beep, beep. were there lyrics to it? Yes. There were lyrics, but uh, we X'd them out. The network was another network note. No lyrics. Did it describe what happens in the show? Well, it's kind of like, I'm Bill Cosby. This is my family. This is my children. A cockroach, too. (laughs) How about sandwiches? It's Christmas time. On Comedy (laughs) Bang Bang. What's up, Scott? They mentioned Comedy Bang Bang in your theme song? Very Christian. Very Christian. At that point, it didn't refer to a TV show or a podcast. It was just comedy. Bang Bang. This is... uh, I mean, I'm going to say the network may have been right mm-hmm. to not include those lyrics. Oh, I agree with them about every. Also, note. Christmas being mentioned could have been confusing. <laughs> yep, week in and week out. Yeah, well, they want to do. Uh, also, yeah. the fact that it didn't mention the Stevie Wonder episode might well, be confusing. Thanksgiving well. episode, Gemma's the Max Roach episode, any episode, Dizzy, Dizzy Gillespie. Gillespie, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. But uh, I was always a fan of gar- Growing Pains, and I tried to base the Cosby Show on that. Oh, I had no idea. Yep. Just uh, what I thought it would be before it existed, and then after it existed, I was very happy that I kind of nailed it. Did you have to suppress your Bukowski side (laughs) when you were developing the Cosby Show? I did. I pushed it down, you know, but like backstage, I was fucking insane. You don't see the backstage area where I was just, you know, you know, really, really wrecking shit. Craft services was would've, always a you mess. Be, you mean by the craft services table? Uh, yes. Who are you again? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm being <laughs> mar- he's assaulted. He's a float. He's a float from the Thanksgiving Day parade. Don't you recognize him? I am occasionally a sorry. No, you're very later. large, but Look, I- I'm salty. I'm hammy. I love, I love all things food. Okay, and I have a radio a, show that no one's ever heard. He's oh. a food critic, Meryl Schindler. Oh, of course, Meryl. So I was just wondering about your craft services table. It was great. She was in that movie. I like your choice. voice. We had, and she was in. Uh, no, that, that's Meryl Streep. Oh, Meryl. I Meryl thought you Schindler. looked different on camera. <laughs> that was great. The craft services on a Cosby show. We had we had chocolate cake and we had, chocolate we had cake. The savory for, chocolate for breakfast. cake. Uh, oh yeah, you get like a little bit of salty. Yeah, and cake pepper. chips and then uh, peppercorn chocolate. Well, of course you got the Jello. You got the Jello. Uh, of course you got the Jello. Of course you got the Jello and the Coca Cola. Speaking, it sounds like you got some sauces in your throat as well. I'm uh, sure. <laughs> like okay. Delicious and spicy. <laughs> Dr. Cosby <laughs> Bukowski, uh, yes? speak, speaking of Jello, uh, uh, do you have any uh, Jelloums that you might? <laughs> oh, I would love to hear oh, some Christmas Jello. Christmas themed yes. Jelloums. I got one for you, Alan Thick. It's called Congratulations on the Success of Your Son. Oh. It's <laughs> <laughs> a very specific Jello. Congratulations on the success of your son, Robin Thick. Robin Thick has made. Real big splash in the world. He's a crossover success. He's got the blurred lines. He's doing just fine. And he's really cornered the nerd market. <laughs> so it's great. End of Jaloam. <laughs> It's Dude, pretty man. good. That, that's wild. Individual. You know it. Thank you. It's all shalom. good. You know, I wish you could shalom. do that, but I can't. Shabbat shalom. 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 Shabbat shalom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I went to Temple once. Oh, yeah? Yeah, when Sly had to make a movie, he's got to go to Temple. Talk I went to Temple people. for four years. What was that? I always movie? make a left at Beverly. <laughs> yes, we know, Dr. Cosby. <laughs> okay, just making that clear. <laughs> yeah, they finally gave you your honorary doctorate. Yep. <laughs> uh, Frank, what was, what was the movie where Sylvester Stallone went to Temple? He didn't go to temple. He has to go to temple when he wants to make a movie. Got to ask all those guys in there. Like, Please make me make a movie. <laughs> oh, Whoa. I see. Oh, you mean that you're talking about the Jews that run Hollywood? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He always. 
<laughs> he says, time to go visit the Jews and run Hollywood. And then we go to the temple. And he goes, I got this idea for a movie. And they go, all right. Then you make a medit. They you make a You probably make it. should not be talking about your brother doing that. <laughs> oh, okay. On a, yeah, all right. All right. I guess he goes, look, some secrets are best yet kept safe. Safe. What? <laughs> that secret seems safe to me. Yeah, it's it's the old thing. Some safe. secrets are best yet kept safe. Yeah. Bill Cosby, Bukowski, what do you sure. do during the holidays? <laughs> oh, just hang out with my family. We make a cake. Your TV family or your regular family? Oh, my regular family it is my TV family. It's all one and the same. <laughs> we all hang out. We're all good friends. And so we settle down <laughs> by the fire. We watch some growing pains and, you know, uh, yeah. family ties and such yeah. and uh, we put on we put on music sometimes oh, just like kind of like, oh, okay did you not say. have a, a biological family until it was cast it was, it was cast to try to cast it Felicia I think Rashad. it did a good job Felicia Rashad is my Claire. lovely wife Claire you know it's really fun I do what everybody does except it's a little bit more Afrocentric <laughs> <laughs> do you celebrate Kwanzaa do you I do. I celebrate Kwanzaa. <laughs> Thank you for backing me up on that, Meryl. Ooh. But I never figured out what it is. Well, so I can tell you. I do best. celebrate it, but I can't tell you it's what. It's worth it for the food. Try a crispy Kwanzaa quail. A Kwanzaa quail? I love Kwanzaa dogs. Those are my favorite. Well, sure. Oh, oh my gosh. As long as they're slaughtered first. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't eat them alive. <laughs> no, don't eat a dog alive. Nope. You get well, unless you're hungry. He's rude. Hey, Listen hungry. to me. If you're hungry, eat, eat, eat anything. Eat a dog alive. Eat, if, if you're starving to death, eat anything. Yes. Yeah. I think that's what the movie Alive taught us. Is like, yes. You know, and the movie Cliffhanger. Wait, did Sly Stallone eat a In person during- In a deleted during- scene. What? Yeah, I wrote a deleted scene. You, you wrote, wrote it? Wrote wrote it? Cliffhanger? Yeah. It was deleted yeah, from the script? You actually wrote it to yeah. be a deleted scene. Because like what I did, because like they have the big scripts, and I would go in there late at night, and I would put in different scenes, <laughs> and they would go, oh, hey, who put this in there? But- <laughs> 25% of them stay in the movies. Really? Yeah, So no, you wrote 25%? It's a pretty amazing of, rate of success. Yeah. So yeah. They just don't even remember what they were writing about. And then, right. I, you know, sometimes I get Wh- called out. Which scenes in Cliffhanger did you write? The scene where John Lithgow goes, mm, I gotta get him my pretty <laughs> and his little dog, too. So I think did. that's the Wizard of Oz. Oh, yeah. I no, did that's that one the boy too. from Oz. I did. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't the TV show Oz. <laughs> oh, that's right. No, that's yeah. Starring J.K. Simmons and Rita Moreno. I watched the Great and Powerful Oz. I yeah. was like, this looks like a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> Is this on NBC? You know, I watched <laughs> The Return of Oz, and I just keep it on a loop for that one scene where this sandwich is growing on trees. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy! I just watched The Return of, of the Jedi. I, I watch Return movies exclusively. I watch Revenge of the Jedi. It's a very different mm. film. Max Dugan Returns. Return of the Nerds. <laughs> Jason Robards. <laughs> yeah. And Return of the Sea Cock of Seven. <laughs> yep, those it's are the only film. movies I like. Expendables. Yeah. Right. Return of the Expendables. Are you in Expendables 3? Did we talk no. about this? I'm sorry. They wouldn't juice. They wouldn't you what? You wouldn't I juice? juice. Oh, you got to juice it up for that. You got to look good. They wanted you to use anabolic steroids. Yeah. And you said no. No, they wanted me to drink juice. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a juice cleanse? Yeah, they wanted me to do, drink juice. They said, you got to drink and you got to eat because that's how people stay alive. I go, you ain't fooling me, you dumb dummies. Wait, well, don't so they, compromise your integrity for those suits. Yeah. But it, it sounds as if they just wanted you to do basic uh, human things yeah. in order to sustain yourself. That's what they said. And you said no. Exactly. <laughs> Have you ever starved almost to death? Mm-hmm. Nope. But they wrote a, a TMZ. Oh, is this was just thrown out to everyone? <laughs> oh yeah, no. I Let's start, go around yeah. start with Frank. How about you? Let's go around, start with Frank. Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> Jason? No. All right. No, uh, it cause me I have. Me. I have been in the depths of despair. I have starved to the point where I had to eat Rudy's leg. <laughs> what? I had to eat it, and I said, Vanessa, you gonna cook it? And uh, took out my fork and a knife and a bib. I tied up a bib uh-huh. in case I spilled some of the blood sure. on my stuff. From, the, sure. from the leg eating. I did eat Rudy's leg. I had a couple of bibs surgically added to my chest cereal. Wow. Surg- oh, surgical like flesh bibs? Like or bib- like plates? That- sure, they could get it off from a living human being. Is that, elect- is that elective? Cells. Yeah. That's an elective surgery? 
I, 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 I was well, I ask me it was necessary. I was I, I was I deserve to be someone who has a pimp in my. Can I ask what we're all thinking right now? You don't you have don't to have ask to, if you can ask. Yes, I, I thought if this is were, established. I thought you were throwing the question out to more than one person. You might. Have oh, to okay, ask. no. Is it okay? Is it okay if he let asks us, that Let question? us free you from that prison. Let me ask what everyone's thinking, please. Uh, <laughs> do you ever see Eldon anymore? <laughs> Elvin? Is that his name? Eldon. Who's Elvin? Elvin? You mean my, my son-in-law? Yes. I do. Uh, not doing so good, Elvin. Yeah. Is he the one that married Sasha? No. Who, who, no, no. He's, he married Sasha. He was married what, what was to Sandra. Oh, thank Sandra. you, Sandra. Sandra, thank you. He was you. married to my daughter, Sandra. And I got to say, Alan... He fell in with the bad jazz crowd. Oh, oh wow. Not the bad jazz crowd. Yep, the bad jazz oh, crowd. The, now you the got the BJC? You got your cool beboppers over here. Yeah. And the pretty the mellow. And then there's the bad jazz crowd. They get into the heroin. Oh boy. And oh. the cocaine. You know these people, your John Coltrane. Anyone who's good at jazz is terrible. <laughs> a terrible person. So yeah, Elvin. Fe- Elvin Jones was one of the <laughs> fell in with uh, Elvin drummer, Jones, John Coltrane, John, yeah. John Coltrane's drummer. All these bad yeah. jazz fellows, and he had a real tough time for a while. And uh, then I, I don't know, he's really dropped off. I think he's the golden voice man by the side of the highway, uh, or something <laughs> like that. Or golden, if golden he's throat? not, the he's, golden the golden he's the golden throat. He's the golden voice homeless man without that voice. You he know, really he's got did. nothing going he re- on. That homeless man really did have a golden voice. <laughs> what about uh, <laughs> Lenny, Lenny Kravitz? You ever see him around? These Lenny days? Kravitz. Yeah, because. Yeah. He was married to Lisa Bonet. Yeah. So I'm in the, I, well, the only time I see him is in the fucking Hunger Games. <laughs> yeah. So I go to see the Hunger Games to visit my, my son. That's a common complaint. It's like, God, why is it the only time I ever see Lenny Kravitz yeah. is in the Hunger Games? Yeah. I said that out loud during the movie. <laughs> yeah. I, I just, anytime he's on screen, I just start screaming, let love rule. Uh-huh. Yeah. Let love rule. I, I want to fly away. I yell out, Mr. Cab Driver. Yeah, that's sure. great. I always say. And do cabs come to you? Yes, they do. <laughs> Lenny Kravitz's version of American Directly into woman. the theater like the Kool-Aid like, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Like DC Cab. <laughs> that's, that's correct. DC Cab, great movie. Bill Maher. Bill Maher is the greatest role <laughs> in life. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic weird weird tits in that movie. Yeah? Like you know, from who? I don't remember. I don't know, but I remember watching that movie just for the tits. Just yeah. for the weird tits. Just for the weird eighties tits. Yeah. yeah. Well guys, we have to take another break. Right. Let's play because it was getting <laughs> okay. a little bit famous. See you later. <laughs> no, no, stay. Can okay, you stay I'll, or stick no? I'll stick around. All right. Can everyone stay? All right. Let's I, take a break. We'll be right back care. with more comedy bing bong. <laughs> um okay, so we need to turn to our guests of honor. Uh oh, they works. are musical genii. They are are uh, uh, they have one Academy Award nomination between them? That's right. <laughs> between us, it's between us, it's yeah. sitting between us. And uh, they have teamed up. It's almost like uh, Marvel Two in One or or Marvel Team Up, where it's a superhero team up. Where hey, it would be great to see the Thing, you know, hang out with Spider Man. Uh, they have two different fighting styles. One has rocks, yes. Was that the idea of the comic book series, but that they hang out together? <laughs> yeah, well, So yeah. a little kid saves his dimes, and then he buys this comic book. It's like, oh, they're going to get a soda. I would buy that. I don't well, know. Well, you would, sure. Now, normally they would fight uh, uh, villains, which I don't know if you guys do, but we'll, we'll get to that time, certainly yeah. in, a, in a second. But uh, uh, they uh, are individually... Well, should I talk collectively or individually? I mean, individually is better for your intro. Let me say collectively first. Collectively. It's hard to know what you're trying to say, okay. so I can't advise you. Here we go. <laughs> collectively, they are known as The Both, yes. which is uh, they have one album so far, uh, yes. 2014, The Both, and individually, they are known as Ted Leo and Amy Mann. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Happy mm, Pre, holidays. Yeah. Pre-holiday mm-hmm. season. Um, it's great to see you guys. You guys uh, put out uh, one of my favorite records of the year. And uh, the titular so both, right? Yeah, uh, eponymous. Mm, you like the eponymous. eponymous. Debut. I said eponymous the other day on yeah. the show, accidentally. Yeah. I hate it. It's not a good word. I'm not, I'm <laughs> it's not, not a good word. word. Titular. Titular. <laughs> Titular. <laughs> is titular really? Do you prefer titular? I don't know. If titular I, I don't just know if means I feel the like title. That applies. Yeah, I don't think it applies. You're the titular both. I think it's eponymous. I don't know. <laughs> I don't um, like the sound of either so, of those words. Titular till I die. <laughs> um, yes. Let's talk about how you guys met. I, now, this is a very special story, is it not? 
No, I don't wow, think so. Wow, what is the story? <laughs> uh, Didn't you guys meet on this show? No. Uh, did we, we meet on this show? I don't show? think no. we met on All right. the show. However, <laughs> what happened? It was tell- the first time we, 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 we I think, were P- like, collaborating together, together. and did anything together. Encountered yeah, each other. There was no kind of a story. Absolutely. You really yeah. pulled it out, That's Scott. That's what I'm looking <laughs> yeah. for. Yeah, I, I have close. to say, I'm. you know, Paul knows this about me. My memory is extremely... Who's Paul? Who? Who's this now? Uh, Paul F. Tompkins, uh, oh, okay. a mutual but, friend of all of ours. Oh, yeah, I know that. about me, my... That my memory is very, very poor. Middle initial sounds pretentious. Uh, <laughs> but he he was on the he was on this very podcast That's with right. with me and uh, and Ted and and Ted. It, what, I think it was the first time that I sort of saw you perform up close, and I do remember thinking. You usually stand in the back during before, his concerts. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think I had seen you perform at all up, right. up to then. Yeah. And I remember feeling really uh, jealous that that you how how well you were how much better you were pulling it off than, mm. than I was. It's the not mortal a, not sin. Not how I remember that day. The mortal sin of envy. Yes. Yeah. Here's what I like is yeah. that this is this is real showbiz stuff where they're talking to each other and they're saying you're so great, and the one is saying I'm not so great, you're so great. Yeah. Um, and then the other one says, No, shut up, I love you. Yeah. Right. It's, it's this like is good show old business. fashioned show business yeah i love it um so you guys uh amy you saw ted and you're like god i gotta get into the ted leo business i i think that did start the uh the feeling of if i can't uh best him, him in those who can't do if i can't beat him right. in some way yeah. yeah then i must enlist him to to improve my my brand and then Ted looks over Brand. and he's like, oh, what color are her eyes? Dollar signs. What? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> and then a, that collabo happened. Uh-huh. <laughs> and uh, it, took, it took you guys a while. It took a while. But you guys finally uh, uh, banded forces and uh, – cr- banded forces. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> banded together and joined forces. <laughs> you joined together. Uh, why did join together and banded together work but not banded forces? Joined forces, joined together, banded together, but not joined banded force. Anyway. Banded forces. Banded forces. Make it happen. Let's make it I've heard a band of horses. Why not banded forces? What about horse bands? (laughs) (laughs) There should be more horse bands. I mean, you got the bear that bands. Bad. You got the horse. A lot of horses are fat. <laughs> They're very fat. If you look at them, they have those like those. So they got bellies. You know, there's a mm-hmm. horse. Some horses have Their bellies. Their mm-hmm. are enormous. That, there's that one bear band in Disneyland. Yeah. Why not a horse band? How about the Rockefeller Rock Rockefeller Fire Explosion? What is it? <laughs> the Pizza Fire? What Rockefeller is it? Pizza Fire yeah, Explosion? Does anyone, does anyone know what I'm talking no. about? It's a bunch of animatronic creatures, and they sing at a pizza parlor. Ooh! And you could program a different song in there, like uh, Usher's Love in This Club, and then these uh, dumb cartoon uh, uh, bears, animatronic bears, mm-hmm. are like singing mm-hmm. along, like the urban uh, hit maker. This sounds like something you've made up, but it, I, I think it's another franchise for you. Someone made a documentary about. Them, so filmically, it's covered. Oh, dear. but I could make one where they come to life. Oh, I thought you said they did come to life. Well, no, they're not alive. They're animatronic. You oh. know what that means? Well, I do know what it means, but I always th- I thought they were always coming to life. You thought the word animatronic means these come things to briefly life. come to life. <laughs> yes, well, <briefly>. you're wrong. <laughs> and then they die means. after five minutes. <laughs> so I would always <laughs> mourn them on their feet, <laughs> <laughs> better than on their knees. Oh, that's very <laughs> poetic. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, yeah. the both, yeah. uh, you you have this record out. You're on tour. Tell me, what, what it's the melt. You know what I think it is? Is it's like the best of Ted Leo and the best of Amy Mann, and then you put the best of you together and you come up with something new. That that's that was, the hope. Yeah, that's that the is hope. the hope. Was there and a the question idea. in there? <laughs> <laughs> I just we told them com- what I think. We it have is. commentary to add. Yeah, I think. Sure. Mm-hmm. I, I you know I, I think one of the reasons we wanted to start a band because we were a little just tired of our just ourselves. Yeah, you I was know, very tired of my bird. I relate to that yeah. very much. It's, it's nice to have a collaborator, and it's nice to to try to meet that collaborator. You know, head on. Uh, Mm-hmm. Band forces, ba- banding, <laughs> oh, for, banding it's forces on. In, in the middle, <laughs> yeah, somewhere rather than you know just insisting on continuing to do your own thing over and over and over exactly as yeah. you've always done it. And I think that we both um, have, both. There's that word. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think that we. I think that we. Each of us uh, sort of, you know, have had more hints of what the other is known for, mm. but weren't, you know, able to blossom in those mm. directions within the strictures of our own thing as it had been established. Wow. So, so like Amy would say to you, uh, yeah. guess what I'm known for? I'll give you a hint. Right. 
And then she'd give you the hint, and then you'd be like, okay, okay, let me see if I can figure this out. <laughs> You sound smart, Ted. Are place. you are you a smart guy? You sound smart. I that's not for me to say. Hmm. I would, I'll say what do you that say? He's smart. Yeah. No, he's a smart guy. I've been around him a lot. <laughs> so what he's do you got, guys? He's what, got smarts. What I was gonna, so what the point I was going to make is that there there are songs on the record that you know there we wrote them all together. Like there 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 aren't there. It's not like there's a Ted Leo song and there's a right. What do you guys? Song. How do you guys but, write? Do you like do re mi fa so la ti do? All right. How do we mix it up? How do we, how yeah. do we rearrange that things? That is yeah. almost an exact That's, representation yeah. of our writing method. Just we, we, we just mix, mix up, and match. We mix up the do re mi fa sol yeah. la ti dos and then just mm -hmm. pick them out. Do you have them? Here's the kind of thing that I would yeah. do if I were if I were in your shoes, and I'm not. I don't pretend to be a songwriter, but I would put the scale do re mi fa sol la ti do. I'd put mm -hmm. them on different individual cards. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I'd put them up on the wall, uh -huh. and then I'd figure out like, okay, rearrange them. Put this one here. Put this one there. Put, mm -hmm. You know, like that sort of thing. Do you do you employ visual aids the in your songwriting? Not the, like that. You the know, card I, method. No. Dry I, erase board. Does that ever come into whiteboard. play? Yeah, I've done that. Whiteboard. Is some yeah. people go. I'm a little bit older right, than you. Sure. I've, I've, I've written <laughs> names. I've written yeah. names of chords on cards and toss them in the air, and then chords on cards, toss them in the air. Later, right? Chords on cards. I'm like weird Al. Over here. You are. <laughs> so, um, you know, what were you going to say? Though, well, Ted? I was just going to say that. I was just going to say that. So, you you know, there are a lot of reviews of the record. For example, they think they're they think they're smart. Mm. And they say you can obviously tell which one is a Ted Leo and which one is an Amy. Man, they're, wrong, they're very they're, they're very wrong because you do it together. Wrong. Usually wrong. Not only do we do it together, but because like you know, I I feel freer mm -hmm. not having to be the the Ted Leo character that, that you've played exactly for yeah. so long. I can, I can yeah. stretch out another direction. You're right? taking the off the right. mask. The well, taking yeah. off the Ted Leo mask. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To find the up, Ted Leo underneath. Um, yes, Len do Wiseman. You, do you read reviews? Because you know you shouldn't. Very, very rarely. Very but rarely. it's tempting. It's always tempting. It's you know it's out there. It's tempting, but I've gotten good at, at the second a record comes out, just not even looking at a music blog for right. Mm -hmm. A web blog. If somebody web forwards blog, yeah. something to me and with the heading, read this, it's fantastic, uh, I'll read it, but, but yeah. otherwise I won't. They it's very got, seldom do that, it's, though. It's got to be pre-vetted. Pre that. That's and a lot like a steak. Very rare. Yeah. But so, well, hmm? Some, <laughs> some steaks. Yeah. Um, also, no, any steak is very rare. Well, at a certain point. Sure, that's yeah. what I mean. Oh, yeah. You can cook it more. <laughs> I like a steak. I like a steak so rare it's bloody, like one of my things. Underworld. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I honestly you, thought I, you, that you were saying it's rare for you to eat a steak. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. <laughs> so um, many interpretations. <laughs> the language is fluid. Now, I have a question for the both. Uh -huh. uh, have you seen the Underworld series of films? I've seen one of them. Which one have you seen? Rise of the Lycan. Oh, oh that's a great one. That's, yeah. Can I tell you something? It's yeah. my personal favorite. Really? Because it's finally the Lycan time to shine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They've been in the shadows for far too long, well, these Well, because they're, they're werewolves. We Certainly. call them Lycans. I've never been clear why. <laughs> You um, never had any kind of discussion with I the think, screenwriter. About I think that? when we, as we were going to print, I was worried. Like, uh, I think that, um, I think that werewolf is a trademark term. I think it's a brand name. Hmm. Just to be clear, uh, let's call them all lichens. And we spent a fortune in ADR. And when you say going to print. Wait. The movie was about to be printed. Oh, I see. So <laughs> they do that these days still. Yeah. <laughs> you say cut print after I each take that print. you think is the one that that's they should. Right. Okay. That's good. Right. Yeah, boy, that's really yeah. Look, I love I love Hollywood. I Old love school movie Hollywood. Making. Exactly. Yes. I show up to set wearing a beret and jodpas. I got my megaphone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fantastic. So listen, you've seen <laughs> the rise of the lichen. I've seen the rise Amy, of the lichen. Amy, any underworld pictures at all? I, I have. I don't even know what. Have that you is. ever seen a movie with either uh, a vampire or a werewolf? No. Not a single Not one. A single one. You never saw Dracula with Frank Langella? No. <laughs> you never saw an American werewolf in London or Paris? No. <laughs> I was a teenage werewolf. You never saw I Was a Teenage Dwayne with Michael, seen, Landon? Michael Landon? I've seen a couple of Lon Chaney movies. I'm going to guess there's some kind of Dracula something in there. Wait, well, what, was well, your opinion, no. what was your impression of these Lon Chaney movies when you think back? <laughs> what happened during them? Just You just remember Lon Chaney? You just remember the end where they wow. filmed Lon Chaney taking a bow out of his <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I saw at the silent movie theater when I used to play silent movies, I mm -hmm. saw I, I went to several uh, in the – there was a festival of Lon Chaney oh, movies. The and, I, and I have to assume that one of them was some sort of vampiric – 
I think he was the Phantom. I think it was the Phantom. I don't know. Okay, it was the Phantom. So no, I think it's a it's a flat no for all vampire and werewolf. You've never seen, Teen Wolf. for example, Teen Wolf. No. Yeah. You haven't seen Teen Wolf? It's I, fun. It plays basketball. Seem... plays basketball. <laughs> he dunks. He dunks that basketball. Have you ever seen a werewolf dunk? You'll oh, see it's a in teen. Teen Wolf. He's a yeah. teen. He's a teen. And then he gets all wolfy. Michael J. Yes. Fox. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, you know what? I don't think I did see it. You've ne but you've never seen Love at First Bite. You've never seen uh, Nosferatu. A vampire's Kiss. No. Uh, a vampire, a vampire in Brooklyn. Brooklyn. No, Jinx. No, no, no. You owe me a coke. I'm amazed that there's so many vampire movies. There's Are you so going to see the new? Uh, I feel like you going to see the new? The You've new never one? No. The new? Uh, the, the new? What about the uh, new review, which <laughs> features a werewolf? That's <laughs> it's a hippopotamus, a frog, <laughs> a werewolf, and I think there's an owl. <laughs> Well, you got to see one. I'll Amy, see it if it's an owl. Amy, an do you promise you'll come? <laughs> Are you kidding me? There's so many vampire movies. Almost all of them feature owls. Wait, they you've seen see owl movies? What about The Legends of Gahul? But the, pre the premise of a vampire movie feels like it's not going to differ that much from movie to movie. Twilight. Any of the Twilights? No, you, Twilight. You, I'm over 50. What? Do you promise that you'll come over immediately after this show and watch five vampire movies no, with me? I've, there's no promise. Will you watch three vampire movies? No. So will you watch four? I'll, I'll watch one. You'll watch one? You watch Ooh, one? Len. Do we get to pick which vampire movie? You can, you can pick it. Oh, oh Len. Guess, well, guess which one it's going to be. Oh, no. <laughs> I think it's going to be Underworld. It's going to be Underworld Evolution. Evolution? Oh, Why yes. Evolution? Well, because I think it would be fun for her to get hooked on this world and then say, I got to see where it all started. Oh, and yeah. Then go back to the go back. Yeah, very good. So they're, 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 you can watch them as standalone pieces. You don't oh, I don't care. Them. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, you probably shouldn't, but go ahead. You get paid it's either way, country. right? I get paid either way. I get paid every time someone watches the show. <laughs> I bet you do. Even if they own it and they just put it in their DVD player, That's right. you get paid yeah, royalties Money is sent it. to my account. Fantastic. Well, Thanks, Blu-ray technology. <laughs> go see them in a town. Yeah. Come to a town. Come to a town. Not We're a village. Inland. Now, did you start hosting the show last week? <laughs> yeah, of course. Go see them in a town. Why not? Why wouldn't you go see them in a town? Go see them in a village. Better than a barn. What if there's a bond in the town? Well, then it's the best of both worlds. <laughs> what is this one going to be called? Or it probably is called something already. You're not going to name it after you sing it, right? We're not going to rename it. We're not going to okay. rename it? No. Oh, okay. gosh. That's too bad. Um, what, and what, what is this called? This is called uh, You Can't Help Me Now. You cannot. No. Can't. You can't. No. Can't? Really? Yeah. You have can't. to use a contraction, guys? So sloppy. It's, she it's colloquial. Ugh, I can't, I can't All with right. the formal language. You can't. <laughs> Help me now. <laughs> um, I feel like is, you're making too much of this. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like someone like from Mama's family. <laughs> it's not a new, it's not a new contraction. <laughs> no, it's been around. around. We been should around start for a while. making some new contractions. You know? <laughs> Why not? Wint. 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 Shouldn't we better? <laughs> Let us. Why wouldn't I have done it there? <laughs> no. Why didn't? Uh, Why didn't? Why didn't? All right. You can't help me now. Buy the both. Take it away, guys. Anytime you establish a world of your own, you get thrown. Try and answer a bomb with a calm undertone, alone. I wanted you to know that I put up a fight. But everything goes missing when they dim the light The catastrophic sinking of the windless sky But even you can't help me now You can't help You can't help me now You can't help Anytime you establish your need to atone, you're prone. Down the tracks you can map on the seams of your own. you 
seen is like a second sight. We've been hammered in the balance of a poor birth man. And you can't help me now. You can't help. You can't help me now. You can't help. I know if you could come around again, you would. But baby, I can see you in this neighborhood. Even you can't help me now. You can't help. You can't help me now. You can't help. You can't help me now. You can't help me now. Ah, yes, very nice. Lovely song, lovely song. Love songs with contraction. (laughs) Um, and that was a great song. I enjoyed that one. Uh, what, what's what's the writing process behind that song? That was the first song we wrote together. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so wait, take me through this. Lunchtime, you guys arrive at someone's house. Whose you, house did you're you on write break? Uh, this was we wrote via mostly via email yeah, since we don't live distance. in the same town. Or how village. do you write a song via email? Like well, somebody, this chord, this chord, that chord. Somebody or what has do you to do? come up with an initial stem, yeah. initial mm. chunk, and then throw are it there to the attachments other involved? There are indeed attachments. Voice memo attachments. Yes. Ah. Oh. Yeah. sent back and you forth. Uh, and Amy. Um, Sent me a verse and chorus and said, "Okay, you know, do see what you can put do with, your Ted see what you can magic do with or or jumping off from this. You Polish know, this make, turd. We can't, that seems <laughs> can't, no, be no, like. can't be done. Can't be done. You can't. Seems have a judgment attached unnecessarily. <laughs> Did you change it all and then send it back? And then was Amy like, "What? The, it was pretty well, good to begin with. Well, this the, this particular song actually was I I I jumped off from the point where. Amy had left it, and um, it was it was really the first time that I've ever collaborated with anybody at, at this level, and um, it was terrifying. Mm. <laughs> and uh, you know, because Amy sent Amy sent back some notes. Oh, to me. I hate that you call not, them notes. Well, now I would we're say getting into it. It's like the newlywed game. Comments <laughs> we're hit or each other with big yeah, no, I mean, friendly <laughs> friendly chit chat. Well, all I'm saying is that yeah. initially, and she had to improve. She was right, and I I did need to work on my or maybe some questions offerings and and uh-huh. uh, you know tighten them up and make them better. And <laughs> getting over that hurdle, which was a fifty foot flaming right. hurdle for me, but I but getting over it was great because from that point on. I, we really, I think we really like trust each other in the writing, and we can, we know that we're, we know that we have each other's best interests and like the, the best interest of the song, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, At yeah. Art, so. yeah. You guys trust each other Absolutely. in the writing. Do you trust each other with your lives? I would trust oh, you with my life. Question. Let's find out. Oh what? <laughs> put, what please, you put that gun I have away. a wolf of PPK. What are you doing? And a Beretta twenty five caliber. Choose. <laughs> Wait, so they each choose one, or they collectively choose There's one? There's one of each. Okay. I'll tell you one that's a little bit more stopping power. <laughs> <laughs> but now, what do you hope? The, are yeah, they supposed to shoot at each yeah, other? What is going to happen? Yeah. I'm the gamesman. I don't know. I just I just make frolic. Mm, can <laughs> I say you're a terrible gamesman? I dare say you can. You haven't established any sort of rules or even procedures for this game. You're lucky they've chosen their weapons, old boy. <laughs> I might have a crack at you. All right, well, so you guys each have a weapon, and uh, we'll figure out exactly <laughs> yeah. what's going so to happen with these. For, yeah. for later, for later, yeah. off air. So now, uh, you guys are musicians, and uh, look, you're some of the best at what you do. But then there are musicians who sort of transcend that. And uh, <laughs> yeah. we have yeah. one of them on, on yeah. the program right now, and this must be a big thrill for you guys. I'm, I'm a little bit in awe. Yeah, we're, 
I mean, you guys sell They're out, the you know, d- d- town halls and, you know, Vin- concert bonds, clubs. Towns, villages. <laughs> sure. And I saw this the woman. Los Angeles barn. <laughs> <laughs> San Fernando Parish. I saw this woman at the Hollywood Bowl. You guys ever play the Hollywood Bowl? Yeah, you're making you me doing? blush. You're making me blush all this. I love ridiculous. to see you blush. I love, I love it. I, I write my songs the same way. I, I send emails to myself. Really? Yes. We, we all write music the same way. It's all emails these days, even if you're a solo artist. <laughs> um, and, uh, of course, you need no introduction because we're all looking at you and people recognize your voice, but uh, the great Bjork is here. Thank you very much. It's, it's good to see you, Amy. We started out in New Wave together. Yes, you of the Sugar Cubes and you of Till Tuesday. Yes. Was there a Sugar Cubes Till Tuesday rivalry going on? No, I think no. there should have been. Because, uh, Actually, we uh, we joined in the. You might not remember we joined in a brawl against uh, Banana Rama and Bow Wow Wow. <laughs> what? Banana Rama and Bow Wow Wow? Yes. You guys joined together yeah. in sort of a street fight. Well, Till Tuesday and Sugar Cubes band together to fight them. Oh my goodness! Who you won? Were Till we cubes. did, of course. Well, we Till had, Cubes Day. We had the weapons. <laughs> yes, and I, I get fucking crazy when I fight. Oh my god! Okay, Bjork. All right. Yeah. My goodness. I fucking go I know, Yes, I know you do. I know you do. My goodness, Bjork. Uh, uh, happy, happy, merry uh, holidays. Merry Christmas. We. It's one of the most wonderful uh, holidays for Iceland, as mm. you can imagine. I can only imagine. I mean, uh, it must be like Christmas every day of the year there. Well, it's a li- I see what you're saying, but actually the kids, the children of Iceland, they dream of waking up on Christmas morning and looking out the windows and seeing the green grass finally one day. Yeah, yeah or the beach, I bet. They just they wish... Just surf music. Oh, that sounded like hillbilly incest music to me. <laughs> hillbilly incest music? No, 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 no. Kind of same. Oh. Like a dueling banjo. Yes. But I felt like you would do a wipeout, perhaps. Yeah, something like that. But uh, that brings up the question, are you ever going to do dueling banjos on one of your records? I, I will send an email to myself to find out. Please do. I would love to hear you play it that. It certainly That's, did bring up that question. That's one of the greatest duets of, in all of music. I mean, and, and yeah. Amy and Ted, you guys... Uh, traffic in duets, but dueling banjos. Do you ever just l- listen to that and get inspired and go, that's what a duet is all about? Before ev- every show, <laughs> actually. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, Bjork, yes. what uh, exactly is happening with you? I noticed you you brought an instrument of some sort, just like Amy and Ted did. I did, but you know, I wanted to share that our culture, though we share Christmas, it is a little different. Like I said, we dream of a green Christmas mm. and... Uh, on Christmas, we take instead of give. I know giving. Is Uncle a good Christmas, question. don't you see? Yeah, awesome. That's what he does. Yeah, yes. but then he gives. Stealing. But he yes. gives yeah. and takes. Yeah, but yes. you, are you trying to say Just that, that traits. Christmas is well, is almost like the opposite in 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 uh, Iceland? It's just different. It's like, just different. Why I bought my guitars? I wanted to play a song which you celebrate. And certainly, it would have nothing to do with what we're talking about. Uh, the fact that Christmas is so different. This song that you're about to play is that true? It is going to have something to do. It with is. That. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Why are you being an asshole? <laughs> what? Did I say differently? No, no. Oh, I just I had no idea that the, what we were talking about would tie into this yes. so like, so well. I'm being very linear. Yes. <laughs> Actually, you have this uh, little drummer boy song that you sing. One of my time. favorite songs. I yes. love it. Parumpa pum pum. Yes. We also sing the song, but because we vilify the little drummer boy. Really? In Iceland, the drummer boy, you call someone a little drummer boy if they bring a cheap gift. <gasps> if they try to cheap out on a gift, you say, oh, how did that, a little drummer boy. How did that start? Is it because no one liked it when the drummer boy brought just a song? Let's it's go like, through it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to skip the first verse. Why is I, that? I kind of, well, do you want to do it? Yeah, I want to do it. It takes a long time. <laughs> of the song we've never heard. Does it have any contractions? <laughs> no, it's still the same lyrics. Oh, okay. Yes, so, it's, so the court uh, stipulates. Um, oh, okay. They, let's all sing, right? Oh, First, is, is you, it? you know the words. Okay. okay. Come, I, they told me, pa rum pa pum pa. A newborn king to see, pa rum pa pum pa. Finest gifts we bring, pa rum pa pum 
Okay, so I'll cut it off right there. So it's okay. all going great, right? Yeah. The Love kings it. have come. Everyone is enjoying Jesus. themselves. It's great. And yeah. that's the end? No, the drummer boy hasn't shown up uh, yet. Right. He makes an entrance, this drummer boy. So here comes the little drummer boy. <laughs> little baby pum pum pum. Oh boy, too. Pa -rum -pa -pam -pam. Let's stop there. Isn't that rude? Yeah. I am a poor boy too. It's Imagine like someone it all back to himself. Or if you showed up at someone's party, you know, and you said, "I'm a poor boy too. I brought some Pabst Blue Ribbon." That'd be <laughs> insulting, right? Yeah. You could probably just bring the beer. You wouldn't have to say. You're right. Why? You know, why point it out? You don't have to point it out. It's, you probably could weird. just go to the if party. The person's poor. They know. Yeah. Just, and if the just party's say, busy enough, you could probably just sneak the Pabst into the refrigerator without anyone knowing that you actually brought it. And then you take a Heineken. Right? <laughs> exactly. Right. Right. Why That's don't just? I'm a young boy too. Yeah, that would be better. I'm from Bethlehem like as well. <laughs> it's not it's, so long ago I was a baby. It's weird. Yes, exactly. Why is he trying to one-up him? That's my question. It's like, just uh, the focus should be on the baby Jesus, right? Like, right. why start talking about yourself? Well, presumably that's why everyone showed up. Yeah, that's true. I have no gift to bring pa rump up. Then why are you here? Yes. <laughs> I have no... Who asked you here? We have kings... Why do we need yeah. poor boys showing up? We have frankincense. Up? We have myrrh. Gold. It's, Gold al it's already crowded with all the animals. Yes. We don't need just boys showing up. Poor, yeah. rich, otherwise. There's kings, a few shepherds. And the Make animals, room. we could kill the animals for food. You know, if they didn't bring it. That's, that's a little that's gruesome a, for a birthday too party. Far there. I'm just saying. I'm yeah. with you. Big game. Big game. <laughs> Too late before the king. Pa -pam -pam -pam. Pam -pam -pam -pam. Pam -pam pam 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 So he's laid it out. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. So it's like, okay. But okay, why is he thanks still for talking? checking in. Goodbye. Yeah. But no. I shall play for you. Oh. Pa -pam 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 -pam. Uh. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. I don't know if any of you got through childbirth. The last thing you want right afterwards is a, someone banging on a drum. <laughs> hey, it's not like Please. he even had an accompanist. No. It's like someone like banging on a drum. At least just bring someone who'd like uh, on a clarinet. Well, or right, and if you melody. remember the third verse, they talk about the ox and the lamb kept time. They're keeping the time. That's what the drummer does. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Right. What the fuck? We don't need four drummers in here. Maybe it's like they're a metronome, sort of keeping him on time so he doesn't play faster. It pisses me off! I'm sorry, Bjork. I'm sorry. You show up. It'd be like if you, Scott, showed up to a Christmas party and said, I, oh, I'm... I'm an asshole like you. Ha 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 ha. I have no gifts to bring. Oh, I write sketch comedy. I wrote your little sketch. I mean, that, here's, you know a, here's a four page sketch for you. Laughter sometimes can cure even the. And then imagine the house cats and the house dogs also wrote a sketch. <laughs> right. <laughs> Everyone wrote a fucking sketch. A sketch that was happening at the same time as your sketch. Exactly. That's yeah. how Mad TV was born. <laughs> Quincy <laughs> Jones. Mad. That's right. That's how he started it. Oh, my gosh. You're right. Uh, this is a terrible song. Yeah, I think I made my point. I'm not going to do the third verse. No, oh, please. please, please, please no, come please, on. Who wants to do, please, do, do something part. else? Do we'll what? keep time. All right. We all have to join <laughs> in on time. this one then. This one gives clue that everyone thought that the little drummer boy was a little Asperger. <laughs> <laughs> they had that diagnosis back then. Do you, yes. He's on the spectrum. Jack Asperger. <laughs> Mary nodded. Put rum pa pum pum. <laughs> she nodded. <laughs> nodded. She's she like, kind of looked right. at everyone like, All know right, what's little going drummer on boy. here. Okay. Let's humor the drummer boy. <laughs> the ox and lamb kept time. Pa rum pa pum pum. How are you talking about that? <laughs> it's been established. I played my drums for him. Pa rum pa pum pum. Once again, all about him and his drums. Does he have a full kit? Yeah, yeah exactly. I just always, one yeah. I, always, drum. I always pictured it as just, just like one a drum. drum. I'll play my drum. Yeah, yeah. he's yeah. a cocktail. Not to kit, rush. You know. 
Oh, a little cocktail kit. Yeah, a little fun. stand-up bass drum. Sure. Yeah. Hi-hat. Yes. I played my best for him. Way, way, way. I did my best. <laughs> we assumed you did your best. Yeah, you just put it in the lyrics of the song. Anything what less if, than that would be insulting. What if he'd said, I held back a bit. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What if Amy and Ted, in the middle of their song, they go, we're singing our best right now. <laughs> Just let everybody know we're doing our best. I do think that more songs should have commentary on the song. We have a wonderful song on our program, the closing of the plug bag theme, where we comment on it afterwards. We say that's a good song several times. Several <laughs> times. <laughs> Three at this point. <laughs> Three and counting. <laughs> Three. Oh, I'm hoping to get up there. Here's Absolutely. the final line. Then he smiled at me, pa rum pa pum pum. Now this is a baby. <laughs> yeah, he's just having gas. <laughs> it's smiling. It's contorting its face. It's it's. It really has no neck control at this point. <laughs> Who knows? It's lolling its head around. Who knows how it, what it's reacting to? Maybe the ox keeping time is more impressive <laughs> to the baby Jesus. Honestly, if I were there, and I'm excited. First of all, this is the savior of all mankind being born. Like that's a big deal. Right. Yeah. But then also, I'm looking over, and like this ox is <laughs> exactly. like banging out a rhythm, like. With the lamb. Hey, everybody, check out the ox and the <laughs> yeah. lamb. They shouldn't even be in the same room together. No. I know this virgin just, you know, gave birth, but look at this ox actually, like, like keeping time to a rhythm. I'd That's be saying a more. bunch of crazy stuff is happening today. Yeah, definitely. I think Mercury's someone, in retrograde. I think someone's mistaking ox and time for keeping rhythm. I think they're stamping in annoyance from having to yes. listen to this jam session in the middle of yes. the night. Exactly. But you don't think it ever syncs up with no, the drum? No, I don't think it ever syncs up. I think it's complete wishful thinking on the part of the drummer boy who's clear he was already apologizing several times in his lyrics. It is his story. Lyrics. That's true. Yeah. He knows it's, it's wrong. I like you bring up it's late at night, too. They follow the, the start of, the of this thing. It's the yeah. middle of the yeah. night. It's not the place Time for Time for a jam session. But, but to wants, be fair, the innkeeper the didn't let them in. Maybe <laughs> let's make some noise and fuck with the oh, rest of the True. Okay. True. Yeah. This is a terrible song. It is. It so is. let it be a lesson, and I'll end with this, that if you do not, if you are poor and you have no cash to spend on, you know, maybe a Starbucks card or some iTunes, make a card, just a nice card, and just what you're feeling about the person. That's yes. always nice. And who doesn't have like a dollar fifty to spend on a card? Exactly. You know what I mean? Well, that's a bit classist because some people don't even have that. Well, that's what cards cost think about now. Those. They cost a dollar fifty. I don't even know these. I don't even look at prices More anymore. Sometimes, cards. if you if you get a card that's got like a nice uh, sparkly embossment on it, I mean that could run you six dollars. Do you have any with little recorded songs in them when you open them and it's a jolly treat? Yes, we do. Ah, just a guess. Wait, are you Len? Are you working at a card store this <laughs> holiday season? <laughs> Every year, you know how Andy Kaufman used to be a busboy at Jerry's <laughs> I Tell do. Me. I love that story. Every year I work at a Hallmark store. You don't say. Selling cards to people. For how many days? Uh, I do it for the entirety of December. <laughs> so all 31 days? All 31 Even days. Even after Christmas? That's right. Same with Leap Year. <laughs> well, because there's a lot of, yes. Okay. And there's a lot of cheapskates that buy their, their Christmas cards oh, on sale for the following year. For the following the year. day after Christmas. How do they know they're still going to be, you know, in date or what? How do they know they'll have Christmas Oh, yeah, because every next Christmas year. card is dated. Merry Christmas 2014. <laughs> Yeah. They probably scratch them out. <laughs> white out, put a five in there. Well, my goodness, Bjork, that was, thank you so much for the lesson about uh, th this Christmas. Thank you for sharing my culture with me on this special holiday. Now, you, you, uh, this is your culture where you play songs that are bad and then you comment on them? Is that what happens in during? You know what? I thought we had a nice ending. You're just, <laughs> I, I thought it was all. You're yeah. just doing what now the drummer boy a did. you fucking asshole. Oh, you're not bad. You're not bad. All right, well, we do have to take a break. Asshole. Speaking of endings, <laughs> Bjork, I know you're quick to tell. All right, all right. Uh, we have to take a break. When we come back, we'll have more Comedy Bang Bang after this. <laughs> comedy Bang Bang, we are back. Uh, and uh, this is very exciting. We talked to him a little bit before. He went to Johns Hopkins. He's a, uh, I'm, I can't remember if he currently is a doctor. I don't know that we ever got to it. I am a physical therapist. Physical therapist. Oh, that's right. Stanley. That's right. Please welcome Stanley Chamberlain. You remember Stanley. Yes, that's right. Gino. Gino. We were on an yes. episode before. Oh, you were on yeah, an episode hey. with Claudio Doherty, uh, uh, I believe. And, yeah, uh, and the shaman guy. The shaman, the shaman guy. guy. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. right. 
Yes, I am. Stanley Chamberlain. I'm a physical therapist, and I am here to talk about physical therapy. Okay, great. Yeah. Because well, we barely got to we it last We barely got time. to it last time. We had a digression, which was fine, and I what was, was happy. What was it about? To... I wasn't on this episode. You should have buried the lead. And, uh... It was about a satanic initiation right at Johns Hopkins. Ooh, that medical. sounds very interesting, actually. Not Let's important. get into that, because I not wasn't Im- Not important to your whole thing, though. It's not important to our whole thing. We dug into it a lot last time. <laughs> Are and... you from Johns Hopkins as well? No, no, I'm I'm from Connecticut. Uh, In fact, after going to Johns Hopkins, I went to Southern Connecticut State Medical School so I could have a more normal medical school experience. Because your medical school experience got very crazy. Since at Johns Hopkins, it was so crazy. On the first day, there was a satanic ritual deep by the Earth's core. Oh, wow. I was like, no, let's let's have a normal medical school experience. I went to Southern Connecticut State University after I graduated and matriculated from Johns Hopkins. I graduated and matriculated. I graduated and matriculated. Well, you wouldn't do it in that order. You wouldn't do it in that order. You wouldn't do it in that order. You went twice? I went to Johns Hopkins twice. Four years apiece? Wait, yes. four years, or did you premature matriculate? I uh, Four years the first time, and then I premature matriculated in two years the second time. Huh. I know you're making a did you have to go through? Option. Did you have to go the second <laughs> time totally. you went there? Did you have to go through the same initiation? Yes. I hate to get that's okay. back onto the no, initiation stuff. No, 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 that's stuff. okay. Yeah, I had to go through the initiation where I killed people with machetes a second oh, time. Oh, gosh. Yeah. For the devil? Uh, some man who it was, was a, wearing it was like a goat head, a dean. goat head, stag horned. Did man. you ever find out whether it was the devil in, infecting your instructor, or I never found out. I, I used to see that guy around after you the, should, the right. You we should just, find out. I should, I should dig into it and find yeah, out. Yeah, whether you were doing this, you know, the bidding of uh, of a the dark, dark underlord, underlord, which I suppose in a way is an event bigger than myself, or was I just duped into committing murder for a mundane normal man? <laughs> exactly. But I mean, like the solution to that, you think, you think <laughs> not physical normal, therapy. but he's, he's just a guy. He's no, a normal physical guy. therapy. You're not possessed the idea by a demon, you're normal. Helping yes. people with their physicality is nothing compared to, like, resolving this for yourself. I, I guess think. I could go become a life of a demon hunter, but I, I'm really passionate about physical therapy, yeah. so I feel like it's a calling. Do you feel like it balances out the times that you ended someone's physicality? I think that I meant to do it, so in a way, yes, I'll be committing good karma for the... 10 to 20 people I have macheted to death yeah. in my Fellow education students. at Johns Hopkins. Fellow students. What'd you do? Yeah. Cut the heads off? Some of them I cut the heads off. Some of them I lap. I just hacked at their arms until they That's bled fucked. out. Mm. We were all medical off. students, and it was, you know, only the strong survive yeah. satanic initiation. Did you find in any way that you were kind of butchering them for their meat? This is really making me think of Juicy Omaha steak <laughs> available for sixty nine ninety five ten steak. Hey, I don't know uh, if you put, want a segue off the murder. Put me down for ten. Put me down for ten. I love a good steak. <laughs> Seventy bucks. Uh, yes, I think you know when you're if you've never murdered before, and I certainly hadn't. And you're have thrust- you murdered since? Only in the two initiation Got it. rights. Oh, okay, so uh, have you ever killed a patient accidentally? Yes. <laughs> in, physical in physical therapy? therapy. Yes. <laughs> okay. But so I don't consider slaughter. that murder because it wasn't intentional. I was right. trying to help the person and I just got too With, excited. Like, a let's talk, about, let's or... talk about that, actually. Like, yes, How did you okay. kill a a patient while you were doing physical therapy. Uh, I had a mailman in with a mild sprain in his calf. <laughs> okay. And I was like, this seems like a simple massage is all you need. You know, we just have to let this heal on your own. Why don't you let me, you know, you probably could just walk around, it'll heal. But why don't, you're here, I'll give you a little massage, work out some of the soreness. Okay. One thing led to another. I would say, yeah, the, the fact that he came to the appointment, the whole, you're here, we may as well do this, that makes sense. It does make sense. <laughs> do a lot of people so make appointments and not show up? Yes. I have I'm a sorry, huge... And again, I'm sorry. Oh, the, yeah. Uh, for my business, is uh, it's been up and down. Yeah. And a lot of people make appointments and don't well, show Gino, up. Well, Gino, because of your basketball tournament, I'm sure you're you, you were pretty sore. Oh, Come yeah. by my clinic. I, I need to, yeah. I got yeah. folded up the hey, other day by wait, my stepdad. You step might leave and dead. I, uh, we need to hear this story. We're friends. Yeah, what Come happened by, the... no charge if you want to come You referred to wow. yourself as being folded <laughs> up? Yeah, my stepdad folded me up pretty bad. Uh, like a gap sweater? Uh, yeah, well, I wish it was like a gap sweater. Like it a was, hideaway bed? Yeah, it was. he folded me in half once at the waist. Oh, then wow. in half again at oh, the no. shoulders and uh, wow. hamstrings, oh, wow. and then in half the long ways. Oh. So my butt cheeks were completely uh, wide cheek? open. No, the other way. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's okay. Completely that's open. That's the worst. And then he f- spun me around and was going. <laughs> Who, 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 in my bandage. open asshole? Like yeah, a jug band to me. Like yeah. I've done jug band to me. Uncle Scott, like you a do that with me band. all the time. <laughs> well, I did. I never knew the term for it. But you release the music on iTunes. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a cover of When the Winter's Hot and the Rain. So and we have a special program for people who have been jug banded. We can <laughs> oh, we you. fold you the other way. We put a lot of heavy encyclopedias on you to flatten you. Oh, out. that's oh, wow. what I that's what I need. It that's works like I a charm. Yes. So what happened with the mailman? So he had a mild sprain in his calf. Sure. And this no, is we've actually, already covered this. This is a friend of mine, and he came by, and I'm. He's a friend. Well, he's a mailman, and we've become friends. I chat. Wait, with wait, him wait. He, well, what came first? Yeah. 
He was a mailman first, but I would always chat with him when he dropped off. Okay, the mail. so that's not a friend. That's you know he I delivers guess an your mail. But a warm. I felt it's like we would be friends. He, he enjoyed that. He yeah, enjoyed being talked to. If he stopped okay. being your mailman, would you still ha- would he still hang out with you? I think it th- we've never done it, but I think we could oh, wait, do it. This well, is the he's you dead, killed. but he's dead. Now. Okay, but like, sorry. Yes, I felt like we had the vibe that that would have happened. Did you go to was alive and you didn't kill him and you stop being a mailman? Would he still come to your house at the exact same time every day except Sunday? Um, I would like to think that he'd go out of his way to maintain the friendship. I used to start playing. Planning when he would come by and wait by the mailbox to talk to him. That okay, is you're like so a, sad. Yeah, you're like a dog. That's very sad. Did I you guess go- so? I mean, I saw. What just, would you plan? Like, what kind of stuff? I would sort of. I'd be there with like conversation topics that I knew would interest him, or oh. I would deliberately Oof. have something weird on my face so he would have something to ask about. Whoa, How would you? That one's okay, weird. so that's what this is then. Yes. Yeah. The weird on my face right now. Yeah, right. the Gorbachev tattoo that you. Yeah. Got? Sometimes yeah. I'm like, well, I it's a tattoo he, of his whole body, not this just is a his birth tattoo mark. of the full figured <laughs> Gorbachev. <laughs> my forehead and on that tattoo on its forehead is a little tattoo that actual Gorbachev had. Okay, but it's a tattoo. It's not this a birthmark. It's, birth. it's a tattoo that he had? This is a tattoo. It was a birthmark and then he outlined it just so people could Yeah, Gorbachev <laughs> got that birthmark tattooed. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And he started to he started to lose it. It was like his that. trademark. He wanted everyone to know who He's like, was. I don't want to well, lose And he this. tattooed the ta- the birthmark and then TM'd yeah, the trademark. Just tattoo. because if a lot of people were getting that same tattoo. Yeah. 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 So it's like, like the oh, Dennis, yeah, or yeah. like uh, the Mike Tyson. the Mike Tyson face tattoo. I have a question about the mailman. Okay. How did he die? That's mine. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> okay, yeah. but did you, go, you go to his funeral? Yes. So you are. I felt so terrible. Close I enough. felt terrible. I, I love this man. So I did not wish to kill. Now him. you loved him. <laughs> I loved him. You were arguing whether he was your a friend or an acquaintance. You went really to his head. Escalated. Did you give a speech at the on. funeral? Yes, I demanded to. Okay. <laughs> you demanded. demanded so they didn't to. want you to. No, I was not welcome at the funeral. The charges <laughs> so you were the, pending. You the graduated <laughs> this man's funeral? Yes. The charges were pending or are pending? They were and are pending. <laughs> okay, so it is still not. <laughs> so I'm not decided. a murderer because I'm. You were. You haven't been sentenced. You're still hoping for manslaughter. You're still a murderer because of the initiations. I wouldn't even call it manslaughter. I would say I would say it's a crime of passion. Oh crap. Okay. Oh, how boy. did how did he, yeah. you start giving him a massage? He came in, he said, "Hey, let's We know the beginning." <laughs> he came in. <laughs> He I'll tell you what, I'm about to door. get to the end part. I'm he about to commit a crime of passion in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking hot. Good to see you. Good to be here. This is hot. This is like a Cinemax movie. So this mail, is fucking hot. He opens the door. He comes in. He's got a mild spray. <laughs> yes, we know. It's mild. Please, cut to, <laughs> smash cut to, in fact, the part where you're rubbing. Smash cut to. Wait, I don't think right well, now during the writer's yes, situation we oh, can use allowed to stuff do like that. that. Oh, How yeah. did he get in? Oh, he walked in the question. door. No, good question. He parked did in the he parking make a, lot. Did he make a, an appointment or was this a walk-in? Is it a walk-in He had clinic? an appointment. He had an appointment. Okay. Was and it then under he also his wa- real name or did he use an alias? I never knew his real name. How did you know so he had an appointment? You, you never knew his real name? You, you said it was you. a crime of passion. I and called him Skips. <laughs> you so skips. Why did you call him Skips? He had a little skip at his gate. He would what, sort of not walk. in his he, step, he had a but in jaunty, his gait. He had a jaunty little like hop now and then when he would walk, and I'd be, "Hey, Skips," and he's like, "You know it." So you gave a speech at a funeral for a man's name. You didn't I know didn't his know his name. name. <laughs> Skips is what Scott calls intellectual properties. <laughs> what? I yeah, it's a, it's a heavy work. <laughs> it's not. I'll have to think about that joke later, and I'll get, I get it. it. I'll get it after totally I get it. I'm doing it. the work right now, and I'm loving it. <laughs> so what? That's what the chalkboard is for. He walks yep. in. He walks. In. Yes, we know he has he walks the appointment. In. He, has, he has a mild spray, and I'm yes. like, this is gonna make us friends. This is like our non. You, so you were not friends at this point. Wait, so you're in the clinic? He's in the clinic already. He's in the. This clinic is the already. day he dies, and you're not friends yet. I knew that. I considered him my lover. Okay. <laughs> Emotionally. Emotionally. Sure. So you're you targeted romantically, you're a perhaps. Psycho. I- What's You're that? a psycho. Could be. You targeted a disabled be. man for an emotional affair and then murder. <laughs> it could be. I you mean, said it, he was your lover. That wouldn't be what, how he would describe what it. They taught it's like us a Mopey situation. What they taught us at Johns Hopkins is morality is extremely subjective. Can I ask you a question? When he showed up, <laughs> when he showed up at the clinic to get his massage, did he know you would be his physical therapist? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, that's, that must have been... Imagine for Skips how imagine terrifying... Skips. How he terrifying this would be. How did he, he get the sprain? <laughs> uh, I tripped him. <laughs> oh, God. okay. From See, a distance. It's like I from a, you, Wait, wait, wait. From, from a, a distance. distance. With a blow dart. Uh, with a oh, blow dart. With a blow. Okay. Into his calf. He tripped and fell over. And okay. then I lobbed a business card at him with the address of my clinic. 
Okay. Ten okay, seconds wait. later, he walks in. Ten seconds this later? <laughs> Ten seconds this later. This happened at your home. In front of my home is my clinic. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. So you gave him a business card for the place he was at? <laughs> yep, but he didn't put it together because he was disoriented. <laughs> he just thought it was a happy coincidence. I assume. He looked happy. He was trying to skip. Did you give him a happy coincidence <laughs> at the end of the massage? I told yeah, him it's my it, policy it, it to murder. offer a happy coincidence. <laughs> That's where you both accidentally come at the same time. <laughs> That's right. We jerk each other off and I I try also, to time it that we both come. Also known as the Robert And I'm like, oh, who'd have thought that would happen? That's Nothing what you have says to say. come together like big Omaha steaks. Oh, no. I'll have another 10. I'm telling you. These are <laughs> He's down for 20. Give me 20 of those steaks. That's going to be one. 38. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm just, good for it. 139.90. Just Venmo yeah. it to I'm the bobblehead guy dash. You know it. Two, three, four, six of one. Half dozen, half dozen of another. Are we done? <laughs> Yeah, and, then, and then you could give it. Then you could give it to her. <laughs> oh, I'll give it to her. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute, as Darren, as you are married. <laughs> I know. Hey, this guy tricked the disabled man. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're, you're right. We shouldn't be casting. He disabled him. the man and then tricked frame. him. So what happened after you both uh, achieved climax? Uh, I never got to after him. I usually did. He do get to the house. Yes. How did he, did he go inside? He walked up to the door. <laughs> oh, dear. He opened the door. He came inside. <laughs> oh. No, oh, I, no, no, no. Walked oh, inside. He walked inside. Oh, okay. he didn't come we down never the got chimney. to the happy coincidence. So I would have offered him that. I was going to end with a happy coincidence, which would have cemented our friendship. It's not a happy okay. ending. It's a happy coincidence. Did I miss that? Yes, yes. you did. <laughs> what have you been doing? I love that you're tuning in and out while Jesus on the show. Jesus Christ. That's a God. But we do appreciate you that's asking a, follow-up that's questions. That's a callback from 90 seconds ago. <laughs> it was not where, long ago. Where were you just now? It was very, <laughs> it was very recently we established that. I have to be allowed to think about other oh. stuff. Todd's oh. in a Todd's fully a puddle right now. We need to rehydrate. Cut oh. two. Yes. Oh, thank he God. He consents to letting me massage his leg. He's like, well, if this makes it, because he didn't know that I did it. He's like, well, if this helps, because he was scared when he saw that it was me. Right. But I was like, hey, I'm an expert. Just let me massage your leg. You'll feel better. Let's see where this goes. And okay. in med school, you learn that massages are good for blowgun dart w injuries? <laughs> yes. Okay. At Johns Hopkins, they were like, massages is usually the first line of defense in most medical okay. problems. So what Morality is extremely subjective. <laughs> right. Try a massage. So what happens during the massage or after? What? Uh, I start to he... massage his calf. Sure. And I'm like, it's happening. We're becoming friends. This is going to take us beyond the mailman customer You've already jerked off together. You think you heard it on Never happened. Not yet. No, oh, not yet. I was going okay. to offer it. Okay. Right. Okay. Never happened. You don't care that and I got he excited. doesn't know what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Roast him. <laughs> Drag him. Drag my ass queen. <laughs> your ass queen. Wait, do you worship an ass queen? What's your queen? ass queen? <laughs> of course. I, do we, we really want to start talking about ass queen right now? Radio buttocks. No, I want to know how this goddamn male man. I got excited. Okay. And I thought... The only I, I need this to be a real permanent relationship. The only ritual that could come to mind for very serious matters is a machete fight to the death. Okay. okay. And I brought out a machete. Um, okay. Oh no. Lined up my shot. Just what? Just one. Was, he was not armed. He was and not. Where does the crime of passion come in? Because <laughs> I was excited. <laughs> was, okay. Okay. And I sliced his jugular vein. Oh. Okay. Okay. Wait. His and, juggalo vein. His juggalo vein. His not juggalo yet. vein. And then his his Fago vein. started whoop, spraying whoop. out. <laughs> his juggalo Fago vein cream is, uh, soda starts spraying. Miracles are everywhere. Rack and cry. Wow. And then he died. <laughs> and then he died. Wow. Yeah, and charges are still pending because there was no witnesses. Wait. So when did the happy coincidence happen? <laughs> Never happened. So what? A, you lied about achieving climax? I would have offered it and normally do offer it to my clients. So this right. murder was a lot like your initiations at John Hopkins. I guess it did end up like that. It's I've never put similar. that together. You really? Okay. Yeah. So anyway. Uh, and I'm it's still pending despite the murder happening in your home. That's right. And despite <laughs> this current, do you think this episode will be used in the trial? Yeah. I'm hoping that people take this podcast not seriously enough for it to be yeah. admitted. Yeah, I satirical. Have, I have great news. Well, I got news. If you ever read Reddit, motherfuckers take this shit seriously. <laughs> well, unless For a lot of people, this is their lives. <laughs> I just hope the lawyers of my trial are not fans of the show. Yeah. Well, I mean, stand your ground laws being what they are. I think you'll be okay. Hey, I appreciate that. Yeah, no and problem. And it's great to be on the show. My yeah. practice has had an uptick in clientele since my last appearance. Oh, good. Well, we don't, have time, we don't have any more time oh, to okay. talk well, about. Oh, okay. Well, next time I'll get into my actual practice. <laughs> okay, great. But thanks for having me. Yeah, well, uh, wonderful. Uh, we do Merry need Christmas. To get Mer oh, thank you so much. It's so uh, nice to hear from you. I don't think we can say Merry Christmas. Oh, so. sorry. Oh, okay. The war on Christmas being what it is. All right. Well, we Happy holidays. Ninja Christmas. Yeah. Yes. You could just say that, right? We do need to get to our next guest. Uh, Great. 
I believe it's a he is a baker and he was from uh, Shreveport. Shreveport. <laughs> I'm from Shreveport. <laughs> Howdy, howdy, Scott. Howdy, everyone. Etouffee etu is It's here. me, Etouffee, the owner and proprietor of the Bayou Bakery down on the brass. Has been on one episode and was so popular, we so popular. had her back. love me. <laughs> I think you could say. I want to say something to all my friends in here. Oh, sure. I brought holiday muffins. Oh, Can you smell that? But so these aren't just any kind of muffin. These are gumbo muffins. Gumbo muffins. That's okay. right. So that sounds good. Instead My- of blueberries, they've got sausage, beans, and rice. They sound good. Mixed into the bottle. The one thing that we need to <laughs> establish about Etouffee is a lot of people come on here and they have crazy ideas. <laughs> His ideas are good. He just talks funny. Yeah, I, got I heard the interview with him. I think he's weird, but the muffins I'm are regular. I'm an odd person with a regular idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, is that how your character is listed on the wiki? <laughs> It's not a character. I'm, not, it's, I'm a real person. <laughs> characterization of your personality. Person. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, we've, exactly. we've completely lost Darren to the muffins now. He's absolutely <laughs> distracted. Huh? What? <laughs> what do you think, Darren? Good to see you. Great to be here. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Yeah, I <laughs> love these. Savory muffins. Yeah, I mean, savory they're, they're no Omaha steaks, but they're they're very good. Oh. That thing says savory muffin, <laughs> like shipping a cardboard box full of meat to a loved one. Walk me through that. How does that say savory muffin? You open up the box. Box and inside is a bunch of meat, and you say, "Ooh, how about a muffin too?" I, I hey, like Tufay, that. Have you ever considered getting your muffins or any of your baked goods, I guess, out into the world? Less, not just an LA brick and mortar, but like mail order business. It seems like very popular. I think right? that was part of it. I can't uh, well, remember. Interesting use of LA as the abbreviation for Louisiana. Not yeah. Bad. Sorry, Louisiana? didn't you just say La Brea? I live here in Los Angeles. <laughs> I relocated after Katrina because that, I was Gino, not a fan of the weather. I think the bakery ass. was on La Brea. Louisiana. But you're yes. from Shreveport. I'm from Shreveport. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But here's the thing. I think that's a good idea because the my problem <laughs> is people in Los Angeles like to eat healthy, and my creations oh. are a little bit thick in the middle. <laughs> that's right. And you know what I They're mean? delicious. A li- Savory. A moment on the lips, a lifetime up your ass. <laughs> okay. That's what I say. Okay. That's, that's what, what I, I say. Now, that. That's what I say when the, my gr- on my grinder app. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A moment on these lips and a lifetime in this ass. I feel like ass. you'd more be on, like, oh, no, yeah, grinder, not scruff. Oh, I'm uh, not yeah, scruff for like no, a, I'm yeah, too not little. Gino. I wish. I got another little something if y'all want to try it. Yeah, what <laughs> yeah. do you have? Do you I've have? got turtle soup, tiramisu. <laughs> Okay. All right. okay. That sounds good. It's yeah. Okay. I'll be on. <laughs> oh, it's just okay. It's only okay. I mean, turtles are not a sweet flavor, typically. It's it true. is a salty, gamey meat from the swamp. And, and but I A thought, controversial protein as well, right? A controversial these, protein? In what days? way? Uh, lot, not a lot of people appreciate the... Killing s- turtles? <laughs> yes, exactly. That makes sense. The cuter the animal, the more people give a shit about but it. But here's the thing. Wasn't I don't kill a turtle. supposed to be the end of Entourage? Turtle was killed? <laughs> yeah, they all eat turtle soup <laughs> by accident. Uh, uh, Ari con- uh, tricks them into eating their best friend. <laughs> wow. And it's then like, he was like, Lloyd! Entourage. All right. Yeah. You're, uh, a, you're a big entourage. I'm head, a aren't big you? entourage. What fan. was your favorite episode? I like the one where um, t- uh, Vinny finds out he got the Aquaman role. <laughs> That's a, where he finds it. out. Like, you didn't yeah. like it when he filmed it. No, no, no. Just when he found out. Just wow. when he found out. I like Vince is doing the movie. He's doing the Queens Boulevard. All right. Oh, we can talk yeah. about this all day. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question. Yeah. Anybody know how to kill a turtle? You don't break the shell. You suck out the insides oh, with God. your big mouth. Oh, jeez. And that's how you kill it? <laughs> that's how you kill it. Morality is subjective. Morality, yes, sir. Wow. I like your approach to life. I turtles, to, thank you. I turtles, turtles say, kinda... you've come in here saying that you are pretty normal, but you're saying it's a pretty weird <laughs> shit. Turtles. I know. <laughs> it's this, a this, wild no, no, no. I'm that stuff he swinging. makes is normal. Uh, the stuff He's he makes weird. Is... Weird, okay. weird character, odd character. Okay, but normal Jesus, Todd, normal. pay attention, Todd. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, you're this? hungry? I got something for you. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Uh, uh what did I say before? Gumbo. <laughs> I got a jambalaya cookie for you. 
Well, that's see, a, I think wow. you're getting kind of all right. All right, just getting a little. You weird. think it's weird? Jambalaya it's cookie? Although, it's a pretty know. basic formula. I take something <laughs> Creole and I take a regular pastry and just kind of mash it together, <laughs> and then they taste delicious. It's oh, not. Right, okay. uh, I've had your catfish croissant. Well, oh, quackfish croissant. Quackfish croissant. <laughs> what did you think? It was delicious. I love that the eyeballs were still in yeah, there. Yeah, you gotta suck out the head of the croissant. <laughs> you take off the thing mm. and you go. <laughs> And it mm. transports you right back to and the, the crawfish? hover boat you made love on for your first time. Wow. The crawfish and the croissant are shaped similarly. That's right. I yeah. put pencils on the croissant. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. well, I got a question. And you eat, the, yeah. you eat the croissants in a big bag, right? You That's shake right. them up. You put them in the water and then you suck them up in a net. And right. then you eat the croissant. Shake it with some powdered sugar. What was your question? How you doing? Oh, good. <laughs> That's just hey, so good to see you. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Come on. This asshole gets like 45 minutes to talk about his shit. You don't like me, Scott? What's up? <laughs> good to see this you. This asshole. Nice to be here. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not, I was not directed at Look, you. Look, he's sticking around at you, Faye. Yeah, I was oh, yeah. directed to I anybody. I guess I can stick around, Scott, since right. you seem so excited to have my help. We have some new guests who just came to the uh, the program. Uh, they're in the shadows, though. I can't quite tell who they are. Brett, uh, fix the fucking lights. Sorry, but uh, wait, isn't that uh, who is? I know uh, you, don't I? Uh, yeah. Uh, hi, how are you? It's nice to see you, Norm. Norm Hamer from Hamer Nissan no. out of Carlsbad. Uh, not a <laughs> wasn't planning on being here today. Uh, we are actually doing the uh, the Hammer Nissan Holiday Naughty and Nice Nissan Sentra Car Giveaway Contest. Oh, okay. And this is one of our. You're one of our sponsors or something? Is that what? Uh, not yet. We can talk about that though. I'd love to. Uh, I'd love to did, get something hooked this? up. How did you just? So the answer is. I'll yeah. say this: When I'm running this show, this kind of shit's not going to happen. <laughs> Who let you in here? What? Uh, so, uh, Daryl. I don't know. <laughs> Dar- Dar- There's no one are- named Daryl. Well. Well, there was a guy named Daryl, and he let us in. He what? said, do what you want. Us? He let us in? Who else yeah. are you with? Well, I'm with the two finalists. Uh, thanks for asking, and thanks for bringing it up. Uh, these are the two finalists. We have Ming. Ming, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Ming. Oh, I'm hey, Ming. Hi. That's, yeah, that's yes. who I thought I knew. Yeah, yeah, you know me. I live in Sherman Oaks, and <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to win a car. I would love to. And you wanted to be a sports person for I a while. Did, for a minute, yeah. Yeah. Hot minute. And now I want to... Um, Win this car. Uh, don't want to be scrub anymore. You know, driving around. Sure, a scrub is a. You know. What is get, what is a scrub? Won't, won't get no love from me. Oh, yeah. Right. You're hanging out the passenger side. Yeah, well, for best, <laughs> best friends. Friend yeah. ride. A scrub is a guy who thinks he's fine. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, who is he? Also, also known, known as a, as a buster. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh. he's also known as a buster. Yeah. 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 I don't want to be a buster. Who are you? <laughs> Who was that talking with the uh, very southern drawl? Hey, my name's Keith Jones. Uh, this is going to be my sixth car this year if I can bring it home. I, uh, hope you can. I am profession. I professionally put my hands on hard bodies and. Uh, <laughs> And uh, this is just going to be one more. Unfortunately, this contest is, is going on longer than I thought it was going to. <laughs> it has to. been going on. This and contest. I don't understand why Ming is even here. He's well, not even from Carlsbad. He's from Sherman well, Oaks. You Sherman there's Oaks. no law. There's no law that you have to buy the car where you're There from. should be, and I'm trying to well, lobby for that. Now, this car, this car uh, contest has been going on since 2010. Um, we've tied... Previously, yeah, sorry, every time. Six years? Oh. You mean you've been you've been holding the contest annually since 2010? Biannually. <laughs> Wait, it twice a year or every two years? Is that twice? <laughs> <laughs> semi-annually would be every half year. Right. Are you just saying you're Sem- bi? Semi. Are you just saying that you're he, bisexual? I've seen him have yes. sex with men and women. <laughs> so you're saying you're bisexual yeah, and you wanted to get that out there. We do it once a year, but I'm bisexual. <laughs> okay. That makes, a, that makes two of us. <laughs> Bicentra. <laughs> By central. Boo. It's a centra. <laughs> no, she's right. The car is a centra. <laughs> Needle thread. It's a giveaway yeah. of the centra. <laughs> but every year we have tried I, a on. different. We've tried a different contest. We started with uh, drawing. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I we drew. had to draw the car. They had to draw the car. <laughs> and oh, who, so not a drawing. <laughs> no, a, no, but that like was a drawing of a car. In 2010, yeah. they each had to draw. <laughs> yes. They had to draw a Sentra. Who would judge? I, used I, do, I judge I, all the contests. Based on I'm, how much it looks like I it? I do or? my best to be fair. And, and honestly, they both did a wonderful job. I did People. a sketch very similar to police artist's type of sketch. No color. But of a car. No color. And I did watercolors. Yeah, so. I painted it in watercolors. Right. Like, is this from memory? 
Yes, we were yes. we were able to look at the car. Do you get 15 seconds? We get to we get to run around the car for 15 seconds and look at it, and then we get put in a room. Which was the contest the following year? They had to run around the car as fast as they could. The car. He got very he got very excited seeing us run around the car, so he made that the next contest. Yes, but every time we tied, every time they tied, it's only the two of you. Yes, we doing these contests. 2010, we've been both trying to settle this. No other. It is a 2009 Centro that we. Yes. trying to buy. It, it still it has not been win. driven, though. It, it has 12 miles on it. It's a beautiful car. Hey, it's been, uh, where did the 12 <laughs> yeah. miles go? Well, well you have to drive it from Long Beach. That's where it comes into port. <laughs> oh, oh, it's, so it's, it's coming on a ship from All Japan. our centers come in on a ship Yeah, it, from it's Japan. technically, it has, from Japan. It from has Japan. 50,000 sea miles. <laughs> the car does. Sure, so not, they don't not, count those. Not, 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 miles. And not probably miles. some Japan miles as well. Yes, New cars all a count. a lot of Japan miles. Uh, <laughs> a lot of Japan <laughs> miles? Yeah, I don't want to get into how, the number. How, what is the... What is the equation that you measure Japan miles to regular to American miles? And it's, does the car have two odometers? <laughs> this is, uh, uh, these are a lot of questions, and I'd love to answer them. <laughs> All I know is there is no tread on left on the tires. <laughs> it's supposedly a brand new car, but there is zero tread. Well, it sounds like the car's been <laughs> driven quite a lot. It, I mean, depending on how you look at it. He swears he's not rolling back the mileage, but it ha- this car has been in an accident, I can tell. <laughs> It doesn't need a little, it's a fix up a, a little bit, but it's, uh, but honestly, the point is it's a beautiful contest and somebody's going to go home. Oh, hey, Norm, just super quick. Yeah. So, so the first, the first year. Yes. Uh, was we, we heard, well, it was just a drawing. drawing. The second year was a running around the car. Now catch us up in the intervening years. Yeah. What was the contest? Wait, wait, 2012 was a deviled egg eating contest. Okay. <laughs> but we both uh, passed out. And then he. Right after eating 71 eggs. We 71. Out. They eight, eight, seven, 71 and out. 71 deviled eggs. He pumped, he pumped our our unconscious bodies, had to stomachs, pump and they were, he found a 71 egg each. Those were big. They yeah, were big eggs. Wait, no one was keeping track as they ate them? No, no we no. were in a dark room. You had to count the undigested eggs. They were still whole. There was no chewing dog. I'll take yeah, the peach fall. Star. I'll take the fall on that. This is a bad plan. you got to count them as they go into hey, the mouth. Tell me. We're five years later, and this isn't settled. It was a bad plan. <laughs> you know, after after everything there's been in the news recently about protests, it's nice to hear about a contest. Yes, thank you. Yes. Thank you, Maxwell. Uh, Can I quickly you. read the uh, uh, disclosure before we go ahead okay, with the contest? Okay, go, go ahead. And go again, ahead. it's a naughty or nice uh, story contest. They'll tell the best deed that you said. You, you say again? I don't think that you ever said this. He I've did said this several times. times. You were fielding a, a lot time of questions. I never I I have never heard an story. Just, here's the even, thing. I want to see one of these guys win a Nissan Sentra. I just need to know from 2013 to here. 2013. How did these guys compete? I think it's 2011 also. So yeah, I'd like to know what happened. We took a year off. I'd also <laughs> like to know why the first contest was 2010. They were competing for a 2009 it was a Sentra. Late, it was an older model. Uh, we tried it was to end the year uh, giveaway. We were trying to clear some space. Which is funny because it's technically a 2008. <laughs> This contest has really reinvigorated yeah. this. <laughs> Look, we don't have time to go into every contest, what? unfortunately. 2013 was a hands on a hard body. We yes. put our hands oh. on a bodybuilder's <laughs> body. My cousin Larry is an amateur uh, bodybuilder. Very amateur. Very amateur. Oh. amateur. He's, He's in D-A-W-D-Y? bad shape. He's in horrible shape. Is he just a fat guy? Yeah, it shouldn't have been called a hands on a hard body. <laughs> Once again, hands on high, a, a we tied. We tied. You tied, tied yeah. But yeah, after it just, I, I, I Did it erupt into a tickle fight? I have a question. Frosty the Snowman here. Could I have participated <laughs> in the hard body contest if I just had sticks for arms? If I'd put in sticks on the hard body, could I have been a participant? I had sticks for arms. Sure. I don't have any problem with that. I'm in, uh, I'm in on this next year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. I've always wanted a Sentra. you'll be in. But until we settle this one, we're not looking forward to a new contest. That's fair. I just okay. hope, Frosty, that by the time this car is given away, it's still street legal. <laughs> because sometimes the laws are updated and it might not have the proper... <laughs> That's breaks. That, that is true. Or, a, you know, unfortunately, we can't be responsible for that. 
Yeah. Uh, so what this, is the co- what is the contest this year? Uh, naughty or nice, and they're going to tell their best deed of <laughs> the year. Now this is the first we're hearing this. And they're K N O T T Y. And I've said, <laughs> as oh, I've it's said, a rope yeah, contest. Yeah. Do we have to tie a <laughs> knot <laughs> and then tell a nice story? Is that it? I, Could I be in it with my scarf? Got this big knot. You're just catching up on this. I have a knot in my scarf. Go ahead. Oh, actually, <laughs> do you it, need occur- me? it occurs to me that these three new people have no idea who anybody else is. <laughs> Gino, Gino, go Gino, ahead. Gino, 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 Gino. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. We got. Uh, <laughs> this is, of course, a Hawaii lesbian. No, guy. I didn't get any extra words. Uh, Aloha, <laughs> lesbian. Uh, Cruising USA, and then we have over here. We have the time guy. Um, we have uh, fake death, real death, fake death, real death, uh, real host, fake host, snowman. snowman. Not important. Let's hear more about the Nissan contest. <laughs> the anthropomorphic snow beast that's talking. <laughs> Move it on. Very quickly. I'll I'll go through some love of being the, called a beast. Uh, the disclosure. <laughs> I was going to say. I love then, it. Uh, it's a compliment. I feel okay, strong. this is the disclosure. Honestly, we want to get this out of the okay, way go and ahead. out of your hair. Go ahead. Out go of ahead. your hair. Uh, children <laughs> under the age of 13 are not authorized to post messages or participate in forum as defined below on the site. All registration. You barely hear you. <laughs> this is an, an internet forum must be disclosure. <laughs> We need the micro. We need the micro machines guy to say this fast for maintaining the confidentiality of your password. <laughs> this is <laughs> not a disclosure of a car contest. It is, is a message if board. If you suspect any unauthorized use of it, <laughs> he's reading a message board disclosure. I feel like your it's just a cut and paste of a. <laughs> yeah, you're just mumbling right here. Look, <laughs> let's get to the contest. This I is am. not a contest. This is an agreement. What? To purchase Wait, what was that? <laughs> Wait, slightly. hold on, hold on. Back up, back up. Back I said up. this is not or a contest. This is an agreement to purchase. Wait, what? This is not a contest. You're fighting for the. The right to buy the car. <laughs> That's just in the disclosure that you'll sign that has nothing to do with... They the haven't car. even signed it yet? It's been years. Well, we have to re-sign it to make it oh, legal. Oh, okay. Every year? The purchase, just, purchase agreement needs to be legal every Just to year. be clear, a 13-year-old child can enter the contest. <laughs> <laughs> no, they can. They just have to keep their password <laughs> secret. 13-year-olds okay. cannot post about it. No. Okay. All right, look, this is it's just... like oh, a reverse <laughs> lease. You've, uh, re- you've leased these men... I've owned several cars. <laughs> and a car and I re- from you. I realize now I've never set the years. password for a car. <laughs> so... Uh, We'll go ahead and first. Uh, I always quickly forget to here, set the password for my car. A uh, good deed from both. And starting now, the timer starts right now. Uh, my good deed for the contest is one. Uh, this last uh, Martin Luther King Day, I walk walking down the street. It's free parking. You don't have to pay the meter. And I see this Jewish lady. She's a Hasidic <laughs> Jewish. And <laughs> And I saw she was going to put a quarter in the meter. I said, hey, you don't have to do this. It's uh, Martin Luther King Day. <laughs> and then she she stopped. She saved the quarter. She did not talk to me because she's not allowed to talk to the man. That's not her husband. And, but I saw in her eyes the thanks. <laughs> And time. That's my time. That's it. Time on your good deed, and we'll jump right into the good deed from Keith. Jones. All right. Uh, let's see. I guess. <laughs> Too bad, Maxwell, you didn't get to use the time over this one. Uh, you know, I was just trying to let him get to it. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. All right, I go guess, ahead, Keith. Uh, uh, the nicest thing I ever done uh, was um, I I raised fifteen million dollars for the victims of nine eleven. <laughs> Uh, the clear winner. <laughs> and now the well, contest is not over. <laughs> the contest is not over. Let's see. We have let's see how so the, much money. You could have built a Westworld for snowmen. You could have bought several Nissan Sentras. Well, that's the past just, year, though. It depends just, on the naughty. I really no, am curious about these naughty. Oh, there's a naughty? Yeah, okay. we have to do naughty. All right, go so, ahead. Also, don't act like this is settled because I help a real woman. That I'm looking in her eyes. He helped, what, ghosts? <laughs> I was going to say the victims of 9-11. He didn't give it to the family of the victim. He, he very specifically he said the, victim. the victims of 9-11. They don't need anything. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You just... I buried $15 million. <laughs> Actually, ground zero. Okay. At ground zero. <laughs> Wait, is it still there? Oh, shit, this is going to yeah. be a race. This is like... <laughs> Nick Cage is going to beat us all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's hear the naughties because we have to naughties. take a break right after this. Here we go. Okay, go ahead. Uh, uh, let's start okay. with Keith. Uh, I guess the naughtiest thing i ever done... Uh, <laughs> It's either uh, once I was in the bedroom and I <laughs> and I spanked my wife on the butt when we was having sex, or or um, I sold a majority of America's secrets to Russia uh, uh, in in the late nineteen eighties. <clears throat> 
<laughs> yeah, that's probably okay. the latter. I don't know. Uh, so, Ming? Yeah, my naughty, most naughty thing is um, when I was a teenager, I was um, playing darts in my friend's house. Uh, it was rumored her family was in the Mexican mafia. Uh, <laughs> there was a man for three days in the garage uh, doing lots of work. One day he came in and said, I need you to come help me with something through a pair of gloves. Uh, at me, I put on the gloves. He showed me a car that had clearly been stripped for three days. He said, just get rid of it. I pushed it down the street. I got rid of it behind a 7-Eleven. And, you know, because I'm not going to say no to the Mexican mafia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I, I guess, I, you know, I did help with the Grand Theft Auto, okay. which is... Pertinent to this yeah. contest. This is a, <laughs> I have to say, Norm, this is a tough one because it is a tough one because Keith's high was very high. Yes, and, but his low was even lower. His low yeah. is treason. And I just, yeah. I'm gonna very, quickly, just very to be quickly clear, run this, broad definition. Run this what's, my, what's that, Norm? You're gonna what? I'm gonna just quickly run this through my simple uh, mental algorithm. Okay, and then, you're gonna think about it. Uh, yeah. You are, uh, so you are the sole judge. Uh, yes. Of the contest. Yeah. Okay. And we're gonna. And I'm gonna go ahead and announce it immediately. It's a tie. What? Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> you have another one. Okay. I right. have a, here's my suspicion. I have a suspicion. <laughs> I think that all year long, Norm is driving this car. <laughs> I think Norm is driving the Sentra. I don't know what you're talking about. And that it is never a contest that is actually going yeah. to be to somebody's going to win. Do you guys have to hang out at the car dealership in the entire year? Yeah, too? and work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, we need to take a break. When we come back, uh, oh, Frosty, you're not looking too good. I got to get out of here. I'm melting to uh, out of existence. Get to a meat locker. Get to a meat locker. See you. Goodbye, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. All Shakespeare. Right, we're gonna, what's that? Shakespeare. Shakespeare. <laughs> get thee to a meat locker. <laughs> we do need to go to a break. But you know what? I, w- I would love to hear another song from Nick Lowe. How does that she, sound? Yeah. As, as one songwriter to another. Yeah, but would, he just writes songs for, uh, like, records, right? Oh, yeah. No, I, not for TV shows. You're right. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're more of a true it's songwriter. In, it's an interesting subgenre. Yeah, okay. Nick, why don't you come over here to the mics if you can? I uh, dare you to. <laughs> all right. Before we take a break, Nick, Mr. Lowe, are you ready to play another song? I How about another ready. one? I am ready. I'm all ready. right. Let's do it. This is from, of course, Quality Street. Yep. I'll, I'll do uh, this one, slightly more meditative uh, um, work. This is one I wrote with uh, Rai Kuda, mm. and it's called A Dollar Short of Happy. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Happy holidays to you. To you, too. And happy holidays to everyone out there. All right, Mr. Lowe, take it away. A dollar short of happy. Can I get one from you? A dollar short on Christmas Just a smile won't do Standing on the corner With my dog named Blue She don't know it's Christmas So it's down to you City sidewalk Busy sidewalks turn a darker gray Than any Russian playwright would allow Although it's been said Many times, many ways I'm a dollar short of happy now You pulled up to the light Phone up to your ear The deal has fallen through Your job has gone An unfamiliar look of pain On your face then did appear How you gonna tell the folks at home No more private schools or exercise machines No more crazy nannies getting high in the SUV Meet me on the corner, we'll get along somehow A dollar short of happy now Meet me on 
We'll rub along somehow A dollar short of happy Terrific, terrific for a regular song.